Where you going? I got a job. Like I don't. Oh. Oh. oh, Eddie, look at that. You put a dent in my door. Uh, that, that ain't a dent, that's a ding. No, a ding is what you get on a game show for answering the question right. That is a dent. Breaker one nine, we got a two car front and rear southbound on 35W. Him laying on there. Is somebody supposed to understand what you just said? Nah. It's supposed to confuse them. That way I can get to the scene first. Brother, you're not getting out the driveway first with that piece of nostalgia. Hey, 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 hey. Don't go talking about bronchula. She might be old, but she like wine. She get better with time. Catch you on the rebound, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, girl. Worked on you all day. Today I'm... Now that's a dent. Hey, hey, hold up, baby. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it now. Come on, Rooster. Don't make me do this. The tape's broken. Hey, you wanted to be on the air? Here's your big chance. The following is a test in the emergency broadcast system. the emergency broadcast system. You're rocking with the rooster! Don't you ever do that to me again. Hey, man, nobody said radio was easy. It's all about paying dues. Oh, man, I'm about all tapped out. Hey, I got a friend over at KLAP. He says the sports guy quit. You interested? Hey, hey, I do sports. I breathe sports. You know, back home, everybody used to confuse me with a model shot. I just wish I could meet his wife. <laughs> Well, great, man. You get me an audition tape tomorrow, I'll get it to him. Hey, thanks a lot, Rooster. No problem. Hey, now you do me a favor. When that song runs out, hit tape that number two. Or Rooster's got to lay an egg. <laughs> Ooh, wait! This is where you work at, baby? Eddie, how did you find me? Wasn't easy. I went to the radio station you said you worked at, and you were next. Then how did you find me? Well, there's 36 stations in the greater Kansas City area. 35 of them. Never heard of you. <laughs> Eddie, you know, this, this is a radio station, not a playground. So you in charge of all this sophisticated stuff? Yeah. Man, I didn't know you were so important. Well, you know, I don't like to brag. <laughs> hey, man, what's this do? Well, look, man, I appreciate the visit, but I got to get to work. Uh, well, I understand. Because when I'm on my job, I'm all business, too. That hook's got to get on the call. Eddie. Shh, shh. All right, all right. You the man. Damn, you good. <laughs> Thank you. Why are you here, anyway? I need to borrow your car keys. Oh, no, 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 no. You cannot borrow my car. I don't need your whole car, just the battery. See, the truck broke down. This old woman needs a jump. I can take the battery, get on the bus, and be right back. <laughs> no, I need my battery. I'll fix that dent in your car. I thought it was a ding. It was until I backed my truck into it. <laughs> what? It was an accident. The tires came off of it. You know what I'm saying? There's like five of us working on it right now. I hired like five other people to come in. Hey, Eddie, come back here. Just because you and his mother have been best friends all your lives does not mean I have to like living with him. Because he's a nut. He's always running off at the mouth about something. Everybody want to come down and get told for free. Some old woman ain't got a car want to get towed. Just get drug around. And Broccoli, why you want to act up? Fred Saffer's truck never did that to him. She ain't about nothing. Worthless. 
You know, I'd give you high octane fuel. Yes, it would make sense if he was talking to me, but he was talking to his carburetor. <laughs> All right, bye, Mom. All right, Chicago Bulls, it's me and you. Hey, you ever noticed that uh, Fred Sanford's theme song never had no words to it? I'm gonna write something, man. What do you think about this? Fred Sanford. Fred Sanford had a son and a truck. And a son named Lamont. Eddie, 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 Eddie. Stop, stop. Just stop. All right, man, I know it ain't all that good. You know, I just wrote it. You know, but... It's hard to rhyme Lamont. Now, Grady, I can work with that. Grady, shady, Grady, I'm a lady. Shady, lady, I'm a... Eddie, Eddie, please, please, just quiet, all right? Man, I need you to be quiet. I got a guy down at KLAP who wants to hear my audition tape tomorrow. Really? Yes. See, this could be my big break. Thank you very uh -huh. much. Now, if the guy likes my tape, I might get a gig doing professional play-by-play. -play. That way you can Grady, Haiti, Warren Beatty all you want, but just chill. All right. You gotta watch the Bulls game. The Bulls? That's my team, baby. <laughs> and it's a tip-off. The ball's out of bounds, and it's a timeout. Man, you good. Look, it's Bill Fontaine, man. Turn it up. Hey, Kansas City, you want to make millions? Hell yeah! <laughs> With that kind of money, I can get a fleet of tow trucks that run. I've seen this guy before. He's a big front. Tonight, I'll be in your area giving a free seminar. We're there. We're not. Everyone who attends will take home a set of steak knives, a color TV, or a trip to Florida. Now, how do you take home a trip to Florida, huh? It's a scam. Well, I'm going. Well, if you leave now, you could probably get a really good seat. Why are you always dogging me, dog? Donald Royal takes the ball up court, and he passes it, and it's stolen by Jordan. Man, how can you watch this, man? This set is terrible. Oh, no, it's fine. No, it ain't. Jordan takes the ball. Me and my Eddie... magic screwdriver can fix anything. No, Eddie, leave it alone, man. No, 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 I can fix it, I'm telling you. All it need is two little turns. One. No, move out the way. Two. Uh, maybe it need just one. You broke my TV. I oh, man, why is it always about you? I could have been electrocuted. That would have solved two problems. Oh, dog, me again. Where you going? I'm going to Kelly's. I got to get this tape done. Lisa, you should like working here. Kelly's cool. The tips are great. Customers are friendly. Uh, hi, uh, Holly. Well, hello, Lisa. <laughs> Very friendly. This is Malcolm. He is the reason why you were issued mace with your uniform. <laughs> Don't worry about Holly. She just wants to keep me for herself. What time do you get off of work, Lisa? Mm, about 11. 11? You know, it's a coincidence, because I'm not working at 11 tonight, either. Oh, wow. That is a coincidence. <laughs> Malcolm, pick up somebody your own size. Come on. Hey, Ma. I'm sorry about your TV set, man, but I figured out a way I can get you a new one. Two words. Bill Fontaine. Oh, no, four words. I don't think so. Bill Fontaine's giving away free TVs. And Dionne Warwick's really a psychic. Dionne Warwick wasn't a psychic. Her friends was. She was a psychic. She knew her way to San Jose. Hey, Kelly. Oh, my two favorite tenants. What do you have? The usual? Free pretzels? Water back? Would you just hand me the remote? I need to watch the game. What's wrong with your TV? <clears throat> the magic screwdriver again? <laughs> well, that explains the power outage. Ah, oh, no, I could have fixed it. You know what I'm saying? With a roll of toilet paper and a Q-tip, I could have had it working in no time. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Kelly, there's a game on TV I need to watch. No. Sorry, guys. Tim doesn't want the TV on. Who's Tim? A paying customer. I don't see no Tim. 
My boy need to make his audition tape. No, you better make it somewhere else, guys. If Tim doesn't want it on. And don't touch his books. He's studying for a test, okay? 18th century English poetry. <laughs> Egghead. <laughs> well, I got a poem, all right. Uh -huh. While uh, bookworm Tim is in the john, yeah. Malcolm and Eddie are going to turn the TV on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Check this one out. We're going to watch the bull shoot dribbling fast. And when that Tim show up, I'm going to kick his... <laughs> Tim. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Tim, sir, <clears throat> there's a Bulls game on TV. No, 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 fellas. I'm sorry. There'll be no TV today. I must study. <laughs> study? Study what? He need to study how to get that pack of hot dogs off the back of his neck. Studying, studying's good. Studying's, gotta get your degree. Mine's a terrible thing. Eddie, I gotta get this tape made before tomorrow. You can and you will. We go down to Bill Fontaine. Uh, no, 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 no. Get off the Bill Fontaine train. Guys, you know, I love you like my own sons. And like I told them, either order something or get the hell out of here. Hey, Kelly, maybe I can make my tape over at your place. My place? Yeah. You're here, so we won't be bothering you. Oh, you'll be bothering me. Two Irish coffees, Carol? Hey, Holly, let me ask you a question. No, I don't want to go out with you, and yes, they're real. <laughs> Holly, why are you always playing me? Malcolm, you don't need me. You have your other girls. No, I don't. I've changed, girl. I'm changing now. You could change me. Ah, there you go again. No, I... Okay, Holly, listen. We can start out slow. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, it looked like he was shaking to the left. Came down the lane. Thought she was gonna go all the way. Play out. Rejected. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. You know, I wouldn't be in this bind if you didn't break my TV. I know. I know. I know. I'm trying to figure out a way to get you a new one. Bill Fontaine's free seminar. Hey, who said that? <laughs> My man and I already said he don't want to hear nothing about no seminars, no Bill Fontaine, no TVs. You know anything about that wide back? <laughs> All right, Eddie, I'll go with you. Ah, uh, for real? Yes. Tonight? Yes, tonight. I will go to the seminar with you tonight. But it's just to prove you wrong. I uh, man, I hope we don't win that free trip to Florida, man. You know what the humidity does to my hair. <laughs> Ooh-wee! There it is, baby. Look at that. Then I give him that TV away. Uh-huh. Ooh, it's got that new TV smell. <laughs> smell it. No, I'm not smelling a TV, Eddie. Fresh as a baby's bottom. Smell it. Come on, smell it, man. Ooh, it is nice. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Hey, man, come on, sit down, man. I'm gonna hook you up with that TV. Hey, hey, if anybody in here got their heart set on them steak knives and you get stuck with the TV, we're willing to trade. My man Malcolm needs the TV to make his audition tape. Show some compassion. Go on, do your thing. Do the one Dennis goes, take the ball, went to the hole. Come on, show up, show up. Look, is this why you brought me here to embarrass me? I mean, you could do that at home. I'm out of here, I'm gone. I mean, there's nothing here that interests me. Except maybe them. Shep boing boing, man. I got my eye on that one. There's my man, Bill Fontaine. He living large. Extra large. Good evening and welcome. Bill! Go ahead, Bill. When you leave here tonight, you will be armed with the tools to attain personal wealth beyond your wildest dreams. I know, that's right. <laughs> told you, told you. It's a setup. Before we begin, I'd like you all to fill out the application which Lola will pass out. 
Please include your $10 filing fee with your completed application. Ah, $10 filing fee. I told you it's a joke. It's a scam, man. I'll take five of those. <laughs> you know, you really hand out papers well. Excuse me, Mr. Fontaine, uh, about that $10 filing fee? It will be refunded when you purchase my Roads to Riches videotapes. Bill, your ad didn't say nothing about your Roads to Riches videotapes. I think you... Malcolm, I came here for a free seminar and you're trying to sell us tapes and who knows what else. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just, huh? <laughs> There's one in every crowd, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, Dollar Bill. I work hard for my money, like everybody else in here. And before we go giving our money to a gas bag in a nice suit, we want to know what we're getting into. That's right, dog. All right. Yeah. All right. Sir, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Oh, no. Me and my friend aren't going anywhere. Not until we get a free TV. If you think I'm giving you a free TV, you are sadly mistaken. <laughs> well, uh, you can give me that uh, set of steak knives. Then we can talk about the TV. Uh, you got a phone call. Go ahead, girl. If y'all really want to invest in the 90s, I got two words. Tow trucks. Yeah. Yeah. You ever been pulled on the side of the road and wonder why nobody will come and pick you up? You'll be out there all night. Then the police yeah. will pick yeah. you up yeah. talking yeah. about two cars in trouble. Right. 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 Spend the night in jail. Some big fools after you all night. Right. Huh? <laughs> Trying to caress and find you. <laughs> that ever happened to you? Yeah. Then you got to get Chris Darden as your attorney. <laughs> Cause he's with Marsha doing the hanky-tanky. Hey, 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 hey. Then that's why you need the tow trucks. Chicago has the game well in hand as the Spurs bring the ball up court. You said we wouldn't get our free TV. Well, when you're right, baby, you're right. Sure you're right. When you're right, you're right. You know that Bill Fontaine's a no good. I gotta finish this tape. The pass is in to Avery Johnson. The ball's midcourt, and it's stolen by Michael. That ain't Michael. <laughs> that is so, Michael. No, it ain't. How many guys who are totally bald with their tongues hanging out do you know play for the Bulls? That ain't the Bulls, that's Atlanta. Yeah, this is great. Uh-huh. Hey, man, did you get the job? No, nah, man, they gave it to somebody who had more play-by-play -play experience. Oh, that's all right, because I got the hookup. Invest in the future. Didn't you learn anything from Bill Fontaine? Hey, man, this is different. You ready? Do I have a choice? Ostriches. Worms and bees. You making fun of me? No, really, man. I know this dude. His name is Matufu Nakasi McCleek. <laughs> See, and he got him on his farm, man. They flying around, flying worms with honey. He Good making night. millions. Good night. Now I'm telling you, man. Look, you go down there, you find them with the honey. They slithering around. Look, if that don't work, man, I got another one. that's right here. One nine hundred dollar joke. Now it's five dollars for the premise, then another five dollars for the punchline. Now I called a man, one of them, I got the premise part. Your mama's so fat. Give me five dollars so I can get the end of it. Hey, uh, hey, Holly, give me some booty. How about you? Jurassic Park, the whole ride. We could strip naked and make jello sandwiches. I want to know what I'm getting into. Uh, you got a phone call. It's OJ. 
lady. Shady, greedy, I'm a lady. Shady, greedy, I'm a Eddie, Eddie, please, please, just quiet. Sha boing, boing, man. <laughs>
Oh, I tell you what. I'll give you a shot. On a trial basis. All right. One day. Okay. If you do well, we'll see about more. Cool. <laughs> uh, how much money will I be making? Nothing. You work for tips. No cash? No moolah? No dinero? <laughs> oh, no, that's extortion. That's blackmail, Kelly. That's the job. Take it or leave it. When do I start? Right now. Come on. <laughs> Put the woman down, Kong. <laughs> if I catch you climbing the building one more time, I'm calling the Air Force. Hey, Holly. Hey. I know you're waiting for me to hit on you. No, I'm not waiting, Malcolm. I'm bracing. Oh, oh, bracing? Mm. Oh, oh, that's cute. You, you can relax, Holly, all right? I'm not trying to hit on you anymore. All right, so how, how you doing? Well, actually, I'm having a lovely day. How are you? Well, I had a hectic day at the station, but, you know, that goes with the territory. You know, Malcolm, this is the first real conversation we've ever had. Wow. No, you're right. <laughs> hey, you know, Holly, my boss invited me to this charity dinner. Uh, how would you like to be my date? Sounds nice. Yeah, and then afterwards we can go back to my place and jump in a tub of Cool Whip. Get some help. No, oh, hey, hey. You need some help. Hey, that's a real conversation now. <laughs> Want something to drink, bruh? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm a waiter. Oh, does Kelly know this? Kelly hired me. And check this out. Holly told me on a good night she'd make about $100 in tips. Oh, well, I can explain that. Look at her. <laughs> and look at you. That's something for the fellas. I'm something for the honeys. Waiter. Waiter. Eddie, she's talking to you. Oh. Waiter, waiter, waiter. Waiter, waiter, waiter. Oh, y'all just waiter. calm down. I'm All right, you had uh, the beer. And, uh, let's see, you had the spritzer and, and the wine and the buffalo wings. All right, who had the buffalo wings? Uh, that would be me. Ah, yes, big fella. Come on over here, sit down. Yes, a cheer for each butt cheek. Get to know some people. Tip heavily, but sit lightly. Eddie, pick up. The mechanic said broccoli will be ready on Friday. So I gotta get the $800 together by then, plus an extra 50 for the broken glass downstairs at Kelly's. Well, do you have a plan on how you're gonna get this money? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. See, I got this delivery gig. And, uh, old buddy, old pal, my homie, uh, my brother. <laughs> All I need to do is Oh, my buddy old pal's car. No, 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 no. Not, not this buddy old pal. And the last time you borrowed my car, you brought it home with two parking tickets, an empty gas tank, and a popped airbag. Man, I didn't know she was gonna keep her heels on. <laughs> no, Eddie, you are not borrowing my car this time. All right, my hands are tied. I'm gonna have to get a job right here at the house. You know, Ben and Jerry started here at the house. Famous Amos started in the house. <laughs> Heidi Fleisch started on the corner, but she worked her way to the house. <laughs> You know, Rhonda, when my boss called me and invited me to this charity dinner tomorrow night, I kept thinking, you are the only woman special enough to take to this thing. Well, I am glad you called me. <laughs> Malcolm, Rhonda, check this out. 
I'm making a hundred dollars for three showings of the Dust Guzzler. Just watch this. Eddie, are you out of your mind? Like you don't know the answer. <laughs> It worked. No, 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 just give it a minute. Now, if you change the connection, all of the dirt travels down into the dust guzzler's recyclable bag. Watch this. Oh. <laughs> no, no, that's okay, that's okay, that's all right. Thanks anyway. Uh, y'all going back to what y'all was doing. I was just passing through. I hit the people next door. <laughs> Put your heart into it. Eat something. Get some energy. Come on, come on. Jump it up. Jump it up. Pop it up. Like, follow me, girl. Come on. And around we go. And around we go. Now work it out. Work it out. Hold it right there. Get in place. Run it right. Fall in line. Ah, ooh. Fast up, fast up, fast up, fast up, fast up. Fast up. What the hell is going on here? Girls, take five. <sighs> <clears throat> it's my aerobic class, five o'clock. Put flies all around the neighborhood, man. You'd be surprised at the response. Sexy. Well, it was the same response I get when I put up my flyers that say roommate needed. Hey, you got two minutes to get them out of here, man. Oh. Um. Eddie. Where's the food? <laughs> man, man, you know what? This is, this is wrong. This is out of control. You know, I've been working all day. I'm hungry. I want to eat food. Can't even eat food in my own apartment. The bathroom, Jeez. man, is, uh... Hello, handsome. I know another way I could lose a few pounds. <laughs> <clears throat> Paula, this is the cool down part. The cool, cool down. Down. Hey, Eddie, the only reason I'm not gonna strangle you is because I'm gonna miss my dinner tonight if I do. Don't say dinner around that one. Because right now, you looking like a meal. Here you go. You know what? Take my keys, take my car. Just go. Go do that delivery thing you were talking about. Just do it away from here, away from me. Just, just go. Ladies, class is over. Oh, okay. Huh. Let's go to some yeah. Oh, I wasn't ooh. chili fries. <laughs> Just get a small Mac. <laughs> Not the big one, small Mac. Now make sure you're back by 8 o'clock so I can get to my charity dinner, all right? All right. Hey, what changed your mind? Get out. Oh, man, I forgot. Uh, I got a 6 o'clock step class. Can you take care of me? Just do something like this. Goodbye. <laughs> You know what, Aranda? You might as well go home. You know, because when Eddie comes, it's going to be real nasty. I'm sorry, man. You know. <clears throat> no, no, don't tell me. Aliens. <laughs> Big ships. <laughs> Laser beams. Medical experiments. And then, unfortunately, they let you go. Worse, dogs. Dogs? Yeah, two of them, Rockwilers, big ones. They hate delivery people, man. I'm delivering this pizza, right? I'm heading up there, and the dogs is coming. <laughs> they had a, a look on their face, man, like they wanted to kill. Like me? Exactly. So I take one step toward the porch. <laughs> So I stepped on back towards your car. That's when the squirrels came out the trees, man. About 395 of them. And they all stood to 
together, man, on their hind legs and their little teeth set. <laughs> One of them threw up his little paw. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They ate up my pizzas, man. I didn't even make the delivery. I knew it was either them or me. It's too bad I didn't get a vote. I feel sorry about, you know, messing up your dinner with your boss and everything, but... Man, I gotta get on these calls, man. This new job, I got celebrity wake-up calls. Yeah, 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 hello! Yeah, this is Mike Tyson! <laughs> yeah, get up, I'm coming over there! Yeah. All right, that's it. That's it, that's it. That's it. I got your wake-up call right here. Hey, Kansas City, wake up! <laughs> you know, I, I feel awful, man, you know. I done messed up, messed up both our lives, man. And now the phone's gone, I can't even make celebrity call. How am I get Broncola back home where she belong, man? I miss my boo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Eddie. All right, I, I, I know a way you can get Broncula back today, all right? Come on. I know a place where there are a whole lot of phones. You hit a dude in the head, he's bleeding. <laughs> Ain't neither one of us got no insurance. It's five o'clock in the morning, and you're listening to Big John Taylor. And now, another hour of commercial-free music. Hey, Big John. Hey, Malcolm. Hey. What are you doing here? I'm helping my roommate. This is Eddie. You're Big John? Oh. So you recognize me? Ah, uh, yeah. I thought you'd be a little... Younger. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna go get some beauty sleep in the lounge. All right. Hey, Malcolm, man, it's getting late, man. Help me out with these celebrity wake-up calls. Oh, I don't do impressions, though. Ah, uh, it's easy, man. Just follow the script. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger. I start the wake up, baby. <laughs> I was scared. I could have swore he was in the room. No, you just saying that. No, nah, really. I mean it. Yeah. here today so early, roosters were hanging upside down, still asleep. <laughs> he got here at 4.30 so that he can get an early start on today's work before anybody thought about working in the workplace with workness. <laughs> huh. You know, I thought all along you were someone with initiative. Glad to see that I wasn't wrong. Right on, Mr. D. <clears throat> exactly. <laughs> I'll hook you up. Well, thank you, and uh, give my regards to Broncula. Hey, I will. Hey, bond with your boss. And for goodness sake, teach the man your name. Hey, he knows my name. Well, come with me, Martin. I want to pick your brain. Yes, sir, Mr. Derriere. Oh, hey, hey. Hey, man, how'd it go today? Well, actually, it went pretty well. I think I finally got Mr. Darien to learn my name. Oh, that's cool, Malik. <laughs> no, actually, I think we settled on Matthew. All right, right. Hey, man, about this morning, I want to thank you, man. Without your help, Broncola wouldn't be home where she belonged. Looking good, too. Eddie, don't mention it. What do you say we go down to Kelly's and grab a brew? Bye. Who's that? You expecting somebody? No. Excuse me. Is this where the aerobics classes are being held? Uh, yeah. yeah. Hey, come on in. Yeah. Come in. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's start with some pop locking. Usually get get some going. There you go. The 
big man way. All right, everybody turn to the left. Pow, pow. Now keep going forward. Pow, pow, pow. I invite you by to see the family, my daughter's wedding. <laughs> I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. If you don't get out of bed, horse's head. You can't handle the truth, but you can handle waking up over there. Yeah, we're off to see the wizard, and if you don't get up, you can't go. Do you wanna go to war? You wanna go to war? If you don't wake up, you can say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Mighty, you awake at last. This car's a piece of junk. Rather have my truck any day. Yo, Eddie, have you seen my keys, man? You know, I thought I left them in my jacket yesterday. Oh, you're exactly right. That's where I found them. How many times have I told you to keep your greasy fingers out of my room? Calm down, McGruff. I needed your keys so that I could install this new alarm I got off this car I told. The car was stripped, butt naked. But it had this top-of-the-line alarm system in it. Yeah, well, that's one effective alarm. Try it out. It's got a police siren, and it speaks in six different languages. Well, how do I know it's not gonna blow up? Try it out. <laughs> no, nah, Eddie, I'm not gonna try it. You try it. <laughs> oh, come on, you, you put it in. got your alarm to stop. I drained your battery. Oh, see, if you're trying to upset me, give it up. I'm in too good a mood, baby. Well, since you're immune to anger, I accidentally busted your water pump taking the alarm out. Nope, that won't do it either. You see, Eddie, you were looking at a man who got his first on-air gig. All right, then. What's you, the play-by-play -play man? Which team? Royals? Chiefs? I'm not the play-by-play -play man. You the locker room guy. I'm Marcus Allen. I ran three touchdowns. Come on, do your thing. Hit me. Hit me. No, 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 Eddie. I'm a DJ. See, but I got the midnight to six shift. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> At least you don't have to do those menial jobs they had you doing. Well, actually, I'll still be doing the menial jobs. See, the DJ gig is only temporary. Well, I mean, you know I meant menial in the best way, right? <laughs> See, but the good news is, the guy who does play-by-play -play for Houston started out the same way. Boy, you gonna be busy. I will be busy counting money, yes. See, between the on-air gig and the overtime, I'll be making three times the money. You the man. Damn straight. Man, what you need, though, is a radio name. Thank you, Edward, but I have a radio name. Malcolm McGee. Nah, 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 it don't pop. You need something flashy, like... Dr. Love. Or oh, oh, how about the Groove Merchant? Better than that, Dr. Love the Groove Merchant. Those are really good, Eddie. In fact, why don't you just sit here real quietly and make out a list? <laughs> All right, I got a list for you. Freak of the Week. No, no, no. Oh, I got one. S curl in the evening. Mm. Activating you all night long. Hey, did y'all hear my man Malcolm on the radio last night? Oh, uh, no, I can't get that radio station out where I live. Yeah, and, um, my VCR is broken. 
How about you, Michelin Man? No, uh, I, I was gonna get the tape from Lisa. Uh -huh. Y'all missed out on some great radio last night. Hey, hey! Oh, hey, man, a great no, show, no, man! Last You're night. telling me. You're telling me. Hey, y'all gonna burn in hell. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. You know, drinks on me. Whoa. Hey, you live in large. Well, why not? There's enough to go around. Uh -huh. Oh, great. When it comes around this way, maybe you can pay last month's tab. Oh, well, you know something, Kelly? There you go. I should clear that up, and I'll have a beer. Well, I'll have a Cavassier. <laughs> so, Malcolm, how are you holding up, working all those hours? Oh, well, you know, a young man in prime physical condition doesn't need much sleep. Uh, I realize that. I was wondering how you were holding up. <laughs> you know, she'd have never said that to Dr. Love, or the Groove Merchant, or Silky Slim. Well, uh, no one has won this hour's sports trivia contest, so there's still two tickets left to Sunday's Chiefs game. But for now, the Morning Farm Report, brought to you by Jerry's Dairy, milking the tri-state area for over half a century. Whoa, look at you. Come on, say something. Do the weather. Do the sports. Call me at home and give away some money. <laughs> man, I love show business. It's four o'clock in the morning, man. Sane people are sleeping. Not me. I got a high metabolism, baby. I don't need much sleep. But look at you, man. Look, you're worn now. But I guess with all the money you're making, you could hire somebody to sleep for you. I'm available, by the way. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I don't miss the sleep as much as I miss going out and having fun. You know, I haven't been to Kelly's in three days. Ain't nothing changed. Kelly's still Kelly. Tim still is on zip code. <laughs> well, tell everybody I said hi. Hey, man, you know that sports trivia contest is the answer, Otis Taylor? Well, Eddie, I can't tell you that. Oh, you don't have to, man. Just don't say nothing if I'm right. Eddie. Billy Lanier. Eddie. Is that an Eddie yes or an Eddie no? Look, I gotta get to work. I mean, come on. Is the answer Otis Taylor? Good night, Eddie. All right, man, that's cold. You know, if I won them tickets, I was gonna take you to that game. But you can forget about that now. <laughs> KZKC, you're on with Malcolm McGee, 1581 on the box. It's 10 minutes past the hour, and I see our sports line is lit up. Let's go to the phones. Hello, you're on with KZKC. Yeah, is the answer Otis Taylor? <laughs> All right, y'all, Malcolm will be here any minute, so everybody's gonna have to hide. Now, Holly, won't you hide in Malcolm's bedroom? <laughs> and uh, you beautiful, won't you hide over in my bedroom? <laughs> Hey, uh, Jim, you can hide, uh, under, uh, I mean, right here is cool. Hey, open your mouth. Hey, everybody hide in Jim's mouth. He's coming. What's up, man? All right. Hey, Eddie. Hey, come here, man. <laughs> what the hell are these people doing here? What the hell they doing here? Man, you said yourself, you don't spend enough time with your friends. So I got them all here, and you here just in the nick of time because the pizza's coming, and I'm a little show on catch. Listen, Eddie, I slept six hours in the last four days, man. Get these people out of here. Get them out of here? You know what I went through to get them to come? Hey, Malcolm. I enjoyed your show last night. Hey, thanks, Lisa. <laughs> hey, Lisa, let's dance. Oh, sure. I mean, man, let's kick it, man. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get your groove on, mister. Uh, kick it? Yeah. Kick it? No, I can't kick it, man. I'm too tired to kick anything. I gotta go to sleep. All right. Hey, Malcolm, you wanna dance? Yeah, girl, let's kick it. Hey, turn the music up, man. Any dough? 
won't stop. Yeah, uh. And it won't stop. Next one, I'm charging. <laughs> you know, Malcolm, I'm having a great time. Your butt? No, no butts. I'm actually enjoying your company. Really? <laughs> Can I refresh your drink? Sure. <laughs> Yo, Eddie. Man, having this party was a good idea, man. Uh, I, I may actually be getting someplace with Holly. Well, you better be getting someplace with her quick. Cause you gotta be in work in five minutes, mister. What? Five. Oh man, I didn't even have a chance to sleep. Cinco. <laughs> See you later. Oh. Hey. with blue. Make a ghost out of you. If anybody is gonna jump out and yell surprise, do it now and go to hell home. Uh, relax, man. They all gone. Good. I don't want to hear a sound. Good night, Eddie. Uh, Malcolm. Good night, Eddie. Don't go in there. Oh, what is Tim doing in my bed? <laughs> Uh, the bear's hibernating for the winter. <laughs> he fell out at the party, but I mean, we can drag him out of there. No, 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 that's all right. I don't have the energy for that. I'm sorry, man. Go, go, go back to sleep, man. Sleep in the gutter on garbage day. <laughs> well, remind me to ask your husband what you look like when you first wake up, Kelly. <sighs> now that's cold. You have any real old coffee back there? Yeah, like I'd give you the good stuff. <laughs> now you better get some rest. You're not gonna be able to keep this up. Oh, no, that doesn't look right, having people asleep in here. Kelly, that ain't funny. My man gotta get some sleep. Oh, man, I, I can't do this, Eddie. Oh, yes, you can. Here, here. Sip. Sip this up. Oh, no. I told you to sip. <clears throat> sip. Blow first. Excuse me, Malcolm. But when I have trouble staying up late, I use Wagong root. 
Well, the next time you in Hong Kong fighting Godzilla, bring us something back. Well, actually, I've got something right here, Mel. You open it right there. Come on, down the hatch. No, it's useless. I'm just gonna call in sick. I mean, this stuff is not gonna work. It's midnight, Kansas City, and I am rocking you, rocking you, rocking you. It's nothing after midnight. Here to make your night swing until the morning birds sing, baby. <laughs> I made that up myself. <laughs> Oh, I did, I swear, it just came to me. <laughs> Give me some more of this. No, no, you don't need no more of that. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man, I have never felt better. I assume that when you jumped out the truck and ran the last three miles. <laughs> <laughs> He's right, folks. Store-bought rug cleaners just don't do the job, so next time call Mike Healy. It's not really clean unless it's Healy clean. <laughs> I made that up, too. <laughs> and now, for your listening pleasure, here's Rolls Royce with... Car wash. Uh, Mal. Ma 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 yo, yo. You need to calm down. Just slow I, down. I can't, man. I'm wired. <laughs> just, I know you're wired. Just, just walk it up. Walk, 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 walk. Come on, hit me. You're right. Whoa. One foot in front of the other. There you go. <laughs> now you walk. <laughs> Yeah, this is Dr. Love, the Groove Merchant. Go ahead, call him. I'd like to make a request. The Gambler by Kenny Rogers. The Gambler? What kind of request is that? Get it up! Get it up! Come on, girl! Get it up! Uh, uh, it's for my girlfriend. Girlfriend? If you calling 4 o'clock in the morning, you ain't got no girlfriend. <laughs> Mr. Hello? Coca for Coca Puffs! Coca for Coca Puffs! Coca for Coca Puffs! It's a few minutes before six here in KC. I'm Malcolm after midnight. Now we've got the morning team of ham and eggs coming up right after the news, but right now, here's a word from Highland Park Market, the store on the hill with the prices on the level. Man, thank God you calmed down. Man, when that wall gong root hits, it hits. Where's the news? Oh, I need the keys. What? The keys to the newsroom so I can get the news off the wire. Oh, man, I must have locked them in there last time I got the news. The light's on. <clears throat> now, uh, here's the KZKC morning news. Today, President Clinton observed a moment of silence for all the nation's dead. Here's some of that now. How long do you think we could do this? Uh, about another five seconds. The leading story is last night's thunderstorm. And here for more word on that is the man in the field, Edward Fields. <laughs> This is Edward Fields. I'm, I'm out in the field with Mr. and Mrs. Tompkins, whose cow blew away in the storm. <laughs> Miss Tompkins, how do you feel about that? Oh, my Bessie! Oh, my poor cow, Bessie! <laughs> Miss Tompkins, can you tell us exactly what happened? It was horrible. Big lightning bolt came down from the sky. Boom! <laughs> it hit Paul Bessie right in the udders. Kabam! Everywhere. <laughs> Beef bacon. <laughs> well, there you have it. I'm Edward Fields. Back to you, Malcolm. Well, thank you, Edward. <laughs> and that's my show for the day. And next up is Ham and Eggs. Stay tuned. <laughs> Eddie. Oh, I gotta thank you, man. You got me through the night. Hey, man, don't mention it. I can't wait till tomorrow night. Oh, no, no, there won't be tomorrow night. I'm gonna call Mr. Darian and tell him he's gotta get somebody else for this shift. Oh, man, I thought this was your stepping stone. No, this is more like a gravestone. See, I'll wait until I could be a sportscaster, not moonlighting as a DJ. I hear that, man. Let's get out of here. You got it. I gotta get some sleep. Hey, man, I wish we was doing tomorrow night's show, though, because I got a great idea. 
Celebrity Corner. Right, you know I do a good Tito Jackson. Check it out. Hey, Michael. Let me sing. Loan me some money. Don't let me have to go to inquire like Latoya. Now, I'll change all my kids' faces. Am I on the couch, man? I think so. Ah, oh, man, good night. Good night, John Boy. <laughs> hey, you know, man, thanks again. I ain't trip. Eddie? What's up? Tell me a bedtime story. A uh, little old egg fell off the wall, Humpty Dumpty. And then we had breakfast. <laughs> then it was three little pigs. So the wolf came over there because he wanted his money. And, you know, he blew their houses down. Then he started blowing on that brick and lost all his wind and died. And that's when the bear Tim took over. He got a hold of them three pigs. He had bacon, ham sandwiches, chitlins. <laughs> he fat, man. How about you, Chocolate Barney? <laughs> I accidentally busted your water radiator, uh, taking it out. Want to do it again? Yeah. <laughs> this is Dr. Love, the groove merchant. My little man, yeah. turn it to channel 13, man. I got us a lottery ticket. And this baby smells like a winner. Oh, well, let's see it. Oh, wow, let's see your 50 cents. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Okay, so it's like that. Here you go. Thank you. Hey, these aren't the numbers we picked. They are now. Oh, Eddie, we had a system going on. George Brett's lifetime batting average and Halle Berry's measurements. I know, I know, but I was at the liquor store, and you know how long them lines could get, and I dozed off. And the new numbers came to me in a dream. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30? Who are you dreaming about, your third grade teacher? <laughs> hey, man, how you know? That's, that's spooky. <laughs> Give me my money back. I'm a little short right now, you know. But I can get it to you by the end of the week, baby boy. <laughs> Whatever. Welcome to Instant Millionaire. Tonight's jackpot is one million dollars. Which we'll never see. Now, for tonight's numbers. 25, 10, 15, 5, 20. And our final number, 30. Loser. It's a scam, man. I like to see the governor's numbers. Thanks for the trip. This is my stop. <laughs> yes. Millionaires coming through. Have a dollar. Have a dollar there. Have a dollar, dear. Have a dollar, my Yeah, have a dollar. Don't holler. Hey, sweetheart. Buy yourself four quarters. Hey, uh, how about a seat up front there, Point Dexter? <laughs> Ooh, there's our check. Look at the size of that thing. It's huge. It's got to be to keep all those zeros that we go pocket. Mm. Your attention, please. For the first time ever. We have 13 winners of Instant Millionaire. Y'all all had a dream about my third grade teacher? Uh, who cares? We're all millionaires. Congratulations. Uh, Congratulations. Uh, no, yes. no. I, you're all a millionaire. The money will be divided among all the winners equally. Uh, how much do we get? It's about 75,000 apiece. 
That, that's, that's, hey, hey, give me my dollar. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Then you bring the one, carry the one. It's about 75,000, man. Uh, so, Lucky Winners, what do you plan to do with the money? Hmm? Um, uh, we plan to, uh, help out people. We're we gonna help some animals, too. You know, we're gonna save the whales, the dolphin, you know, the, uh, Seattle Seahawks, and, and brothers on lockdown. We'll use this money to make this world a better place to live in. Now, this is a much better place to live. Yes, yes! Hey, hey, yeah, right over there, fellas. There you go. Three quarters, three quarters. Don't you break it. Expensive. Now, well, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, here's, uh, here's a dollar. Y'all work out the split. Look at this baby right here. 53 inches. Mm. Surround sound. DDTS. THX. 200 channels. I think I'm in love. Should I leave you two alone? Maybe later. Cause I got the Playboy channel. <laughs> we need to get a satellite like this so we can get the Playboy channel in Japanese. Ooh, so We need to stop blooming money. You know, I figured it out, and after taxes and all this stuff, we're down to about $21,000 a piece. Man, we ain't rich at all. I mean, I know people with that much money. Uh, we can be rich someday if we put our money into a sound, solid investment. We should spend it. You know what I'm saying? We should die on as much as we possibly can. See, I got a theory. Your life and your credit card should max out at the same time. <laughs> I, I get it. I got it. No, I got it. No, I, I got it. it. Hey, hey, I'm here. I got it. Nice choice in door. Yes, it is. Yes. Hi. Well, hello. I'm Bridget. I just moved in across the hall. Well, I'm Malcolm, and this is Eddie. Come on in, have some champagne. We'd love to have you for brunch. <laughs> guys won a million dollars. Yeah, that's right. And we spent a whole lot of money redecorating the place, as you can see. And we still have about $40,000 to play with. You spent $960,000 on this stuff. Where'd you go shopping? The Kennedy auction? Hey, man, you better watch that one. She got a mind like a cash register. <laughs> Oh, Eddie, get your toothbrush. The cops have finally come for you. I wasn't nowhere in the vicinity. I don't even know what he looked like. I didn't even see the purse. No, that's Nicolette, my roommate. Nicolette, that one's Malcolm. Mmm, that one's delicious. Get the video camera, man. I'm about to be harassed. I'm not a cop, not yet. I'm currently in parking enforcement. They don't let you carry a gun, do they? Oh, no, I don't need one. I'm an expert with my hands. In fact, I can break a man's ribs without leaving a bruise. But I'd never do that to you. <laughs> Unless you break my heart. You're a little freaky freak, ain't you? I'll see you guys in the hallway. Uh, hey, Bridget, uh, you know, I was thinking, you know, I have two tickets to this Sunday's uh, Chiefs game. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. I thought you said you was inviting me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I forget to tell you, you know, the uh, Chiefs game thing this Sunday? Yeah. It's not gonna work out. <laughs> so, uh, Bridget, what do you say? She's dating Damon Stoudemire, NBA Rookie of the Year. You mean the dude they sent off to Canada mm -hmm. to freeze his buns off with the mounted police? <laughs> he can't even get a tennis shoe contract. I could take him any day. Bridget, girl, how you doing? Huh? Hey, man, my man. Up, man? <laughs> I was just telling them how dope you was, man. <laughs> you should have got all star, man. I voted for you, though. Oh, yeah, <laughs> obviously you didn't vote enough, though. That's all right, though, next year, though. Right, right. So, Bridge, what's up? Let's say we get out of here, I'm double parked downstairs, you ready? Okay. Double parked? Let's test your speed, rookie. <laughs> nice meeting you guys. Hey, Bridget, she trouble. I don't know. I like trouble. 
The lottery winner's here. Drinks for everybody. All right. Everybody who won the lottery. Oh. I didn't make that much. Malcolm. Malcolm. Who you fantasizing about? Tony Braxton or the new girls next door? Neither. I was thinking about us. Hey, hey, hey. Uh... No, our lives. Eddie, you and I are at a crossroads. See, there's a reason you and I won this lottery. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It ain't that deep. When we first hit jackpot, I said, great, now I don't have to try to be a sportscaster anymore. But ever since then, I've been thinking, maybe I don't even want to be a sportscaster. Man, you seriously messing up my lottery buzz, man. Aloha, Mainlanders. Hey, hey Kelly. <laughs> Wait a minute now. Kelly, please don't tell me that's our new uniform. I would rather work at Hooters. No, no. Listen, everybody, I got great news. What? I'm moving to Hawaii. <gasps> hey, uh, that's great, Kelly. That's gonna be a hell of a commute. <laughs> no, no, my husband got transferred. You know, he's been working in the coconut industry for years. It was only a matter of time. Well, what's gonna happen to the bar? Well, you got me. I need to sell the whole building as soon as possible. Hey, maybe a couple of big lottery winners will take it off my hands, huh? <laughs> now there's your sound investment. We can go in on it together. You get your bar, and I get my garage. I'd love to own this place. Well, hey, if you're serious, you could get in for about 40000 and then take over the payments. Heck, I don't have any equity in this money-sucking sack of potential revenue. Hey, Kelly, you know, I know I could turn this bar into something great, but I only have half the money. And I got the other half. Can you give me a little time? Well, you better move fast. I've already got one hot prospect. The first person with the cash gets the building. Well, I'll be back. Got to get to my scuba lesson. Hey, take Tim and practice harpooning. <laughs> where, where, where can I get my hands on 20 grand? Hello, I got the money. Hey, I'll go straight to the bank. Hey, how about the bank of Eddie Sherman? I give out frequent fly miles, <laughs> big loans. Anybody listening to me? I know it's me talking. I recognize the voice. Hey, Tim, do you hear me? Uh, no, Eddie. I have a harpoon in my ear. Now, hold up, man. Listen to me. We can make a great team. You can run the bar. I can run the garage. Man, we can make a fortune. You get them all licked up up at the bar, they run into telephone poles, I tore them down here. It's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, sure, Eddie. And we can serve poison food and open up a hospital upstairs. Yeah, yeah. You see what's happening? We cross-pollinate. Hey, no, 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 no. I'm telling you, man. Look, Eddie, I just don't want anything messing up our friendship. Like what? I don't know. I mean, but whenever friends go into business together, something always happens. A perfect example, Johnson & Johnson and Applebee. I thought it was Johnson & Johnson. It is now. See, legend has it that Applebee was found lying face down in a vat of baby shampoo. No more tears, no more nothing. I think somebody's forgetting who thought of the winning numbers. So you wouldn't have a nickel if I didn't have sense enough to fall asleep in the liquor stuff. Look, if I had one good business reason to take you on as a partner, I would. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm sorry, Malcolm. The hot prospects loan was just approved. If you're really serious about buying the place, you have to come up with the 40000 right now. Yeah. Uh. Boing, boing. Man. You need my cash in your hand. Oh, chaboing, boing. Chaboing, boing. Boing. Do you believe it, partner? We actually own a building. And we own every table, every chair, every matchbook, every match, all of it. It all belongs to me. <laughs> Brother man, that's a short trip from we to me. We to me. Did I say me? No, I, I meant we. You know, sometimes I get my W's turned upside down. <laughs> hey, here come my little neighbors. 
Miss Thing and The Thing. Since we own the building, we are their landlords. Good. Less victim. Oh, no, no, no. See, this is about to get fun. See, I have the upper hand now. Power. Success. See, that's what a woman like Bridget responds to. Not looks, not charm, not humor. Good, because you ain't having the luck with the latter three. Uh, look at her. She's drawn to me. The girl can't help herself. She's the mouse and I'm the cheese. Look like the cheese standing alone, getting nibbled on by the mouses. <laughs> You smell good today. Hey, 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 hey. Now, if you smell me, you're way too close. <laughs> Hi, guys. Have you seen Kelly? Oh, Bridget. Kelly moved to Hawaii. <clears throat> Eddie and I bought the building. Guess that makes us your landlords. Yeah, lords of the land. <laughs> Which means you two are our loyal subjects. Well, sire. Ooh. It also makes you responsible for fixing our leaky faucet, broken stove, and light fixtures in the hallway. And I wouldn't mess with Bridget. She's in law school. She'd take your butt to court and call it homework. Oh, that won't be necessary. As long as you observe the state of Missouri's sexual harassment laws. See you on the first. Personally, I'm not so strict about that harassment thing. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna get on out of here, man. I'm gonna take our last two grand and get a diagnostic machine for the garage. Well, I hope you mean the last two grand after I spend our last two grand on a cappuccino machine. My garage needs a diagnostic machine. Sounds like me and you need to have a little board meeting. Fine. I'm bored. Into me. See, you see, see, you don't know the first thing about business. If I don't know the first thing about business and you pick me as your partner, who's the fool? Oh, now you calling me a fool? F double O O. Who's the fool? Oh, I got you a fool. Let me let me, let me no, tell no, you no. about fool. Fool. I got you fool. a fool. Let me <clears throat> gentlemen, gentlemen, you're bickering like little children. Let's settle this like men. It's on. You're going down. Now, each of you has 15 seconds to make a move after your opponent hits the clock. You understand? We know the rules. Now, sit down. You're eclipsing the sun. <laughs> Quit stalling. Let's rumble. You made the same move that I made. Oh, well, it would look that way to an amateur. <laughs> I'm gonna move my little pun. Now watch as my munchkin army starts to roll down on you. Well, you tell the munchkins to run for cover cause the wicked witch is coming. Ding dong, the witch is dead. <laughs> that queen was just part of my strategy, you see. Ahem, ahem, ahem. Your chest is very good. I was a My chest is better. When I win the cappuccino machine, remind me that you only get decaf. <laughs> now, you've been checked. Prepare to be mated. Hey, uh, Malcolm, can you give me a hand with this zipper? I can't seem to get it. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. Failure to move in time. Forfeit one turn. And don't forget you owe me a free tune-up for that little zipper thing. Ah, uh, excuse me, do I know you? You set me up. 
No, I took advantage of your weakness for the flesh. Doesn't. I'm buying you out. Uh, 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 who's to say I'm not buying you out? <laughs> hey, I'm looking for the new owner. Uh, I'm, I'm the, the new owner. owner. <laughs> well, then you owe me a thousand dollars. I'll talk to him. He buying me out. I'm with the liquor distributor. Here's your invoice. Well, Kelly didn't say anything about this. Hey, I'm into collections, not explanations, all right? Pay up, or I take all your booze. Hey, wait, wait. I wouldn't do that if I was you, man. Oh, and why is that? I mean, see this guy right here? That's Malcolm McGee of the Minneapolis McGee's. Gabisha? Huh? Bad people, very bad people. Huh? Don't let the baby face fool you. Behind that Kool-Aid smile and that little fuzzy mustache lies a cold-blooded man-eating shark. Look into those eyes. They never blink. You want to mess with a man that don't blink? Okay, you got two months. That's better. And don't worry, you got nothing to fear. <laughs> Duh. Hey, I cut you some slack because your buddy here, huh? He's got marbles, this guy. Big ones, like calzones, huh? <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> Paisan, huh? Give me one of those. Hey! <laughs> Give me <laughs> listen, uh, thank you for stepping in. Hey, no problem, man. What a part in this <laughs> All right, Listen, Eddie, I, I don't really want to buy you out. Hey, I didn't want to buy you out either, man. You know, maybe we can make this partnership thing work out after all. Yeah, hey, man, be cool. I mean, as long as it don't mess with our friendship. Tell you what, the hell with being friends, let's make some money. Dead presidents, hey, bro. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Them old dead ones with the gray plate fake wigs, wooden teeth. Some of those. Look what I bought today. Oh man, you got that for me? I got you a diagnostic machine, man. I ran the numbers and I realized we would make more money with this than we would the cappuccino machine. <coughs> uh, thanks, man. Hey, what's in that box over there? Oh, I, oh, I went shopping too, man. <laughs> no, no, you didn't. You bought me a cappuccino machine. I'm afraid I did, <laughs> man. My man. <laughs> All right. And they spelled latte wrong on the oh, nozzle, yeah, so I got to no take problem. it back. No problem. Now, you don't even want to look at it. You're going to fall in love with have, it. Man. I'm going to have to take it back. <laughs> <clears throat> but can you believe that? They stuck a diagnostic machine in a cappuccino box. Take this right back to the cappuccino store. It's on, bruh. I'm sorry, we're done. Come on. Hey, man, I can't work under these conditions, man. I mean, this bro dripping all over. <laughs> hey, quit stalling, let's rumble. There you go, done. Would that be cash or charge? Uh, neither. Your sign says 30 minutes or free. <laughs> oh, man, I only missed it by a minute. <laughs> hey, that dent on your front fender's on the house. Ah, that's Pete. We'll have to change this right here. Yo, Eddie, I need help next door. Oh, I can't right now, man. I just hired Mo. I can't leave him here by himself. Oh, man, okay. I guess I'll have to find somebody else to help me pick out the new waitress uniforms. <laughs> Yo, you in charge. All right, boss. Uh, a little higher on the right. My man knows go behind the bar. It's hard to believe I've only been in business for a day. You know what I'm saying? Now, you ready for this. Ladies, the uniforms, please. Mm. Now, this says sports bar to me. I call it sis boom ba. With the emphasis on the boom. <laughs> This look is your basic Tour de France. Oh, la la, ça son, pepe le pio. 
Now, here's my favorite. Next. I am not putting this on. <laughs> now, I thought this was supposed to be a sports bar. Swimming's a sport? No, okay. Well, then you guys put it on. I got the bottles. <laughs> Hey, Malcolm, let me get that cheerleader's phone number. Hey, Eddie, wait a minute. This is a business meeting. This is not a dating service. Does that mean that Saturday's off? <laughs> this is business. It's, it's, it's a business thing. Uh-huh. Speaking of business, the garage could use a loan from the profits from the bar to get an air compressor. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Does that mean no, no, no? Hey, we agreed each business operates out of its own profit. Sorry, baby, no loan. Are you as broke as I am, aren't you? Clean to the bone. Mal Malcolm, Malcolm, Malcolm. What? Oh, nothing. I just want you to know what it feels like. <laughs> oh, hey, it's time. All right, people, man your stations. Get ready for the stampede. We cut this ribbon and open the doors for the very first time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here, 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 here. What up, people? What's going on, bro? Hey, come on in. Ooh, la, la. Now that's so soon. <laughs> All right, Eddie, 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 knock it off. This is serious, man. Hey, man, it's only 11.30. You see, it's alcoholics don't get kicked until noon. You know what we need? Some kind of serious promotion. Yeah, a big blowout grand reopening party. Uh, football on TV, specials on drinks, all-you-can-eat buffet. Hey, 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 why stop there? At night, we can turn it into a club. All that energy they build up watching football, they can get it out of their system on the dance floor. Now that's very close to a good idea. And I can get you a prince. Prince? <laughs> what prince? Not the artist formerly known as. Now, Prince Charles with them big ears. Breeze hit him, just blow him across the room. <laughs> of course I'm talking about the artist formerly known as. Oh, well, great. Maybe you can get Whitney Houston to open for him. No, I can get you prince. Tell you right now, Whitney ain't gonna do it. And you said I couldn't do it. Well, that covers a lot of ground, Eddie. Could you be a little more specific? Prince. I got Prince for your grand opening. Are you still on that? I'm telling you, the little midget owes me a favor. <laughs> I towed his little purple limo out of a ditch one time. Let him ride up front in the truck with me. Love playing with them dials. Ten four, good buddy. <laughs> Look, look right here on the facts. Says Prince would do the gig. Yeah, let me see that. Eddie, this is from Prince's manager. Yellow. <laughs> this will confirm the appearance of my client and that little one squiggly thing. <laughs> oh, Eddie, you did it. Hey, your Prince is playing my bar. Ow! Hey, uh, you doing Prince or Joe Cocker? It is so many people. They giving me the day off. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> oh, hi, girls. Could you keep it down out here? I'm trying to read this fax from Prince. To me. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be playing my bar, you see. He's playing your bar? Oh, my God. And if you play your cards right, I might get him to say hello to you. <laughs> he's still using the same letterhead. I helped him pick it out. You know Prince? No, him. The man proposed to her. I guess they've already said hello, goodbye, good night, and good morning. What's for breakfast? Wow, Prince at Malcolm's bar. Ooh, I'd do anything to be there with you. Yeah. Look, you want to go with me? All you gotta do is chop off one leg, then put a pig leg on it, wear a pump, then balance some fruit on your head. Then run around the world one time. I'll go with you. Hey, Malcolm. We need some more chicken wings. Again? Hey, Tim. Tim, 
Let me explain to you the principle of buffet. You fix your plate, you take it back to your table. I know that's a traditional way, but the wear and tear on the knees, whew. Look, we need to talk. Your tab is getting up there, man. You need to work it off. How about doing security for the bar? Oh, no, 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 Malcolm. You see, it sounds like to me you want me to be a bouncer. I don't bounce. And everything else around you does. See, let me explain something, Malcolm. I don't use this great size for intimidation. Just for love it. Ooh, ooh, that's not a pretty picture, Tim. <laughs> what I tell you, mister? The place is blowing up. Boom! Hey, you know, I even hired a guy to videotape the whole thing because I don't want to forget anything. And here you go, sir. Uh, what's this? That's the money for your air compressor. We're going to clean up tonight thanks to you getting us prints. Ah, oh, don't thank me. You and I, we're one. They cut me, you bleed. Mm. I sneeze, they bless you. Mm. You give me money, I spend it. See ya. Tim, looking good, man, looking good. I'll take one. Now remember, you don't know me, I don't know you. I don't know you, you don't know me. Oh, uh, Sylvester. We still gonna shoot some hoop on Saturday? <laughs> you know I'm there, Eddie. Hi, Eddie. I just stepped by to check out your new operation. Soak up some of the atmosphere. Uh, why don't you lay down right there and soak up some of that oil? I, I got it. It's my phone. It. Don't be it. touching my phone. Eddie Sherman, tow and repair. Your dime, Eddie's time. Please be brief. <laughs> Princess Plane got engine trouble. He ain't gonna make it. I tell him Prince ain't gonna make it. Eddie, I'm afraid I got some bad news for I you. I heard. As much money as he make, he can afford three or four planes. Sound like it hurts. Come on, let Nikki kiss the boo-boo. Come on, let Nikki kiss the boo-boo. Oh, man, Prince Cancel. This is the worst thing that could happen to me. Oh, I'm here for you, baby. This is the second worst thing that can happen to me. You know, all we really promised them was Prince. Now, we didn't say which Prince. You know, that German Shepherd around the corner? His name's Prince. We could throw him on stage, have him do a few tricks, roll over, lick himself. Look, Eddie, just go and tell Malcolm the truth and let him handle it. It's his bar. If the crowd gets ugly, I'll be right behind you yelling, it's Malcolm's fault, get him. <laughs> You wicked, girl. Ooh, come on, baby. I like it. <laughs> Not that much. And we are making a mint at the bar. Now, this one guy even offered to buy the free peanuts. <laughs> are you drinking? No. Can you start? Why I couldn't get any happier? This is the greatest night of my life. <laughs> hey, Malcolm, there's something I gotta tell you, man. What? Well, you want more money? Here, you take my whole money clip. I can't, man. <laughs> it's, it's about Prince. What, he needs something? Look, whatever he needs, I will cover it, because this is the greatest night of my life. <laughs> you said that already. <clears throat> Look, I think you should know that, uh... What? Hey, 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 talk to me. Tell me what, 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 what? I love you, man. Uh, he's upstairs getting dressed now, man. He can't wait for the show to start. I can't either. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> Don't even look at me like that. It was the greatest night of his life. Yeah, well, I hope for your sake that that German Shepherd can howl Purple Rain. Hey, the dog was a good idea. I mean, I got a better one, though. I'm gonna need your help. Oh, so you need me. I guess I do. Say it. I need you. I need you who? I need you who? Say my name. I need you, Nicolette. And I'm there for you, if you promise me a candlelit dinner. You want some bone marrow instead? Welcome, welcome. 
welcome, welcome to the home of the finest entertainment in KC. Yeah. Without any further ado, here he is, the man himself, him. some of your favorite songs, 1999, Purple Rain, but I ain't doing none of those, because I'm Taft Cap, the artist formerly known as Year. He looks different. He looks gorgeous. lightning itself. I'm just trying to get dark and get back to my roots. Eddie, what are you doing, man? Uh, come on. Uh, I don't know what happened, man. You know, I be having them flashes, man. You know, every time I think of something, who was out that time? Uh, oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how about it for that, that Taft Cap guy? You know, the artist formerly known as 
get sending out a, a look-alike as his opening act, huh? <laughs> He's full of surprises. But listen, before the man himself actually comes out, uh, two-for-one drinks for everybody. How's that? Hey, yo, Eddie, what the hell's going on? It ain't my fault, man. Prince's plane had engine trouble. He's not coming? Oh, man, if you told me, I could have rescheduled. Now we look like a couple of scam artists. Man, you know, I wanted to tell you, but it was the greatest night of your life. I didn't want to let you down, man. Oh, well, thank you. Hey, what, what do we do about those people out there? Them people? I had them food. Oh, look, I just ran out of makeup. I mean, what do you want me to do? You got to tell them Prince isn't coming. And then you tell them that they all get free tune-ups in your garage. All right, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a painful confession to make. I'm mentally ill. I'm an outpatient on a weekend pass. I never know when I'm gonna click, you know? Come on, baby, you need a drink. Tell, what you call? What's up, man? I'm Malcolm. Yo, I own the place. Yo, man, this is a nice place you got here. Hey, man, uh, you know, a friend of mine uh, had a little engine trouble, and he said you might actually need some entertainment in here tonight. <laughs> Bridget? Montel! Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. Thank you. you know him, too? <laughs> Why do you think I broke up with Prince? Yo, man, do you mind if I do a tune or something like that? Uh, man, I don't mind if you do balloon animals. Let's hold up. Ladies and gentlemen, well, uh, come on, come on back. Now, as you've guessed, Prince isn't gonna make it, but you got a special guest, so would you please give a little bit of love for Montel Jordan? <laughs> What's up? Hey, everybody in the house tonight, I want you to put your hands together like this. A little song I called I Like off my new album. Go have a little fun with this. If my man Slick Rick was in with us this evening, he started off like this. Great, I'm in trouble, I suppose, because I just hit girlfriend jalopy in my drop top pros. Chopper came to a halt. I'm like, I beg your pardon, madam, but it was truly my fault. And instead of a young and then acting all bug, hun, all in my drop dead gorgeous mug. Pretty, body definitely curvy, and thirdly, the way she died, I hear my arms in her. Baby, let me. Say what's on my mind Take a little time to express myself Honey, I think you're fine Now I don't have no problem You got a headache? I will in a minute Hi, Eddie! <laughs> ah. Nicolette, don't you look stunning Well, I'll see you two lovebirds later Stay. Oh, Eddie, I couldn't. But I want you two to have a wonderful time this evening. Oh, and if I come back and there's a tennis shoe tied on the doorknob, I'll know to find other lodgings. Eddie, give me a shoe. I'm wearing boots, because it's getting thick in here. <laughs> Isn't this great? You and I on a real date? <laughs> I got a better idea. Ooh, I can't wait to find out. <laughs> Let's pretend we're married. Ooh, that's a great idea. <laughs> Good. Go get me a beer, woman. <laughs> Go on now. And where them five little chillin' at? Always running around here tearing up stuff. I'm gonna have an affair. That's what's gonna go down. <laughs> Sitting here watching the game, coming in here disturbing me, always chitter chatter, chitter chatter. Yum 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 yum. You don't take me nowhere. You don't buy me nothing. Why don't you do something with yourself? Oh, God, God, God. Go on now. Yo, Molly Mal. Yo. Say hello to Larry. Oh, oh I get it, Larry Bird. <laughs> 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 
No, it's Larry the Parrot. I always wanted a parrot. I always wanted to name him Larry. But he's green like a Celtic. Look, stop being clever. It's Larry the Parrot. Uh, Eddie, parrots are noisy. I mean, they're messy. They spit food all over the place. I already got a roommate who does that. Uh, he's not a roommate. It's a temporary thing, you see. You know, I got him for $200 because he can't talk. <laughs> but I, when I teach him how to talk, I'm going to make about a thousand off of him. Hey, hey, say something. Say, say, Eddie's the man. Come on, say it. Eddie the man. Uh, right Ed, Eddie, you, you are going to keep Larry in the garage, right? No, the fumes are killing. You are going to keep Larry in the garage, right? <laughs> Little Larry want to go in the garage? Ow! Guess Larry don't want to go in the garage. <laughs> Good girl. Oh, I'm sorry. Good boy. Hey, forget the last six. Try this one. Smooth, an instant classic. <laughs> all right. See, Holly, I told you I'd get the hang of this. Malcolm, after all he's put away, you could be giving him turpentine. He wouldn't know the difference. Nah, Tim's a big guy. He can handle this assignment. Right, Tim? I mean, you feeling okay? I'm fine. You know it takes more than... <laughs> I must be getting close. <laughs> Unaccompanied cute female, no ring, 12 o'clock. If she's stupid, you're in. Oops, she's walking and chewing gum. Sorry. Hey, don't worry about my friend. Uh, he'll wake up by spray. Can I get you something? Anything but what he had. Uh, well, that leaves water. Well, that's perfect. All right. Well, how do you do? My name is Malcolm. Now, I mention that because you may hear people call me other things like... Uh -huh. Well, I think I'll stick with Malcolm, but I do like a man who's confident. Ooh, well, this is gonna work out because I'm confident that I like women who like confident men. <laughs> so what does a confident man like myself call you? My name is Julia. Mm, well, Julia, you sure you don't want a real drink? It's on the house. That's the policy here at Kelly's. Beautiful women named Julia drink for free. Oh, well, okay then. Do you make a decent martini? An instant classic. Get the tow truck. Look, Larry, I don't want to put no pressure on you. But I got to get you talking on tape to prove you're worth a thousand dollars. Now, if you want to eat, you talk. <laughs> If you want to talk dirty, you go right ahead. Might be worth a few extra bucks. Man, I gotta tell you, I have the best job in the world. Spent the whole afternoon talking to a beautiful, intelligent woman, drinking martinis, and talking about life. Sound like my garage. I'm taking this one out tomorrow night. Oh, Eddie, she's different. I mean, she's smart. She's funny. And she just came out of your bedroom. <laughs> Hi, Malcolm. Julia? Hey, 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 that's about enough of that. My sister's the girl from the bar. No, no, this is the girl from the bar. Well, I guess I should have told you, but then I never would have gotten to see this expression on your face. <laughs> no, wait, wait, you cannot be Eddie's sister. That's genetically impossible. <laughs> I mean, look at you. You are so beautiful, and Eddie is so not anything like you. <laughs> Eddie, why didn't you tell me you had such a cute roommate? Because he ain't. <laughs> and if he was cute, accidentally, this one time, he ain't gonna let it happen again. Are you, mouth? No, no, I swear, the next time I'm cute, it'll be on purpose. Eddie, I am not 14 years old anymore. I do not need a chaperone. Oh, you right, you right, you grown. You know what you need? You need a pet bull. Some pepper spray and a stun gun. Hey, Julia, Eddie didn't tell me you were visiting. Eddie didn't know. She's supposed to be visiting mom. Stop through so we can spend some time together. One-on-one, -on -one, brother and sister, neither of uh, which is you. So if you'll excuse us. Actually, if you'll excuse me, 
I've got a shower to take. Hey, Julia, don't be saying shower in front of Malcolm. Shower. <laughs> what kind of freak are you, man? <laughs> what? I didn't do anything. And you ain't either. Now, Julia, she's vulnerable right now. She just broke up with her boyfriend. What's that got to do with me? Nothing if I do my job right. Here to protect that girl. Eddie, wait a minute. Now, this is me you're talking to. It's your boy, your friend, Malcolm. Exactly. The man who wrote his phone number on the ladies' room wall of his bar. Well, that was just to get suggestions about service and stuff like that. I mean, Julia and I can be friends. Oh, 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 friends. Name one woman who's just a friend. Well, there's a... Uh... Yeah. <clears throat> no, no, uh, uh, uh... That one, too. Uh, back home. Back home, there's Susie. The white girl. No, no, no. <laughs> Susie is short for... Sh for Shushana. Oh. Yeah, this shows how much you know. See, in fact, today's her birthday. I should call her just as a friend. Ah, uh, well, as a friend, call Susie. But in the meantime... Keep your eyes off Julia. Keep your hands off Julia. Keep your everything else off Julia. If you got something to say to her, write it down, double space it, and I'll look over it. Yo, relax, Eddie. All right? I'm telling you, I'm already there, man. I mean, I got you as a roommate. So why in the world would I want you as an in-law? I mean, you know, just for me, you know what I mean? Just, just leave her alone, all right? You got it. I mean, as your partner, as your boy, you have my word that she's off limits, all right? All right. My man. I believe you. But I'm still gonna get that restraining order just in case. <laughs> Going somewhere? <laughs> Well, yeah, I haven't wet the bed since I was three, so I figured, why start now? Okay, I'll be listening. Yo, uh, Eddie, Eddie, this has got to stop, man. You, you still don't trust me? Hey, it's not that I don't trust you. You know, I, I thought it was a burglar coming in. Halt, who go there? Hey, you see, it was cute at first, but now it's not funny anymore, man. I mean, you insulting your sister, you insulting me. You know, I thought I was your boy. I thought we was cool like that, but that's all right, man. I understand that. I, I get it. I forgot I still got to go to the bathroom. Eddie, what are you doing? Teaching the bird how to do Michael Jackson. Can't nobody understand it. Don't you have to get to work? Yeah, uh, hey, you want to come along? I was thinking we could spend the afternoon together. And why? So you can keep an eye on me? No, thank you. I'll be fine, all right? All right, all right, all right. All right. Keep the door locked. Don't let nobody in unless it's me. You know it's me because I'll knock like, ow, oh, that. <laughs> Hey, what's up, girl? Hey. See, you let him in. He could have been anybody and done anything. Eddie, go take care of your business. All right, I'm gonna leave. Leave the door open. Should I leave the door open? All right. Hey, uh, I'll wait on you. You wanna race down the stairs? All right, no racing. <laughs> All right, I'm gone. <laughs> go. I need anything. Yeah. I was thinking like some motor oil sandwiches or something. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Sometimes you just have to ignore him. Oh, sometimes? <laughs> oh, Julia, listen, about our plans tonight, I'm going to have to cancel. I'm really sorry. Really? Yeah, something came up, and uh, I just hope you're not too disappointed. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not too disappointed okay, because cool. we don't need tonight. We've got right now. Ooh. 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 
I never thought I'd be saying this to a beautiful woman, but slow down, girl. <laughs> What, do I kiss too fast? Oh, no, you kiss perfect. And that's the problem. I mean, look, Eddie's like a brother oh, to me. I... No, 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 which makes you like a sister. Mm -hmm. And that's just not right, even in Missouri. <laughs> Malcolm, you have got to stop. You are a grown man, and I am a grown woman. Ooh, yes, yes, I noticed. <laughs> Kiss me, baby. I'll make you forget every other one. What you waiting for? I don't bite. Touch her, and I'm gonna chop off your hands. Look, Eddie. I mean, Julia. Whew. Look, look. This is this is nothing personal, all right. I mean, it's just that Eddie's your brother, and and that's my boy. And I promised him. I gave him my word that you were gonna be off limits. All right, so let's just be friends, okay? Okay, that's probably best, and you should probably keep your promise. And Malcolm, I am sorry. <laughs> No need to be sorry. I mean, you, you, you're going through a tough time right now. <sighs> you just take it slow, all right? And, and, and you'll be okay. <clears throat> But now that we're just friends, can I ask you a personal question? Sure, anything. What's under Eddie's hat? She purring like a kitten. Don't you yank me! You adjust the fuel mixture and you fix the compression ratio and you tweak the timer and I'll be back after my step class. <laughs> Damn, if she was just 80 years younger, boy. Hey, Eddie. What you doing? What's wrong? What? Nothing's wrong. I just asked you, what are you doing? Malcolm tried to get in the drawers, didn't he? <sighs> he didn't try anything. You said we were gonna spend the afternoon together, so here I am. You don't even like the garage. Now, what happened? Nothing. See, you twitched. That means you're lying. Eddie, please. A twitch and a hair flip. That means you're mad and you're lying. Now, what happened? Nothing really happened. Really? See, really? That's a trick word, you know what I mean? When you say nothing really happened, that means something really did. Oh, Eddie, don't jump to conclusions. Malcolm and I are just friends. I think he's really cute and everything. <laughs> Eddie? Eddie? All right, Malcolm, come on out. It's me and you. It's on. Well, bust your chops, mister. Don't even try to hide. Got my auntie coming over. What you got planned for her, little freaky freak? <laughs> hey, Larry, man, what'd you see? See anything? Wait a minute. Yeah, you seen something. Uh-huh. Rerun to the scene of the crimes. We gonna... I don't even need you. I let the tape do the talking. But hang out, because I might need you to drop dime in court. <laughs> Sam, get you to talk and give you a couple of rib shots in the kidneys. <laughs> Punk bird. <laughs> huh, you like to kiss, huh? <laughs> That's gonna be the kiss of death, bro. I'll tell you that right now. Find you, bro. Don't you think? Okay, there you go. This one is the one. Yo, Eddie, one of those sex on the beach. That's all you think about, ain't it? How you sleep at night, you dog? What the hell are you talking about? Did you or did you not give your word of honor that you wouldn't touch my little sister? And I use the word touch with your hands in the broadest sense to include your lips. Yes, I did. All right, he's a backstabbing snake. 
What? Uh, that's hard to beat because a snake ain't got no arms. <laughs> Look at me in the eyes. Tell me you're not a liar. I am not a liar. Yes, you are. What? Uh, hey, people. Excuse me. Excuse me. The people, you know me, right? I mean, would I lie? Never. Thank you. Uh, unless it involved a woman somehow. See, I never liked you anyway, Holly. Appreciate it. Well, you told me you were tight with Holly, and we all know you don't have a shot in hell there. Tim, come on, help me out here. Malcolm, I I'm not getting involved, but the sign does say all you can eat, and you never let me. See, see, there you got it. Case in point right there. You never let the big man eat all he can eat. I don't blame you, but you never let him do it. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me rephrase the question, all right? Does anybody here honestly believe that I could ever, under any circumstances, betray the trust of my man, my partner, my boy, especially when it comes to his beloved little sister? And <laughs> hey, that's not funny, people. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. Thank you. I rest my case. Well, you rest it. I'm going to wake it right back up. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you're going to allow yourselves to be tricked, bamboozled, lied to by this self-proclaimed Judas. Biblical reference, I'm on the road. Okay. Then I have no recourse but to show the evidence I have in hand. Mm -hmm. Everything that happened in that room is on this tape. Ooh. Wait, you were taping us? No, you some kind of pervert. I was taping the bird. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot healthier. <laughs> look, Eddie, look, I'm giving you a chance now, all right? You don't want to run that tape. What you afraid of? No, I'm, I'm not afraid of anything. It just wouldn't be fair to your sister. Uh huh. gather around, people. We'll see who's being fair to Julie. <laughs> now remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you see something sick, you must convict. <laughs> press freeze frame right there. Ladies and gentlemen, see that man on the left? <laughs> that man made a solemn oath that he would not touch the woman on the right. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, by all definitions of the word, that is a touch. Mm -hmm. I ask you, whose hands are those? Malcolm's. Whose <laughs> lips are those? Malcolm's. <laughs> whose mustache is that? <laughs> people. The point is, is that the man touched my little sister. And he lucky this ain't Iraq, otherwise you'd be eating with your elbows. Eddie, what is going on? Oh, I'm defending your honor. What is that doing on TV? Hey, I'm sorry, I didn't want to show it, but I caught Malcolm on tape taking advantage of you. What are you, some kind of pervert? No, it's taping the bird. Besides, you ought to be happy. I'm defending your whole situation, how people think about you. And what better way to defend my situation than to show your beloved little sister kissing on television in a bar full of people? Exactly. Have you seen the rest of the tape? Now, nah, look okay. what I seen. Let me know it was freaky freaky. <laughs> watching this. Eddie's your brother, and he's my boy, and, and I, I promised to him, I gave him my word that you would be off me. So let's just be friends, okay? Uh, I gotta go. You know, that oil ain't gonna change itself. <laughs> Case dismissed. Now, counsel will turn in the pool cue to the clerk. Thank you very much. Eddie, you gotta stop. I can take care of myself. All right, I'm, I'm sorry, you know. I'm just trying to look out for you, little sis. You know, oh, Miley Mile, my bruh, my n- <laughs> I think I owe you a little apology, you know. No, no, hey, Eddie, you know something, man? You don't have to say anything. Uh -huh. Cool like that. Oh, cool, cool. You just go upstairs, write it down, double space it, and I'll have a look at it in the morning. Ah, uh, you got me, man. You got me. And Mr. Malcolm, may I buy you a drink? Ooh, well, one little friendly drink can't hurt. Okay. Sure, come on. <laughs> now, uh, Holly, would you please bring us two of my special martinis? Yeah, Holly, won't you make that three? 
Martinez. Larry. 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 Man. What? White meat, red wine. It works. Man, it ain't funny, man. I love that parrot, man. Man, you will love it even more with some hot sauce. Try it. Uh, uh, you owe me two hundred dollars, man. Almost had that bird talking. Man. Hi, guys. Larry, Larry. Say hello to Papa. Sorry, guys. He still hasn't said a word. <laughs> yeah, dumb bird. I'd make a hat out of you. If you're gonna be like that, he can come and live with me. Oh, yeah, we'll take him on out of here. Fine. Let's go, little fella. See you later, Larry Bird. <laughs> Bye. So long, suckers. Hand me the hot sauce. I got the night before. Hey, Eddie, how about a little sex on a drink? <laughs> My turn? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't see you hanging there, you know. Hi. Um, look, I was hoping you could uh, look at my car. It's been making this real funny noise, kind of like. When you women make them motor sounds, it's probably coming from that big metal thing underneath the hood. Um, the third cylinder's firing out of sequence. I think it might need a cute little ring job. Oh, excuse me, Mrs. Good Wrench. Most women don't know anything about cars. And most men don't know anything about women. Chalk one up for the skirt. Uh, Eddie Sherman. Eddie Sherman's torn repair. Hi, Stephanie Clark. Nice to meet you. Hey, let me give you my card. Uh, should I call you with an estimate? Well, it shouldn't cost any more than about $200. Oh, no, that's $300 minimum, baby. <laughs> okay, you know I had to take a shot. Hey, chalk one up for the overalls. <laughs> yeah, I know I haven't called you in a couple of days. No, there are no other women, Sandy. Uh, Cindy? <laughs> Why no, I said Cindy. No, you might have heard Sandy, but baby, I said Cindy. I only got you on my mind. Hey, Malcolm, I need to ask you something. Hang on, Cindy. Bridget, if this is about your drain, I already fixed it. Now, just because I'm your landlord does not mean you can come in here and bother me whenever you feel like it, all right? Hey, I'm back, Cindy. Fine, I'll go and ask McGinley if he wants me to put his bar on television. Hey, hang on, Cindy. Did you say television? Wait, wait, hold up. Come on in here. Bring yourself in here. I'm your landlord. Now talk to me. Well, I'm guest hosting Eye on KC, and this Saturday we're doing a live report from a local hotspot. Hey, you know, that's perfect. Saturday night I'm showing the Tyson fight, the place will be packed. Hell, oh, good looking now, Bridget. I really appreciate this. And I really appreciate your regrouting my shower. Bye bye. <laughs> But you know, you should really make this a weekly event, because if it's weekly, then you can come down to the spot. And... Ah, you there? Whew, oh, sorry. No, what? Well, I spend so much time daydreaming about you, Cindy, I forgot I was talking to you. Ah, you won't believe what happened. Hey, you'll call you back, dog. Uh, 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 Eddie, I, I was making a date. I mean, you got enough dates. Let's talk about me getting this one with her. Stephanie Clark, director, Little Buddies Association. Yeah, she worked with little kids without fathers. Just like her, man, always giving. Well, if she's giving, you should go get some. I am. I gotta figure out my strategy, though. I mean, this girl, she got brains, she got personality. All right, just be yourself. I mean, go down there and give her some of that Eddie Sherman charm. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I can see it, man. Eddie Sherman Chum. Mm. What up, girl? Right on for the right on. I said Eddie Sherman Charm. I said nothing about Huggy Bear. <laughs> I brought you your car, and I brought you this. Hey, who took the rolls off my 
desk. How can you work around here with all that noise? Eddie, you did not have to bring my car back down here. I know, I had plenty of time. I had time to wash it, time to detail it, shampoo the carpets, fill it up with gas. You need to paint it, baby. You know, you seem like a really sweet guy. Sweeter than a chocolate sundae with nuts. You know, I bet you could really brighten up somebody's life. Brighten your life up like the Las Vegas Strip on a Saturday night. And you got a lot of love to give, don't you? I'm like the Energizer Bunny. I just keep loving and loving and loving. And loving. Well, then, I think you would make a perfect candidate for our little buddy program. Well, how about you being my buddy, baby girl? <laughs> the kids are gonna get a real kick out of you. Yeah. The kids. Hey, how'd it go? Did you get lucky? Oh, yeah. Real lucky. All right. She's a lot younger than I thought. <laughs> and she's a boy. Malcolm, meet my little buddy, Troy. Troy is my partner, Malcolm. <laughs> hey, what's up, Troy? What's up, man? <laughs> Whoa, check out this TV. Man, you got the Playboy channel? Uh, uh-uh, no. You want it? All I need is a shoelace and some aluminum foil. Really? You can hook it up? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you, this kid got skills. Man, this place is great. Oh, you can spit on the people going into the bar down there. Now you know what's better than that man? Just drop water balloons on yeah. Hey, Eddie. Boy, get away from that window. There's them mountain customers down there. I'm gonna go make myself a sandwich. Righteous. Now, let me try to piece together what happened to you. Please, man, I was there and I don't even know. What happened to the girl? First, I get the kid, then I get the girl. It's part of my plan. Here you go, Eddie. Man, one for you, too. Well, what about me? Get your own little buddy. <laughs> get your own little buddy. <laughs> this is where the magic happens, man. Hey, I like that calendar, babe. 36, 24, 36. The girls I hang out with are more like uh, 12, 9, and 12. <laughs> well, if you're not fussy, I can hook you up with a 12, 26, 12. You mind if I borrow that? I've been having some trouble learning months and days. Yeah, sure. Hook you right on up, mister. <laughs> play a brother like that? <sighs> Look, man, I'm gonna fix this engine. You wanna hold the flashlight? Man, give me the 316 wrench. I'll change the oil while you replace the spark plugs. Oh, there you go. I got to fill this place with little buddies. Get little transmission buddies. Little tire changing buddies. Daddy? Hi. Stephanie. I just thought I'd come by and see how you and Troy were doing. Hey, Eddie, you got the drain plug loose? You put the boy to work? Nah, nah, nothing like that. I ain't painting. <laughs> We're having fun, Miss Clark. Isn't that right, uh, Buddy Eddie? Yeah, uh, Buddy Troy. You know, now that I got a, a little buddy, how about you being my big buddy? <laughs> well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to get to know you a little bit better. Uh, you want to go on this date? Saturday? Tyson fight? Ooh, that sounds like fun. Oh, Lord. I was sure you gonna ask me to the fight. Well, hey, look, I don't want to step on anybody's toes. Her? She got extras. <laughs> More toes to love you with, Sugar Lips. <laughs> Nicolette, what the hell you doing here? There's a blue temple parked illegally out front, and I figure if it's one of your customers, you know I let them slide. Actually, that's my car. Well, the law's the law. I took an oath to uphold it. Go on now. Hey, hey, I'll take care of that. Well, look, as long as you're taking care of that, why don't I buy you lunch? You hungry? Oh, I'm starving. You know, Troy, little buddy, I was thinking it might be cool if you hang out with Buddy Malcolm. Care to 
tell me why? Yeah, see, uh, you wouldn't want to wait in that long line when I go to pick up the Chiefs tickets for Sunday's game. Would those be the 50-yard line tickets? No, them the 20-yard line tickets. 45. 35. 40. Deal. And they say the school system ain't doing their job. Come on, play another game of pinball with me. This time, I won't use the right flipper. No, you're way too good for me, Troy. But why don't you try climbing Mount Tim? Just be careful, it gets kind of slippery up top. <laughs> no, 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 there'll be no climbing today. Ooh, Mount Tim's got to erupt. Can I borrow a quarter? I want to make a crank phone call. Right, there you go. Molly Maya, told you I'd be right back. Yeah, that was four hours ago. Me and Stephanie went to an all-you-can-eat place. If you don't stay till you're hungry again, you might as well go to a regular restaurant. Look, Eddie, I can't be babysitting your little buddy. Why not? That kid is cool. Yeah, but I'm running a sports bar, not Chuck E. Cheese. Well, I can't do it either. I'm all backed up from that four-hour lunch. I got work to do. Face it, you don't have time for a little buddy. Yeah, you right, man. You know, I only got the little kid so I could hook up with Stephanie. You got Stephanie, you return the kid. Yeah, I'll send him back. I think I still got the receipt. Where's Troy anyway? Oh, well, I gave him some money to make a crank call. <laughs> hey, Troy! There's my little buddy. Hey, you want to get some jello pudding? Ah. <laughs> you want to go to the garage, hang out, work? Nah, I'm tired of working for nothing. Hey, you want to make 20 bucks? Doing what? You know, I need you to pass these flyers out, okay? Now, I'm going to be on TV tomorrow, so I need a bar full of people. Don't worry, Malcolm. I'll make sure your bar's full of people. My man. Welcome to my world. Everything you see, I own half of it. You cover one eye, I own all of it. <laughs> Garçon, a table, please. It's right over there. So you know where it's at. <laughs> oh. Right this way, Mr. Sherman. Yeah. There you go, sir. There yeah. You go. Yeah. A hundred bucks? <laughs> yeah, I got it out of the register. Now put it back. Oh, Eddie, this is so lovely. Only thing that's missing is one of those little gypsy violinists. And now for a little pizza cutter. How about a little pizza? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, Lord. No, Eddie, it's all right. I came over to say I hope you two have a wonderful evening. You're a lucky lady. Eddie is a special man. I wish you nothing but the best. That's what I came over to say. But now that I'm actually here, I hope you choke on your lamb chops and die. Good night. We're on in 10 seconds. Are you ready, Malcolm? Yeah. Good evening, Kansas City. As part of our series on KC's hottest night spots, we're live at Kelly's Bar with owner Malcolm McGee. Oh, hi. Malcolm, what makes Kelly so hot? Mm. Well, for starters, it helps to have a young, good-looking owner. Now, I bet all of you at home are wondering how a young, good-looking guy like myself could own such a prestigious bar like this. He won well, the lottery. <laughs> I was young and good looking when I did it. Now, <laughs> Thank you, Malcolm. Let's move over here and talk to co owner Eddie Sherman. Oh, wait, wait, oh, now, did I forget to mention that on Tuesdays, anyone with a mini skirt drinks for free? <laughs> I said thank you, Malcolm. <clears throat> Eddie Sherman, how does it feel to be the co owner of such a hot place in Kansas City? Uh, hey, get the hell away from my table. <laughs> I'm on a damn date here. <laughs> hey, let's talk to one of the regulars. Miss, can you say a few words about some of the great times you've had here at Kelly's? It's a house of pain is what it is. <laughs> Maybe this is a good time to throw it back to you, Bill. Where's the square dance start? We're ready to raise the roof. <laughs> I think you want to try the fairgrounds. But your flyer don't say nothing about no fairgrounds. Let me see that. 
Oh, I don't know anything about this, sir. We're, we're showing a fight. We're not throwing a dance. Oh, there might be a fight, all right. <laughs> Listen, I wish I could accommodate you, but I don't even have the appropriate music. Excuse me, Malcolm. Here are those square dancing CDs you wanted. <laughs> you did this? And made 20 bucks doing it. <laughs> Troy, what are you doing here? I came to show my new buddies I care about them as much as they care about me. Well, Troy, uh, this is no place for a 10-year-old. You're right. Miss Clark, could you take me home? Uh, Troy, Miss Clark is on a date, dead little buddy. Oh, then I guess I'll just walk home in the dark, alone. You know, I've always wanted to be on a milk carton. Oh, uh, Eddie, I should go. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? That little knothead messed up my date. Yo, that little knothead is turning Kelly's into the OK Corral. So, uh, are we dancing, or are we dancing? You know, l let me try to say this as eloquently as I can. There's no way in hell... We're back. ...that you are going home without getting your square dance on, partner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, this, this is Kelly's, where everybody goes home happy. So, uh, when do we start? Uh, well, when the fight's over. Hell, yeah. you believe it! Tyson, by a knockout, 12 seconds into the first round! calling the dance. Oh, well, uh, you're in luck. Yeah, 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 see, see, straight from Sheep Pie, Texas, we have Eddie Longhorn Sherman. Hey, man, I ain't never called no square dance before. Well, look, your little buddy got us in this mess, and it's up to you to get us out. Tim, there you go. Hey, go, 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 just call it. music or we up out of here and we ain't never coming back better yet let's bounce let's no 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 hey, hey 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 where you going i did not forget you hey tim Made a killing last night. And more importantly, we did it without getting killed. You can say that again. Ah, uh, well, look who's here. Dennis the Menace. Gentleman Troy has something he'd like to say to you. Troy? I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. Yeah, well, you should be. And why'd you do it? You guys don't want me anymore. Oh, that was more Malcolm than it was me. <laughs> you were just using me to get a date with Miss Clark. And is this true? Oh, no. He gonna believe a ten-year-old over me. <laughs> so it's true. Troy, look, bruh. Cop squat. <clears throat> look, man, it's like... 
I really didn't want to hurt your feelings. You know, I really like your little knot here, you know what I'm saying? But I just didn't have time to be a proper big buddy for you. Yeah, whatever. I've heard this all before. Eddie, you still got those uh, Chiefs tickets? Malcolm, don't try to hustle me right now. I'm trying to suck up to the kid. <laughs> Take the boy to the game. All the tickets. Hey, what you think, man? Me and you, buddy, buddy, you know what I'm saying? Ombre, ombre, my partner. <laughs> bullet head to bullet head. I'll give it a shot. Right, just... Thanks, you guys. Come on, Troy. Hey, uh, Stephanie. What about, uh, me and you, you and me, giving it a shot? Uh, no, that's okay. Thanks. <clears throat> shot down. Hey, I'm kind of glad things didn't work out with me and Steffi no way, man. It's because I met this other girl. Fine. And she worked at this retirement home. <laughs> no, 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 Eddie. We are not going to have a senior buddy. Hey, Malcolm, look, man. It would be cool, man, because I met this old dude down there. No, he swear he was in the Civil War. You know what I'm saying? He just kept on saying, when's y'all going to let me have a gun? <laughs> All the rest of y'all's got guns. All the rest of got is my hands. Hi, Eddie. Oh, not again. I heard it didn't work out between you and that do good a hussy. Of course, I knew it wouldn't. Because <laughs> she didn't understand you the way I do. <laughs> but I admit it was hard for me to sit back and watch it all happen. But I did. And yes, I was hurt. I was hurt bad, but I never let on. No, I was just a lighthouse. Showing you the way back to the dock of love. <laughs> and I told you I'd be here to pick up pieces. I did. And I'm ready, Eddie. You can tell me anything because it's like destiny, you and me. We like, we like one. <laughs> Each other, just don't make a sugar sandwich. I had it when I was a kid, you can have it. <laughs> Man, do I love Halloween. You know, I'm sorry I didn't cut your eyes out yet, because you gotta see this one. <laughs> Practical jokes? Man, that ain't funny, man. Hey, hey, just admit it, all right? I'm the king. You know I'm the king, hey, boy. Give me this knife. I'm hey. gonna make you the queen. Watch yourself. <laughs> what you doing, Mal? Check it out. Look at that, baby. All right, now, I left a little bit for you, so go ahead and finish her off. Oh, no, hell no. I don't like Halloween. I don't like Halloween parties. I don't like them little trick-or-treaters. Always trying to get free candy out of me. Little pieces of candy. Don't want to go buy a big one. They got money in their pockets. <laughs> the only thing I like about the month of October is Columbus Day and that Canadian Thanksgiving. Oh, well, how can you hate Halloween, man? It's got everything. Free candy for little kids, women dressed in sexy costumes for us big kids. I can get with that part of it. Oh, that's Bridget and Nicolette. <laughs> Check this out. You ready? Three, two. 
<laughs> you like that, right? You like that? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. We are not laughing, Malcolm. Well, of course not. You're the victims. Your job is to make me laugh. Job well done. <laughs> Have you decided yet on your costume for Malcolm's party tonight? Yeah! I was thinking we could go together as a horse. Your choice, front end or back. I'd be happy to just be in there somewhere. You little Halloweeny freak, ain't you? I ain't even going to the party. I'm gonna stay right here in the house. I got my own damn reason, so don't ask. I hate Halloween. Did your mother used to give out fruit and kids egg your house and make fun of you? <laughs> well, yeah, but that ain't it. Yeah. Oh, I know what it is. He is his mother. No, 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 no. See, there's a curse on the Sherman family. They are said it. <laughs> no, nah, that's not it. No, it is. It's, it's a curse. It started in the islands, man. <laughs> Every Halloween, full moon come about. Somebody in the Sherman family get bit by a demon dog from beyond and turn into a werewolf. <laughs> All right, all right, let's pretend that there's not a steel plate under that hat. Now, say you were in danger of turning into a werewolf tonight. Wouldn't you be better off downstairs amongst all your friends rather than up here all alone? I mean, besides, the bar has a strict no pets policy. Now, that ain't funny, man. And if you're in costume, the werewolf won't know who you are, so he won't bother you. Uh, unless you dress up as a giant milk bone. <laughs> Don't y'all make fun of Eddie. If he says there's a curse, then you best believe there is one. And Eddie, if you want to stay here tonight, I'll be right by your side. I'll get you through the night. Just you and me on the couch watching TV. What time the party start? <laughs> seen any demon dogs? Who are you supposed to be anyway? Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Vampire in Brooklyn. Watch, watch, watch. Hey, hey! Eddie Murphy. Vampire in Brooklyn. Oh. <laughs> and nobody seen that movie? All right, somebody bought tickets. Hey, everybody. Halloween drinks on me. So good. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, 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 come on. I, I, I'm making Bloody Mary. <laughs> oh, I thought it was funny, Malcolm. Oh, well, thank you very much, Tina. And I must say, that costume looks like a winner, my dear. Well, it should. And don't worry, I'll be real surprised when I win that thousand dollars. You know, I don't know who you are, and you better slow down on this drink, okay? <laughs> Malcolm, what? this contest had better be for real. Nicolette and I worked very hard on our costumes. Okay, well, I'm working very hard on trying to figure out exactly who you are. I am the Gypsy Esmeralda from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And guess who I am? <laughs> well, you're about to be the headless horseman if you don't get the hell up off of my bar. Ah, get off my hunchy back. Come on, admit it, Malcolm. No one here has a better costume than ours. Make way for the Empire State Building. Uh-oh. Hey, Malcolm. How about giving me that thousand dollars now? I got two more contests to win before midnight. Well, Tim, I gotta say, you do look sharp, but you have some competition. Have you seen Tina's costume over there? Damn, that was my second choice. <laughs> Uh, Buckwheat O'Tay. <laughs> now I know this is an Eddie Murphy y'all recognize. <laughs> look what we got over here. Look, 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 look right there. Look right there. Look, look, look a burnt genie. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, this is the only cat woman I know ain't got no meat on her. <laughs> 
you believe this? A building inside a building. <laughs> This is gonna be fun. It is. I'm having a blast. <laughs> oh, that's it, man. You making fun of my curse? You making fun of me? I'm gonna get in my trunk, broccoli, man. I'm gonna ride all night. Cause a werewolf can't bite what he can't catch. Well, I, I'll drive you, Eddie. Now, the whole idea, Nicolette, is to get away from scary monsters. <laughs> but thank you anyway. He got such nice manners. <laughs> Malcolm? Hey, stop joking around, man. Next, we have Esmeralda and her little friend Quasimodo. Sanctuary! I'm not made of stone like thee! Stop! Leave him alone. You Parisian citizens should be ashamed of yourselves, for a man's worth should not be judged by his external Let's appearance. Let's hear it for Esmeralda and Quasimodo! <laughs> Next up, our final contestant, the Empire State Building. was once the tallest building in the world. But I'm not anymore. Thank you. <laughs> Malcolm, are you happy? You happy? Yes, yeah, well, that's a real costume. It's not a costume, I got bit by a devil dog. All of you, get out of here before I eat you. Did you get me? Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, we have one more contestant. Scary werewolf. I'm not kidding. I'm really... I'm really... Dressed up as Eddie Murphy. <laughs> hey, this is bogus. I spent $940 for this costume. Man, I was gonna make 60 bucks. You lost, Tim. How can you people apply for fake hair? <laughs> I told you not to touch my hair. You know how long it took me to get it like this? This building's condemned. Yes. <laughs> Okay, you win. Damn, I did that. Anybody need a jaw open? He's a real werewolf. Ah! 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 
Here the prize money. Werewolves got expenses too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I doubted you, Eddie. We gotta get you to a doctor. Or at least to a circus where we can make some money. Now, I'm sorry, it's this damn curse. I'm doomed like this for eternity. Hi, Eddie. Is there anything worse than doomed for eternity? There must be a way to lift this curse. Well, legend has it, if you find the original werewolf and kill it, all of his victims will be set free. Although, I like a man with a hairy chest. And Harry, everything else, I'm guessing. <laughs> all right, I'll call the police. We'll put out an APB on all devil dogs. Sounds like a job for McGruff. Don't worry, my pet. I I'll be your wolf lady. Go on, bite me, Eddie. Make me one of you. We can roam this planet together and be undead as one until the end of time. Call McGruff before I take a bite out of crime here. <laughs> All right, we rounded up the usual suspects. Any of these animals look familiar to you? <laughs> oh, Eddie, what are you doing? You're supposed to be on this side of the window. I'm here hanging out with my people. <laughs> what they get you for, man? Biting the old mailman thing again? <laughs> I ain't worried about it, you know what I'm saying? Snoop Doggy Dog gonna get us out the door. Uh, hey, I got your chew sticks over here. Come on, man. I'm trying to get number two's phone number. Hey, 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 stop dogging the dogs, dog. We're looking for the wolf that bit you. Uh, how about it? Any of these the one? I don't know. It was, it was late. It was dark. Uh, maybe number three. Number three, would you please step forward? <laughs> now turn to your left. <laughs> Let me hear you howl. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, is that the best you can do? Listen, dog, we have ways of making you howl. <laughs> All right, I'll leave you alone. Well, if uh, none of these are the culprit, uh, we do have one more. Oh, Eddie. Uh, well, it wasn't me, it was my stomach. Uh, can we get moving, man? I gotta eat someone, so something. <clears throat> Could you uh, put the last one on the line? Sure. Turn me into this monster. <laughs> Look, you guys kill him. I'll be at Denny's eating Denny. <laughs> Eddie, no! Eddie, hey, wait! Heal! Stay! <sighs> I'm hungry. I didn't know if that Denny's grand slam was gonna be enough. <laughs> There. I went to McDonald's instead. Oh, good. Shoo. You only ate fast food. Oh, uh, you was fast. Not fast enough. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't eat. Ronald, red clown shoes and all. He didn't give me the prize in that Happy Meal. So I was unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do with you? You gotta pump me full of silver bullets. No, I, I can't do that. Oh, Eddie, you, you, you're, you're a good man. I mean, sure, you eat people when the moon is full, but inside, there's a hard-working, heart-warming, sensitive young man just waiting to blossom. And a heck of a little dancer. <laughs> but that's not important, man. I can't take it no more. For the sake of mankind, kill me. No, I can't no. do it. No, no, do it. no, no, I Don't can't. Don't do it. <laughs> 
Right. Okay, okay, you got it. I'll do it. I, 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 okay, stop, 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 stop that. I want you to know I love you, man. Stinky breath and all. Come on, come on, wake up, wake up, wake up. Uh, Eddie, you okay? Uh, no, man, I ain't okay. Man, look, I got hair all over me. <laughs> me? Hey. Oh. hey, the moon must have ducked behind the clouds. What are you talking about, Eddie? I'm a werewolf. You were there. I lifted Tim. I ate the clown. <laughs> You must have passed out and had some kind of dream, baby. It wasn't a dream, man. I got bit by the demon devil dog. <laughs> Look, there he is again. What? Coming back to haunt me. Uh -huh. Don't go over there, girl. He's a killer. Mumser? Mums? Mumser? Mums is a killer. <laughs> 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 Straight from the bowels of hell. <laughs> Look, Eddie, I'm sorry, but I had to bring Mumsa to work with me because the trick-or-treaters freak him out. I had to keep him in the garage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, 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 don't be fooled, man. They shape shift. It's always the quiet ones. Oh. Eddie, let me tell you something. There is no such thing as curses, all right? But you are not a werewolf. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going back to the party. So you coming with me, partner? Yeah, all right. But if the curse kick in, I'm eating the two non-believers first. You do that, Eddie. Holly, please buy this man a drink. Come on here, you and your werewolf. I'll lock up. <laughs> Eddie? <laughs> Ready, dummy? Hey, what do you want, man? I'm working. Um, uh, uh, nothing. Just, uh, just close the hood for me there, pal. Thanks a lot. Clo oh, buddy, oh, pal. You call me down here to close the hood? Oh, man. All right, the building's all mine. That mister is not the proper response. Yeah, I knew that wasn't you under there. No, you didn't. I practical joked you and you showed your true colors. No, you have to understand that I am the king of practical jokes. You can't fade this, baby. You're the king of lying. Huh? Any other friend would have tried to lift the car, help bro out. Not you, how the place is all mine. I got the money, king of the house, and all that type of stuff. Look, I done tow up homie's suspension for one joke. I hope he laughs. <laughs> hey, man. We need to fix the dough, man. Somebody get beaten by a big demon dog from beyond. Turn him into a werewolf. Make you want to go out, eat jerk chicken all night long. Damn, I like jerk chicken. <laughs> Ooh, you ain't lying. Hose. Hose. Clamp. Clamp. White. White. Mr. Sherman, may I have a word with you, please? Like a man. I want you to meet my new man. This is Hector. What's up, bro? You know, I want to tell you, sir, that I heard a lot about you, and I'm very honored and proud to work for you. <laughs> Malcolm's only a silent partner in the garage. Any kissing up goes through me first. Got it? Got it. Could you please tell him, sir, that he has on a very nice shirt? Oh, well, thank you very much. The man's got good taste. He's a definite keeper. Yes, yes, Now, yes. as for you, what is this bottle of antifreeze doing in my freezer? Hopefully not freezing. <laughs> Look, Eddie, my kitchen is not a part of your garage, okay? Now, the health inspector's been hitting all the bars lately. If he finds something like that in my freezer, he'll shut me down. 
You know he shut down McGinley's yesterday. What for? Uh, apparently one of his secret ingredients had a tail. Man, I just had his curly fries. Listen, look, look, from now on, just don't walk through my kitchen anymore, okay? I'm gonna treat your kitchen like holy ground. Okay. Yo, 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 yo. Check out the carburetor. It is sparkling clean from your dishwasher, sir. <laughs> Sparkly clean, sir. Oh, no. Milton's back. Who's Milton? Well, Kelly banned him from the bar about a year ago. The guy is just a big jerk. Maybe he wouldn't be if you treated him with some kindness and dignity, you know? Uh, watch and learn, my dear. Watch and learn. Uh, Check it out. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Kelly's. Get me a drink. <laughs> okay, well, that's what we're here for. Uh, what's your preference? To have a drink in front of me instead of you. Watching, not yet learning. Get me a scotch on the rocks, and today would be okay. You're coming right up, my friend. Yo, this guy's a jerk. Hey, where's my scotch? You go all the way to Scotland to get it? Hey, relax yourself, it's coming. This place under new management, I heard, huh? What chump would buy this dump? <laughs> if you're asking who has the right to refuse you service, that would be me. Oh, did I say chump? I mean champ. Champion chump. I want to tell you something about you. Who's Kung Fu? <laughs> Just kick his ass out of here, man. No, no, no. <laughs> I would, but, but the bar's full of people and I don't want to cause a scene. Serve that drink again, baby. Hey, 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 that's it. Get the hell out of my bar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I didn't need that watered down drink anyway. Whoa! Oh, my back. I hurt my head. Oh, why me, oh, God? I think he's faking. Gee, you think? Hey. I got it, I got it. Hope it's them Girl Scouts. It's the troop leader. <laughs> and she got cookies. I'm looking for Malcolm McGee. Uh, he ain't here right now. Oh, hey, 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 you want to get up out of my balloons. I'm Malcolm McGee. It is very, very nice to meet you. Mm. These are for me. Absolutely. Oh, thank you very much. It's good to meet you. <laughs> Is it real? It's real. Hey, all right. So, uh, what are you doing later on tonight? Well, I have to pick up my twins from preschool, then I have to go to my AA meeting, and then I have to see my therapist to get my Prozac, because, you know, I got issues. And, uh, then I have to check in with my parole officer, but after that, I am free, free, free. Well, wouldn't you know it? I'm busy at that time, but thanks for the balloons. Bye. You know, I got some Prozac in the room. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem. I'm a little off, too, baby. You know <sighs> so, uh, what, you got a date with a clown? No, I'm living with one. <laughs> Yo, that is... Yo, this is serious, man. This is a court summons from that Milton guy at the bar. He's suing us for three million dollars. Three million dollars? Just tell him you ain't got it. No, no, you don't get it. You know, if he wins, I could lose the bar, the building, everything I own. Yeah. I could end up working for this clown for the rest of my life. Man, as long as I got a garage, you got a place to sleep. <laughs> you feeling kind of dizzy? You want to sit down, take a load off those three million dollar feet? Well, Eddie, you realize as co-owner of the bar, you are on the hook for half of that three million. You want school over so I can lay down? <laughs> oh, oh, 
We gotta prove that guy's a fake. You know, I can't believe nobody saw him take that dive. It was more obvious than the last guy who fought Tyson. Well, man, here's what we do. We just get somebody to say they saw him take a dive. So who are we gonna get to commit perjury? Hello. <laughs> hey, Tim, my man. Do you remember when you were here yesterday? I wasn't here yesterday. You might have mistaken me for somebody else. Malcolm, was Denzel Washington in here yesterday? Mm. Not that I recall, Eddie. Must have been you. <laughs> Yeah, Tim, don't you remember? You were sitting right there. You had a perfect view of that guy take that fake fall yesterday. Oh, no, 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 Malcolm. If you're asking this Denzel looking like to lie, I won't do it. I won't perjure myself. Oh, sure, he'll binge, but he won't perjure. Did I say Denzel Washington? I meant... Seattle, Washington. Malcolm, I just found out that that health inspector closed down the rib tip and he's on his way over here. Hey, that's okay. Bring that health inspector on. This place is so clean, you can eat off the bathroom floor. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. And when you look at this, a phony arm sling and a used neck brace for $3 million, the least you could have done was rent a wheelchair. I'm saving that for the trial. Out of my way, sissy face. Uh, who you calling sissy face? Hold me back, Malcolm. You ain't the only ones that know that stuff. What? <laughs> wow, karate kid. <laughs> I'm gonna check the kitchen out. I'm gonna turn this place into a radio shack. Hey, 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 you're not allowed in the kitchen. He's in the kitchen. I, I swear, I'm, I'm gonna kill this guy. I'm gonna kill him. All right, look, you don't have a case. You're a fake, and we're gonna prove you're a fake. Milton! Whoa! It's a nice catch for a guy with a broken arm. Oh! 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 oh. 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 Very convincing. <gasps> 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 Get up, Milton. You're embarrassing yourself now. Look, he ain't moving. You wanna try? <laughs> Yo, maybe we should check to see if he's breathing. Yeah, there's the bed. Ain't no breath. No pulse either. I'm gonna call 911. Hi, Eddie! Oh, uh, not now, Nicolette. This man's got a little problem. Man don't have a problem in the world. He's dead. 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 Oh, that means no no lawsuit. Mm. Yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it's terrible. Man struck down in his prime like that. Nelson. Nelson. Well, I'm sorry for interrupting, but the health inspector's here. <laughs> Now, I'm pretty sure a dead body in the kitchen is a health code violation. <laughs> Nicolette, won't you go stall the inspector? Because they can shut us down for this. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll distract them with my feminine charms. <laughs> Good idea. Scare them away. Oh, Eddie, you're so funny. <laughs> All right, quick. Uh, let's take him to the garage. All right, grab it in. Uh, yo, how come I get the end with the face? Cause I got the end with the toe jam. Hey, yo, watch it, man. Hey, he ain't complain. I ain't never seen a dead person complain. <laughs> oh. All right, now where do we put him? Put him in the dead guy bin. I keep in the back. <laughs> hey, let's put him right here. This way we can move him around. All right. Hey, uh, watch his head. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. I'm looking for Malcolm McGee. Yes, I'm Malcolm McGee. Hi. Lester Bosco, Kansas City Health Department. Yeah. I'm here to inspect your restaurant. Hi, right, well, good to meet you. <laughs> 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 
Look, uh, I'm tough, but I'm fair. I don't want to shut you down, but I will if I have to. Sure. The public safety is my main concern. All right, well, let's go ease your mind. <laughs> you know, uh, I just bought my daughter one of these. What kind of problems are you having down there with it, fella? Uh, he's from Spain. He doesn't speak much English. Como esta usted, señor? Hola, señor. Look, the uh, kitchen's this way. Buenos dias, señor. Muchas gracias, señor. You had to pick Spain, man. Why not Africa? I speak Swahili. I said, I don't want to I like to see the refrigerator a couple degrees colder. Okay, I'll make it three. Yo, Eddie, I got this covered. Why don't you go uh, check on the little problem in the garage? What you talking about, man? Eddie, think. The dead battery. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Dead bat yes. battery. Yeah, I got to dispose of the dead bat. I just go. I assume hairnets worn by all the employees. Oh, yes, sir. I even have a bald guy who wears one. It's more of a skull net, really. <laughs> McGee, I'm all for a good joke after hours, but not during an inspection. Nah. Yes, sir. Hey, Ma, I need to talk to you. Okay, hold up, Eddie. No, no, no. I gotta talk to you now about the dead battery, the missing dead battery. <laughs> Got up and walked dead battery. What? <laughs> Excuse me one second, Mr. Bosco. What? I'm telling you, the battery is gone. What do you mean the battery's gone? The battery can't be gone. The dead battery ain't there. Well, that's because he's here. Hector! What the hell are you doing? What did you mean, what am I doing? What are you doing, sir? I find this guy sleeping back in the garage. I think he goes drunk and know what to pay his bill. I bring him back to pay it, you know? No, 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 no. Put him back where you found him. He's dead. He, he couldn't. <laughs> I'm not putting him back nowhere, sir. I'm not touching no dead bodies. Yo. And to think I'm damn near paying him minimum wage. Oh, there you are. Oh, it's gonna be all right, Uncle Fred. You feel free to lean on me. Is he okay? He's still okay. Well, the fellow with the blank expression. Oh, uh, Uncle Fred? Uh, He's your uncle? By marriage, you know, uh, <laughs> you know how it goes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> He's going through a rough time, you know, because his... His wife his, just left him. Yeah, yeah. You know, and she ran out the door so fast, you know, being a sister and all, quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gave him whiplash. Mm, mm. But, Mr. Bosco, I'm sure you want to see the storeroom, right? <laughs> it's, it's right over there. Actually, I'm just about done. Oh. So your wife left you, huh? How long were you married? 22 years. Uh, you know, they met in the Marines. I was a Marine. Hey, where were you stationed? Far away. <laughs> uh, as far away as you can get. San Diego. Yeah. Camp Pendleton. What a small world. I was stationed there. <laughs> hey, remember Sergeant Mivshek? Oh, come on. You got to remember him. Iron Man Mivshek? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you remember. Somebody call 911? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the guy that called 911 is sitting right over there. He got stung by a bee, and man, he swole up. <laughs> Forget the stretcher. We're gonna need a crane. <laughs> Sir. Sir, are you feeling any pain? Well, I'm touched. Someone finally asked. <laughs> you see, this might be hard for you to believe, but as a child, I was often teased by the other children. Well, I should be shoving off. <laughs> Always a pleasure to meet a fellow Marine. Sir, you are an officer and a gentleman. 
<laughs> well, let me walk you out, Mr. Bosco. <laughs> Well, McGee, first time without a citation. I'm losing my touch. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> What's your Uncle Fred doing under the table there? Oh, Uncle Fred, uh, 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 he's switching from Buddhism to uh, uh, Muslim. <laughs> uh, Uncle Fred, Mecca's that way. Okay, let's go over your story once more for the record. Now, Detective, come on. There's no way you could possibly believe that either of us had anything to do with that man's death. I have witnesses who heard you say, I am going to kill this guy minutes before the guy, in fact, did die. Well, it gets me off the hook. Good luck. <laughs> Milton and I were having an argument, and all of a sudden, he just keeled over. But since he was suing you for three million bucks, we're going to have to wait until the final autopsy report comes in, and you're going to remain a suspect. Hey, what do you mean? Malcolm and Milton were best friends. Well, according to my notes, he had no friends, he had no next of kin. He's not even going to get a, a proper burial. Hey, if Milton needs a proper burial, his best friend Malcolm will take care of all the expenses. <laughs> That's extremely considerate of you. Yeah, so there you have it. Would a guy that killed a guy pay for his funeral? Happens all the time. Classic cover-up ploy. Thanks for your time. Don't leave town. You know, you guys should kill someone every week. This is the best buffet I've ever had in here. Tim, that's for after the service. Man, I had my two shakes. This is my sensible meal. <laughs> it's so unbelievable. Just yesterday, he was chattering away, so full of life. He had just become a Muslim. <laughs> Please, get a hold of yourself. You're a Marine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and members of the KCPD Homicide Division, we're gathered here today because of one man, Eddie Sherman. <laughs> Would you care to share your feelings, Mr. Sherman? Come on, son. Uh, Come on, son. Uh, Come on, son. <sighs> what can I say about Milton? <laughs> Who's Milton? <laughs> well, his friends know him as Uncle Fred. <laughs> you know, people, he was a good man. We all love him dearly. He is now departed. He was a Marine. I don't know how that is when he was Vietnamese, but I'm not here to judge. <laughs> what I'm here to do is tell the truth. And the truth is, he was my uncle. Look at that face. See the resemblance? <laughs> and that's why we're here to bid him on adieu. Adieu. Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Autopsy report says Mr. Tyler had a rare heart condition. You're no longer a suspect. Wrap it up, Eddie. In conclusion, he's dead. Missy. So you got the phone lines while I'm out, right? Not a problem. This will only take a few minutes. All right, so I make a left on 14. Yep, and a quick dog leg on Prospect. Man, I still think it was cold. You didn't spring for a hearse, man. Hey, we'll talk about it when you get back. All right. <sighs> See you later, Uncle Fred. Sorry for interrupting, but there's some 
Everybody here at the doctor. <laughs> right there. See, you gotta learn to speak up for yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I got some videos coming out. <laughs>"Nice chicken broth for you." <coughs> oh, Holly, you are an angel of mercy. Oh. But I don't think I have the strength to feed myself. Would you mind? Oh, Malcolm, you really are sick, aren't oh, you? Oh yeah, I've been laying here suffering all day. Oh, and here I am thinking you just wanted to get me here alone. What's with all the candles? Aromatherapy. Yeah, yeah, the, the pink ones are essence of Pepto-Bismol. Damn, man! We got a thrashing! Them old nuns can play war. That's Sister Catherine, bow! Right out the park. Well, too bad Malcolm couldn't be there to help you. Couldn't be there? Hey, man, don't you try to quiet me up. We'd have won if he had struck out three times. Couldn't even hit an old lady. <clears throat> well, make that struck out four times. You should have stayed at the game. You would have had a better chance with one of the nuns. Hey, man, don't even listen to her, man. I tried hitting on one of them nuns. Nuns don't get you none, just like you didn't get none. Playtime. Oh, let's go play some pool. Oh, did I say playtime? I meant bedtime, mister. Oh, no, come on, man. I'll play with my left hand and spot your four balls. How much? Whatever's in your pocket. Uh, we're gonna play for some lint, 37 cent, and a pop Popeye Pears dispenser. Well, you know, that does raise the stakes from the last game. That's cool. Let's go. I'm gonna beat you. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Nicolette, 12 o'clock. That's a man. Cute. But I don't like that much cream in my coffee. <laughs> Unless I'm slipping, that is Preston Cashmere Alexander. He's one of Essence Magazine's 15 most eligible bachelors. He owns six hotels, three homes, drives a Lamborghini. He's a Capricorn, and his favorite food is rack of lamb. <laughs> Yet you can't remember when you parked your car. You'll be fine. Well, if he's not blind, he must be gay. I'm looking for an old college buddy of mine. A guy by the name of Malcolm McGee. Oh, yeah. Well, you stay right there. I'll page him for you. Malcolm! <laughs> Somebody here to see you. Preston. Preston Alexander. <laughs> Malcolm Money Making McGee. Oh, what's up, Cash Hey, she does you well, man. Ooh, look at you. You looking good. Oh. Hey, let me get you something. Let me guess. You still drink here in Cavassier? I better. I own part of the company. Uh-oh. Excuse me. You go ahead with your bad self. Well, your money is no good here, baby. I own the bar. The hottest sports bar in KC. No kidding. Yes, sir. You know, I just bought the hottest hotel in KC. There you go again, Preston. Always trying to top a brother. Don't let me have to take it to you again, my man. Again? When did you take it to me the last time? Uh, let me clear the cobwebs for you. I think you lost a game of pool to me. May 16th, 1992, 4.37 p.m., 66 degrees, scattered showers, but then again, there might have been your tears, baby. You know, it might be nice for us to pick up a pool cue again. Well, I have a table in the back. I can take you back to school if you like. You know, I was just back at school. They named a the building after me. Really? Well, my guess is it sure as hell wasn't a pool hall. <laughs> mm, damn this thing. While you was gone, I ran the table. <laughs> you owe me 37 cents and a Popeye Pears dispenser. You can keep the lint. Preston, be my pool cheating roommate, Eddie. Roommate? I remember the lean days. Gotta do what you gotta do to keep the rent down. For your information, pretty boy. 
We own the building. Ah, just one. Malcolm, who this Buster? It's Preston Cashmere Alexander. He's an old player hater from college. Ah. Now, Preston, you can be my guest on the break. Not a ball goes in, just like Smokey Joe's. <laughs> 1992, May 16th, about 4.30, was it? Scatter showers, and I think it was your tears. <laughs> they were his tears. He lost the game and it had to be my chauffeur on a date. Nine ball corner pocket. That must be humiliating, man, wearing that little cap, looking through the rear view mirror while Malcolm back there turning up one of them trizams. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, Malcolm, you know, it might be nice for me and you to square up. Did I hear somebody say rematch? <clears throat> rematch? <laughs> See, now your cabin boy here is game. Cabin boy? Oh, we can forget all about pool, mister. Let's play some dodgeball. <laughs> nah, nah that, that, that's, that's cool, Eddie. You know, I don't need a chauffeur anymore. How about we make a little friendly wager? Well, how much you think? About five. <laughs> five bucks. You sure you can afford it? I was thinking more like five thousand. Five thousand? Hey, if you can't handle it. I don't hey, know hey, about hey, five. Hey, hey. Board meeting. <laughs> what you worried about, man? You know? He ain't got no game. Ain't got no stick either. I think he cross-eyed. Buddy, I ain't got no five thousand dollars. Don't worry about it. I got you covered. My cousin died and left me 5000 exactly. And when did you plan on telling me this? I just did. Ain't you listening? <laughs> Let's double it, man. Uh, excuse me, kids. If this is going, you know, cut into your milk money, we can lower the stakes. Nah, stakes are fine where they are. Then it's on. How about tomorrow night? Perfect. Bring your wallet, G. Cash, because you're from out of state. <laughs> Oh, fellas, in case I forgot to tell you that aside from building my empire, I also been playing a little pool. See ya! I mean, how often does that shot come up in a game? <laughs> Eddie, I just got hustled. You got to hustle. It's my five grand that's on the line. Man, I can't back out. And you can't lose either. You know what you need? A coach. You know what I got? A coach? Exactly. You know what I don't have? $5,000? Exactly. <laughs> what about your cousin? He's not dead. <laughs> but he does have a coach. Julia, <laughs> hey, how you, doing? Mm, how you doing? Hey, 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 neutral corners over here. I told you, little sister's off limits. Eddie, keep your nose out of my business. Hey, shut up before you get smacked up. Mama told you, listen to your business. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, Malcolm, I brought your pool coach. All right. <laughs> hey, get off me. Malcolm, meet me and Eddie's Uncle Bucky. Good to meet you. I go to meet you too. So where's the where's the pool coach? He is the pool coach. Don't you let the hoop de fool you. You in good hands. Now show him your best shot. All right. Now clear your mind. Forget you got hustled by a guy you used to get beat all the time. Forget this five thousand on the line. Five thousand we don't have. We're in big trouble, boys. You can say that again. We're in big trouble, boys. <laughs> Scratched again. Tell me you better than this. Please tell me you better than this. You know I'm better than this, man, but you saw that kid Preston play. I mean, he's better than me, Uncle Bucky. Could be, but you're not playing him now. You're playing these balls on the table. One white, 15 colored. You sound like an NBA franchise, huh? <laughs> you can make every 
a shot if you just turn your mind off. She always works for me. Yeah, but you forget how to turn yours back on. <laughs> okay, all set, Uncle Bucky. I got him. These are such a mind in the right place. <laughs> but what's it supposed to do for my pool game? This will change your whole dynamic. Yeah, put them on. I think you'll look very dynamic. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm sorry. There's no way in hell I'm putting those on. Come on, Malcolm. No, Listen to Uncle no, Bucky. Man, no. trying to coach you. Look, you put the drawers on. The drawers will make you feel loose and free. And I think purple is the perfect fall color for you. Oh, come on, Malcolm. I got the same pair, and they're very comfortable. Just put them on, man. It's not like we're going to staple them to your ass or something. <laughs> I'll put them on. Hey, I'm pretty sure the little bow goes in the front. Hey, I know where the bow goes. <laughs> so, Uncle Bucky, how I'm fast not... is the hooty? Faster than your ass. <laughs> uh, I don't know about this, guys. Uh, what you don't know about? Let me help you out. She's a lady. <laughs> Oh, she's a lady. Come on out here, sexy. How do they feel, Malcolm? Uh, kind of tingly all over. But you know something? I think I know why you guys wear these. There's no chafing. They don't ride up. And I feel pretty. Hey, come on, man. Show us your toughest shot. All right, that would be a ball frozen on the rail. Not anymore. You go, girl. <laughs> yes, yes, I feel good. I feel loose. Uh, I ran three tables in a row. I want Preston right now. Only a half hour to go. All right. And I arranged a massage to keep you loose. Oh, my man. Well, I like the sound of that. Uh -huh. A big, beautiful Swedish blonde working me over. Yeah, she ain't exactly blonde. Hello. <laughs> but she is big. Uh, Tim, that's all right, man. I don't think I need a massage today. Oh, would you like me to walk on your back? <laughs> no, Tim, that would be like me stepping on a ketchup packet. <laughs> Come on, Malcolm. Now go on and get the massage, man. I mean, check out these oils he got here, man. He got. I know already, no! You got oil on my panties! <laughs> you got oil on my panties! Panties? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not like that. You gotta get a different masseur for that. Here, 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 man. I just no, rinse them out. No, no, you keep your paws off my lucky drawers. You done enough. <laughs> well, I'll take care of this myself. All right, man, I'm gonna go on down to the bar, man, get a drink. Hey, man, you, you, you real bitchy, man. Take some might off. 30 minutes till fight time. Let's see. Pastries take two minutes, so panties should take five minutes. Lord. Hey, Bridget. Girl, it ain't that serious. It's just a pool game. It's not the prom. <laughs> not to me. If Mr. rack lamb millionaire doesn't notice her this time, her head may explode. Shh, here he comes. Brother Eddie! I feel lucky, man. Well, you can't be shot there. Eddie is a gorgeous man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, gather around. In this corner over here, pretty, curly hair, Sears sucker suit on. Oh, I'm sorry, DK. Got a little money. Give it up for Preston Cashmere Alexander. Now for my main man, my partner, my new 
<laughs> I want y'all to give it up for Malcolm Money McGee. Uh, we're gonna get this started in just a minute. In the meantime, uh, we got a drink special. Two drinks for the price of two. <laughs> I burned my panties, Eddie. Not your lucky panties. No, my going to church panties. Now, what am I gonna do? I can't win without them. Don't you worry about it. I'm gonna hook it up, all right? I'm gonna get you a fresh pair of lucky panties. Damn near every woman in here is wearing them. Come on. Where'd it go, man? Uh, thanks. I'm not wearing my panties, Uncle Bucky. Uh, I think I'll leave you two alone. You don't need the underpants, man. It was just a trick. Yeah, but I play much better with them on. You still got them on, but only they're up here. You know, just go ahead and play pool. Excuse me. Uh, either one of you have a set of drawers I can borrow. Uh, how about you? Yes, that's a no and a hell no. Say goodbye to your five grand, cause this here's the money ball. Eight ball, double rail, corner pocket. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good, you know, it's all good. You know, you still frozen and you got three to win. So what do I do? Listen very carefully. Put all the balls in the pockets. <laughs> It wasn't easy, but I got you a fresh set of lucky draws. Those don't look too lucky. And they don't look too fresh either. Look, don't worry about it, man. I don't need the panties. I can do this on my own. I beat them at Smokey Joe's. May 16th, 1992. And I can beat them again. All right. Six ball side pocket. Oh, you can do better than that. And the four ball in the corner pocket, and the eight ball in the corner pocket. Hey, 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 hey! You ain't, you ain't got, you ain't got proof nothing, man. <laughs> Bam! Man, you all right? Let's see. It's a limo downstairs waiting to take Rochelle and me to the airport where my private jet is taking us to Jamaica. I think I'm gonna be all right. All right, well, you take some of them Jamaican dollars and buy yourself some pool lessons, baby. Good to see you. Excuse me. Told you you'd notice me. Uncle Bucky, I learned something today. I don't need women's panties. Welcome back, my brother. <laughs> and, and thank you, Uncle Bucky. I mean, none of this would have happened without your incredible knowledge of the game of pool. Pool? Shoot, man, I never played my life. <laughs> my game is hockey. Last hundred makes 5G. We did it, partner. Yes, we did. 
Ah, uh, you still gotta get Uncle Bucky's fee. Hey, of course. How much, Professor? See, I usually get half, plus expenses and my bar tab. <laughs> you know, but I like you, Junior. <laughs> so I'll just take four. Thousand? Uh, yeah. And I need a grand. For what? Find his fee. No, can you no, no, you, no. You, you can forget to find his fee. No, 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 you got to give me my money. I tell you what, I paid for it. Hey, uh, 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 Buck, yeah. will you tell this fool to give me my money? Hey, fool, give him his money. It's family, man, it's uh, family. But let's start at the beginning. Is your name really Eddie? No, they used to call me Lil' Webster till I grew. I've been out of work for years, man. I was an angry little dude. I ain't lying, I got tired of wearing them platform shoes, you know what I mean? Ah, see, there you go again, Preston. Always trying to top a brother. See, I... <laughs> You know, I can relate. <laughs> Eddie, you've seen this guy play, man. The guy's better than me, Uncle Bucky. Might be. Uh, look at these beauties. I can sell these down at the bar for a fortune. La Divina naturally aged cigars rolled between the thighs of exotic Cuban maidens. Yeah, that's what they tell you. I bet you they was rolled between the hairy leg thighs of a guy named Tito. <laughs> hey, man, what is this? Huh? Chiefs heading west. Hey, Chiefs moving to L.A. Man, how can they do this to me? Man, I'm their number one fan. You know what I mean? I used to sneak in their games when I was a kid. I mean, I was eight years old. I used to sneak in a little hot dog cart right underneath it. I had to eat all them hot dogs to make room for myself. Uh, you know, Ed, you getting all worked up for nothing, man. It says here they might move to L.A. It's just a rumor. Rumor. Look, it says right here, clear as day. No one was available for comment. You know why they don't want to make a comment? Would you want to be the one to make a comment saying you're stabbing the entire city in the back? Uh, if that is true, they'll be stabbing me in the wallet. Chiefs fans drink a lot of beer. And just to make sure they feel like they're at the game, I overcharge them. It's always about money, man. Disgusting. Where's your civic pride? You should be proud of anybody that wears your city's name across their chest. Oh, really? Well, in that case, how come I never see you rooting for the Royals? The hell with the Royals! <laughs> they stink! Chiefs play better baseball than the Royals! Now, the Yankees, they play ball. Half the team's in drug rehab, the other half is getting out. <laughs> the owner's on Seinfeld, now that's a team. <laughs> Is that it? Holly, is it here? Yeah, it's here, but there are a couple of things you need to know about first. No, there's something everybody needs to know. Uh, people, people, uh, listen, this is a very historic moment for me. Most of you know me by my name, Malcolm McGee. Some of you ladies refer to me as Ooh Baby Baby, but you all know my bar is Kelly's. Howsomever, from this historic moment on, Kelly's will be named after me. No, 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 wait, Malcolm. Not Ooh Baby Baby, but Malcolm Magoo's. Yo, Holly, what the hell happened? It's obvious, man. They got Ooh Baby Baby mixed up with McGee and came up with Magoo. <laughs> baby Baby. <laughs> what about the big sign outside? Oh! Either they spelled that one wrong too, or it just fell on the brother. <laughs> it says Magoo's too. Please, fellas, could you hold down the chit chat? I'm trying to watch the Chiefs game. Man, look at the dude in the owner's box. Got a George Clooney haircut, earring in his nose. He done already went Hollywood. Well, he didn't get his nose pierced. That's a mole. You see the hairs? That's the reason you buy a big screen. <laughs> broadcast to bring you this breaking story. They done put the game in a little box in the corner of the screen. A man allegedly carrying a bomb is leading police on a chase towards Arrowhead Stadium. 
Who cares what's going on in the game? Man, I can't even tell, man. He's in a tight end, just fumbled or his head came off. Oh, wait, but the bomber's coming into Westport. He's right up the street. The fugitive's car appears to be smoking. He's pulling in front of a tavern. Okay, there we go, there we go. Malcolm Magoo's. <laughs> McGee's. <laughs> He's not in his car. Where'd he go? How come you guys don't have the Chiefs game on? Ah, oh, man, some nut with a bomb had the news cut in. Huh. It's my fault, I... I meant to have this bomb planted by kickoff. Oh, don't worry, I'm not gonna blow this place up unless I absolutely have to. What's the score? Uh, uh, zero, zero, game just started. But the Chiefs won uh, the coin's house. All right, yeah! <laughs> That's great news, but it doesn't change the bottom line. Have you guys heard? The Chiefs are moving to L.A. I, I know, and I was planning to write a strongly worded letter about that situation. <laughs> I wish I would have thought of that. I suppose this bomb could still work, too. Either way, there's no way I'm letting the team leave. But they're playing in Oakland. What, are you going to blow up an empty stadium? Of course I am. I don't want to hurt anybody. I just want to make a point. I, I hate to nitpick, right? Nitpick, brother. But <laughs> if you blow up the stadium, the Chiefs won't have any place to play. Then they'll have to move. Oh. I guess I really didn't think this thing out. Uh, I've had a hell of a week. My wife left me. I lost my job at the munitions plant where I built this, Bob. <laughs> yeah, and then my penile enlargement surgery didn't take. <laughs> this chief thing was the last straw. Why don't you take that bomb over to the penile place and blow them up for not blowing you up? <laughs> That's a damn good idea, but it's too late for that. There's an army of cops out there and they're not gonna let me go anywhere. So I'm just gonna have to take this place hostage. Who's Magoo? <laughs> well, actually, it's McGee. Oh, okay, all right. Everybody in the back, except the owner. Uh, well, well, uh, Eddie, uh, he's gotta stay too. See, he's the owner. He's my partner. And thanks a lot, Magoo. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, big fella. Whoa, whoa. The Chiefs could use a man like you on the offensive line. Oh, no, no, no. You see, I don't play sports. I don't enjoy showering with the other guys. You know what you mean. That's why I got the operation. You know that? Losing my wife and my job and now the Chiefs? Man, I have nothing to live for. And a man that has nothing to live for has nothing to lose. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a fan! <laughs> okay, men. Hold your positions. We're dealing with a nut in there. Nicolette Vandros, parking enforcement. My dead sweet, soon to be mine on mine, Eddie, is a hostage inside and we need to take action. I want sharpshooters on the roofs and in the trees. We need tear gas and concussion grenades. I want three teams of four. We'll worry him like a badger and force his move. Men, we're dealing with a bigger nut out here. Nicolette, isn't this great? My friend at the news station is sending a camera crew. I'm getting on the air with an exclusive. How can you worry about your career when my Eddie is in danger? Who's worried? I told you I'm getting an exclusive! <laughs> okay, you psycho sicko in there! Felice Eddie Sherman and all is forgiven! Get out of here! Go write a ticket or something. Maybe I will. <laughs> your headlights busted. <laughs> Nobody's above the law. <laughs> Not even the law. <laughs> Don't Yeah, that'll happen when you take a bar hostage with a bomb. Hey, what's this? Look at that. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. I'm not drinking. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Bomber Man. Call me Tom, buddy. Ah, Tom, buddy. I don't mean to bother you at all with your busy day of bombing and all, but um, I need to go put some money in the pocket meter. Oh, cripes, I almost forgot. Would you catch mine for me? Oh, no, no, no. It's on me. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Hey, wait a minute. Today's Sunday. They don't check the meters on Sunday. Mm, busted. <laughs> Biscuit, man. You can't trust anybody these days. Hey, 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 my man, my man, my man. Dude, listen, listen. The Chiefs thing, I, I'm telling you, it's just a rumor, right? It's just a rumor. Yes. They said no one was available for comment. 
That proves they're moving. I tried to tell him. <laughs> Bottom line is, the Chiefs cannot leave town. No way, no how. You know, I had my first fight over the Chiefs when I was a little kid. Oh, yeah. Once when I was young, I, I wet myself a little so I wouldn't miss a down. Just a little. I ate a lot. Oh, I've been to myself many times, my brother. <laughs> they say Sunday is the Lord's day, yeah. but not when football season's on. He can have the morning. And he can have the evening. Now, Monday night football's on, he can have the whole damn Sunday. That's Sunday's. right. Lord, 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 all day long. But I'll tell you one thing. The good Lord, when the Chiefs kick off, uh -huh. he's up there sitting back, cracking a brewski, uh -huh. and watching the game with the rest of us. Oh. Hey, Eddie, good move. I got the bomb. Man, give it back. He's on a mission from God. <laughs> Bridget Goodwin, live from Malcolm Magoo's. At the bomber's request, I'm about to enter the bar. Life and death hang in the balance. Our prayers go out to the hostages who must be suffering horribly. God only knows what unspeakable terror awaits inside. No, 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 no! Brave, laughing in the face of danger. It's a yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Drinking uh -huh. and smoking cigars. Malcolm, tell America, what Can are you feeling? For two? What am I feeling? Well, it's Sunday. The Chiefs game is on, and I'm making no money. And I got Bebe's kid smoking up my good cigars. <laughs> Go on now. Go on, woman. <laughs> Ain't it just like a female always yapping during the good part of the game? Yeah, I miss my wife. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Bomber, sir, do you have any demands you'd like to share with us? Uh, demands? Of course I have demands. I mean, otherwise I'm just some idiot to build a bomb and doesn't know what to do next. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I've got demands, all right. And I'm going to give them to you, but first got to confer with my two partners here. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're gonna figure out a thing here. We're gonna move it. A yeah. strange turn of events. No, no, it appears no. the bar may actually be a safe haven for the bomber. We've just learned his co-conspirators are Malcolm McGee, alias Malcolm Magoo, and Edward Eddie Sherman. Yeah! That's you, win. Still one bomb, but now three bombers. We will be right back as Mayhem at Magoo's Day One continues. <laughs> Partners? We're not your partners, we're hostages. No, no, you're my partners now. I promoted you guys. It's cool, huh? Yeah, it's cool. We're just like the Three Musketeers. The movie, not the candy bar. Although, I guess we are a little like the candy bar. Yeah, I guess that'd make you the creamy filling. Oh, I never had such good friends in all my life. Here's a picture of the three mad bombers from their high school graduation. picture from <laughs> you look like you look like Popeye the pimp <laughs> <laughs> you know you look like Theo Huxtable <laughs> were you on different strokes <laughs> do that thing that what you talking about do that See, you look like you was on the Partridge family. <laughs> look, it's Danny. Come on, ride the bus. Sing the song. Listen, first of all, you got to straighten this out. Go out there and tell those police that we are not involved in this. Hey, you go out and tell them anything you want. But first, you got to tell them a list of our demands. What? Now, get out there and make me proud, guys. Come on. Got Come you. on. Got hey, you. Eddie, I'm getting another cigar. You want one? Yeah, yeah. When I get back, we're going to play some chess. Sounds good. Is it... A lot like checkers? Yeah! Right! <laughs> I'm coming, Eddie! I'm coming! <laughs> now I'm beautiful enough coming. <laughs> Eddie! I'm here, baby! <laughs> Damn! I must have zigged when I should.
should have said. <laughs> Don't shoot! Hey, this is not a crack house. <laughs> yeah, ain't no pepper spray, no tear gas, and none of them bite a brother dogs. What do you men want? We want someone that protect and serve. You protect us from that clown in there so we can serve our customers. And it's Malcolm McGee's, not Magoo's, Malcolm McGee's. Give me an address, man. Okay, here on, on 4th and Main in Westport, Happy hour, weekdays till seven. Around the corner from Eddie Sherman's Torn Repairs. Right. Why tow with another when you can tow with a brother? <laughs> what do you want? We want the Chiefs to stay in Kansas City! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, my people. Now I'm gonna tell you what I want. I want you to put the guns down. Put the guns down! Uh, now I want you to take two steps back. Take them back! Thank you, my people. Now I want you to throw your hands in the air! And wave them like you just don't care! to get rid of them articles and get straight to the pictures. Yeah. For those brothers with nubby heads, we giving away free box Jerry Curl kits. That's enough. And we want a new sign that says Malcolm McGee's. You're doing fine, keep going. And I want everybody to admit that the Garden of Eden was in Africa. Yeah. So, we do not negotiate with terrorists. Release the hostages in five minutes or we take action. You hold that thought. Yeah. How was that? You guys suck. I saw the whole thing on TV. We're breaking up. And this just in. We have a spokesperson for the Kansas City Chiefs on hand with the following statement. I'm speaking directly to those in control of Malcolm Magoo's. There is absolutely no truth to the rumor that the Chiefs are moving. In fact, no matter how many years you gentlemen spend in prison, I can assure you that the Chiefs will still be in Kansas City when you are released. Thank you. That was bad. Two minute warning, everybody! Don't panic! I've got everything under control. Officers! We're sending out a hostage and he's been through a lot, so treat him gently! Thanks a lot for everything, guys. Listen, call me sometime. Next Sunday's game. All right. All right. <laughs> I always keep a spare. <laughs> They're madmen! Thank God you're here! There's three of them. There's a little guy, he's pretty cool. There's one of the guys from different strokes, and there's this big, giant, real white guy. Nice try. Cuff it. Put him in the car. Are we going to this car? That's pretty nice. You guys got TV in there? Because the Chiefs are inside the 20. Oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot my medicines in my car and I can't leave it just sitting there. So I'll follow you guys down there. I'll, I'll be there. Hey, hey, Tim. Save the bar. Throw yourself in the bar. Oh, no, no, no. Tim's got the go, go, go. Let's get the hell out. No, 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 come on, man. This is our building. No, no, we no. can't let it go up. No, 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 no. no. Just, just pick it up. No, no, I'm not going to pick it up. You pick it up. Pick it up. It's your bar. Yeah, but if this thing blows up, your garage is going to blow up, too. More your bar will blow up than the garage. <laughs> pick it up. All right. All right, let's both pick it up. Okay, on, on three. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, pepper rock scissors. All right. <laughs> we got 52 seconds. Come on. Grab it. Okay, right. here we go. Come on. Got it? Got it? Go. Don't okay. shake it. Go. Don't shake it. it. Okay. All right. 
easy, baby. Easy. You got it. Faster okay. and easy. Okay, all right. All right. Here we go. Right. Here we go. You got it? I got to do it. <laughs> Next bomb, I get to do it. No problem. I'm behind you. <laughs> hey, Cap, you got a minute? Make that 42 seconds. <laughs> oh, my God. Bomb squad. Get this bomb and these people out of here. Hey, everybody, don't panic. Stop. I'm fine. Go on back where you came from. No bomb. No bomb. I'm fine. Go on back. No, no, no. It's too far back. I'm coming down. Give me your hand, Eddie. Look at it. Hey, you strong little midget. <laughs> and I got spanky and buckwheat smoking. <laughs> About. Do that. Hey, tell me about some more. You know Moses is probably Moses, up. Jesus, all the great Jews are watching. I hear that little Jew Sammy's up. Sammy! There. Yeah, I've seen half the game. <laughs> I wish y'all were here. I wish you were here. <laughs> Lord, what do you want? I think I found a new roommate, which means you have only until 5 p.m. to move in with me. Why well, fight it, Eddie? You know it's inevitable. So it's death, but you don't see me throwing up West Coast in New York. <laughs> I'll take that as a maybe. Well, look, as long as the check doesn't bounce, you can live with whoever you want to. In that case, I'll pick Eddie. <laughs> Even though I always pictured us in a two-story Cape Cod with a white picket fence, six kids, and a dog named Blue. You got serious problems, girl. Serious problems. Okay, how about three kids and you can name the dog? All right, Tim. I'm working on my bartending skills. Check this out. Fantastic. Now you can practice your sweeping skills. <laughs> Well, if it isn't the original player, player. <laughs> How you doing, man? Oh, I just came by to see my favorite grandson. All right. Who I see is still wearing all that girly jewelry in his ears. Hey, it's called style, Grandpa. Oh, in my day it was called sissy. Now, how about a drink? Okay, uh, how about two fingers of my best scotch? Mm -hmm. Coming up. <laughs> how about two fingers of vodka? Oh, that'll do it. Look what I found in the hallway next to our door. I say we keep her. Hi, I'm Regina. I'm moving in with Nicolette. Uh, Malcolm McGee. I, Eddie probably didn't tell you, but I'm the other landlord, and it looks like our property value just went up. <laughs> Excuse me, young blood. You sure are a cute little flower. My grandfather used to call me that. Yeah, I picked it up from some old geezer myself. Hey, don't you believe that McGee charm? They really a couple of wolves in sheep clothes. <laughs> and did I tell you all the new tenants get their car service for free? Really? 
Because I don't know how to change the clock in my car from daylight savings time. It's your lucky day, baby girl. I happen to be a digital car clock specialist. Any chance you could squeeze me in at the last minute? If you can squeeze me in, you can consider yourself squoze. You know, Junior, your grandma used to be like that. Smart, sexy, original teeth. Ah, <laughs> uh, but now that old woman is getting on my last nerve. What's the problem, Gramps? Oh, maybe your grandma's gone through the change. Grandpa, she's 73 years old. Well, maybe she's changing back. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but my guess is that's not it. You tell me. How come your grandma only vacuums during Xena Warrior Princess? The best looking woman on TV since Eartha Kitt was Catwoman. Look, have you tried asking her to vacuum before or after Xena comes on? I tried. She won't. Oh, well, that's not right. No, no, no. See, that's your house too, Grandpa. Now, I'm all for chivalry and all that, but it's time for you to stand up for your rights. I tell you what. Next time Xena comes on, right, you take the vacuum, you lock it in the trunk of your car. Problem solved. My God, boy. You're brilliant. Listen, it's the 90s, right? But you still gotta let her know who wears the pants. Yeah, I wear the pants. Yeah, baby, you wear the pants. Yeah, I wear the pants. Right. I'm a... Oh, uh, if your grandma calls, tell her all I had was a spray. <laughs> Excuse me, Edward. I'm moving in. Whoa, 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 hold on. What happened with grandma? Well, I took your advice. I told her I wore the pants. She sent them to the cleaners. <laughs> with me in them. Oh, good. Yeah, good. Nice, comfortable couch. It'll be easier on your back. My back? Wait, 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 why am I on the couch? Now, your grandma and I were doing fine for 49 years till you stuck in your two cents. No, no, Grandpa, I was only trying to help. Well, you can help by getting your stuff out of my room. <laughs> Tell me he ain't moving in. I'd like to tell you he's not moving in, but I think he thinks he is. I think he thinks he is, too. Oh. Mm. <laughs> hey, oh, uh, Grandpa, you feeling all right? I'm feeling wonderful. I lit a cigar. I belched. I scratched. Oh, sweet freedom. <laughs> Give him one of them good Cuban cigars. He got the most cheapy stinkies. Malcolm, it's Grandma. Down here. See, there you go. Hey, Grandma. I knew she couldn't go an hour without me. <laughs> hey, Grandma, come on up. No, thanks. And let your grandfather know that his things are out here in the street. Tell him to keep warm in the winter. And not to follow me because I've had all the locks changed. Don't worry. I'm not coming back. Hey, Malcolm, man, this ain't funny. Oh, well, he, he might be in the way, but at least he's quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, indeedy, I fixed it speedy. I also kept the tires, fixed the rear end, and I've got that little cigarette lighter to pop out a lot faster, because that's the kind of operation I run around here. You did all that? So what do I owe you? Dinner tonight, my place. Only if you let me cook for you. Girl, you keep talking like that, I'm gonna let you wash the dishes. Excuse me, Regina. Your mother's on the phone upstairs. Girl, my mother's dead. Did I say phone? I meant Ouija board. <laughs> Either way, I need to talk to Eddie alone. Fine. <laughs> next time, all you have to do is say so. There won't be a next time. <laughs> Eddie, how could you ask her out? Look, look, we gotta talk. I don't give you no play, but you keep chasing me. Now, is it the way I walk? Way I talk, was it the way I do the uh, zow? <laughs> that does turn me on. 
But most of all, it's the chemistry. Pure animal chemistry. <laughs> Look, a man wants a woman he can chase like an animal from a distance. If you was in Florida, I'd be all over you, girl. Fine. If it's hard to get you one, then it's hard to get you gonna get. <laughs> Hi, Hector. You looking mighty fine today. Uh, mucho gracias, Nicolette. And may I say to you, yo pienso que tu tiendas viviendas lindas, which in my country means you have the beautiful groceries. <laughs> viviendas is groceries. Wow. What? What do you want me to call you? Yeah. Papa McGee, when is the Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Heart Attack Band doing playing in the living room? Okay, boys. The rehearsal's over. Time to eat. Are you gonna serve them up that smelly old catfish again? Yeah, well, it wouldn't be catfish if it wasn't old and smelly, would it now? <laughs> hey, what's this, man? It's a truss. It supports your privates. <laughs> oh, good! We have a company. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Grandpa? I'm gonna tell you what's up, man. Him and these old cats from the Cotton Club been in here <laughs> cotton clubbing up the living room. You know what I'm saying? I got Regina coming by to cook me dinner, man. Oh, uh, Eddie, that's been rescheduled. No, you did Oh, uh, your lady friend came over with a bag of food, but I explained to her that you didn't know I had plans. She was real nice about it. Man, if I was 50 years old, I'd... Hey, yo, hey, 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 look. <laughs> That's my blood. What am I supposed to do? I can't just kick him out like that. I know you can't kick him out, but you can sit him down, explain a few things about these folks up in here. He can't stay here, man. Look, Grandpa. Uh, don't start. This is all your fault. No, 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 no. Don't put this on me. You came to me because you wanted advice. Malcolm, now I'm your grandfather. If I hadn't made your daddy, your daddy wouldn't have made you. And you wouldn't be here to complain about me being here. Now, do I make myself clear? <laughs> yes, sir. Great. Little dinner music, boys. In a minute. Grandma, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Can't you and Grandpa patch this thing up so you can spend the holiday together? It's not up to me, Malcolm. Your grandfather has made his bed, and now he's lying in it. No, Grandma, he's lying in my bed. <laughs> Believe me, he's never made it up. <laughs> Can't you vacuum before or after Xena comes on? Oh, I was just paying him back for playing his dumb trombone when my handsome Hercules was on. <laughs> Your grandfather used to make me feel so special. But Grandma, you are special, and Grandpa knows that. No, oh, no, he doesn't. When we were first married, he took me out every Saturday to the Burgundy Room. Uh, yeah, 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 the Burgundy Room. Grandpa showed me pictures. Oh, oh we saw all the big stars. It was Nat King Cole, Brooke Benton, and Sammy Davis Jr. serenaded Grandpa and me personally. Oh, that was so romantic. Oh, there's my cab. Thanks for the lunch. Hey, you got it. Now, Grandma, I, even though you and Grandpa are fighting, I still want you to come here and have Thanksgiving dinner. Now, promise me you'll come. Grandpa is going to be out with his jazz buddies tomorrow night. Oh, that's perfect. Four buzzards and a turkey. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, Grandma. <laughs> oh, yo, Eddie. Listen, I need to talk to you, man. Man, I ain't talking to you until the average age in the apartment drops in the 20s, man. Oh, no, listen, I figured out the perfect way to get my grandparents back together. I just need your help tomorrow night. 
Tomorrow night, that's a bad night. You know, me and Regina rescheduled at Thanksgiving dinner. She got the turkey and I got the trimmings. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, if you can't help me get Grandpa out, I guess we'll have to get bunk beds. Uh, by the way, what kind of catfish do you like for breakfast? Hi, my name's Eddie Sherman. How can I be a service? My man. <laughs> Oh, Malcolm, it looks just like the Burgundy Room. And I promised you a special evening, didn't I? Now, Grandma, you sit right here. And Holly, would you please get this young lady a drink? Okay. Oh, Malcolm, you know I don't drink. Oh, come on now. It's Thanksgiving. Well, okay. I I'll have uh, three shots of tequila. <laughs> Is this the one that doesn't give you any play, Malcolm? Uh, yeah, Grandma, that's the one. Hey, I'm sorry we spending Thanksgiving in the bar. Oh, but I love the new look. Oh, the burgundy motif? It's all my idea. Really? I thought about it last night. <laughs> But I haven't even said two words yet. But if you want to hear something funny, I can... Put a sock in it. He ain't even watching. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. Regina. I know you all know my latest and greatest, Hector. It is clear to me, boss, why you running from this girl. She crazy, man. Tell her. Tell her. Come on, Hector. Tell me again how my eyes remind you of the moonlight and open up before you like the windows of my soul. <laughs> Crazy. I got a little favor I gotta do for a friend. But I don't want you to forget me, girl. I could never forget you. Just in case. <laughs> it's me. Okay, hey, Grandma, here are your tequila shooters. I made double drink up, because it'll make the evening go by easy. Why? Is your grandfather here? No, Grandma. Would you get Grandpa off of your mind, please? Uh, excuse me one second. <laughs> Grandpa. Hey, hey. Oh, hey, I'm here, Malcolm. Now, where's my surprise? Hey, close your eyes, and it's right this way. All right. Okay. Good. Next step. Okay. Right here. There you go. <laughs> okay, open your eyes. Surprise! Surprise? It's a nightmare. <laughs> Sweet dreams for me, either, bug. I'm no, no, Grandpa, listen. You can go wherever you like, but you gotta take Grandma with you. Ah, there you go. I can't believe you lied to me. And finally, I get to say it. It's for your own good. Now smile. Slow down, Grandma. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Tim. <laughs> Welcome to Thanksgiving at McGee's. I am proud to announce the candy man himself, Mr. Sammy Davis, Jr. Thank you. Thank you so very much. You know, uh, I mean that from the bottom of my heart, man. Absolutely uncanny. No, it's not. It's that little nut that lives with Malcolm. I just want to say it's a pleasure being back here in the Burgundy Room. I had such a wonderful time the last time I was here. At least that's what they tell me. I was so high. <laughs> Who's the lovely lady at the table? What's your name, Dollface? Regina. Regina. Look, after the show, how about you and I get together and chub boing boing? <laughs> you know, a little bird flew on my shoulder and told me we have two special kids in the room tonight. They've been married for 49 years. That's seven times seven. And they even got matching bracelets to prove it. <laughs> So for you two special, groovy kind of cats, I put together this little song, and it goes a little something like this. Whether I'm right or whether 
I'm wrong. And you know, people can be wrong, man. Whether I find a place in this world or never belong. And I just want to say, you two cuckoo lovebirds belong together. I've gotta be me. And what I am is a young cat who lives with an old dude that cooks smelly fish. And all I can say is, no can do, babe. So if you two little cuckoo lovebirds would just make up already. Thank you, thank you. You wouldn't have any more turkey, would you, big guy? I gotta be me with Regina. So everybody, love, peace, and shalom. Can you forgive me, please? Don't I always? Well, if you let me come home with you tonight, I promise you a night like you've never known. Hmm, what do you have in mind? Two hours of pure pleasure. Don't tell me. That's right. Never before seen on TV. Xena and Hercules crossover special. Oh, I love you, Daddy. Well, Daddy, it seems your uh, burgundy room idea turned out to be a success after all. <laughs> oh, Carlton. <clears throat> Don't wait up for me, son. Grandpa won't be coming home tonight. <laughs> well, in that case, you might need these. <laughs> We're not done, so sit tight. Hey, where's my girl at? I'm right here. Not a one I like. Oh, she's upstairs packing. We had a heart-to-heart -heart talk, and after what I told her, she decided she couldn't live with me another day. Oh, uh, what exactly did you tell her? That she couldn't live with me another day. <laughs> so it's just you and me again, Eddie. What happened to playing hard to get? It didn't work. So I decided to play hard to get away from. Hey, hey, hey. hey joke's over. Give me the key. Give me the key. Mm -mm. Don't let me chew my arm off. <laughs> Houdini. Oh. <laughs> They've been married for about 75 years. <laughs> Which is amazing, because they're not that old. <laughs> dinner tonight. Well, I'm just happy we finally found a restaurant that we both enjoyed. Oh, yes, it was wonderful. Although that wine was a bit tannic, that china was gaudy, and the foie gras. Did you notice that aftertaste? So, uh, which part was wonderful? Uh, being with you, of course. Oh, of course. Yeah, <laughs> nice save, my dear. I tried. Hey, come have a seat right here. Okay. Here you go. 
Malcolm, you know I like you a lot. And I've been thinking that maybe it's time we take that next step. Really? Wow. Mm, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, would you still respect me in the morning? <laughs> Malcolm, I'm talking about meeting my father. Yeah, I, I know. I, I know. What I meant was, would you still respect me after I meet your father? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wow, to be honest though, I, I would love to meet your dad. I mean, he's such a brilliant investor. It's like everything that man touches turns to gold. You think he can touch me? <laughs> well, daddy's always looking to invest in new businesses. Ooh. I just want him to like you, and then I can stay out with you past 11. <laughs> Why do you have a curfew? You're 23 years old. I know, but the trust fund doesn't kick in until I'm 25. So, I'll see you tomorrow night at the country club? Tomorrow night? Oh, no, mm -hmm. Lydia, I, I can't. Saturday night is the busiest night at the bar. Can't your partner Eddie run the bar? No, no. <laughs> Why not? Malcolm, I need 50 bucks, man. There's a dude in my garage just selling a combination screwdriver, flashlight, thermometer, and a mini fan. I need it, man. I need it. That's why not. Excuse me. Come on, man. Give me the 50 bucks. Look, Eddie, out of the look, register. Look, we get our funds out of our separate businesses. Now, you said it yourself. No borrowing, no problem. That was an entirely different situation. <laughs> yeah, I was the one that wanted to borrow money. Exactly. Look, look. Excuse me. Let me hook you up with an IOU. Even total strangers know my IOU is better than having money itself. Him. Well, then why don't you give this IOU to the guy with the thermometer, screwdriver, gadget thing? Okay, he knows me. <laughs> man, you gotta get over to that country club. Lydia's father's rolling in it, man. He's the king of ka -ching. Yeah, I know that, but I can't just up and leave my bar on a Saturday night. Look, man, I ain't gonna let you miss this opportunity. Now, ever since you've been running the bar, what you been dreaming about? To have one of them toilets that flush themselves when you walk away. <laughs> what else? Well, I also, I want to put an old guy in there to hand out towels. The big dream, Malcolm, the big dream. Oh, oh you mean franchising? Well, I want to have a Malcolm McGee's in every town. I want to be the biggest Mac since Donald's. <laughs> but where am I going to find somebody responsible enough to run the bar? You don't trust your partner? Oh, man, I am offended and, and seriously disappointed. Well, I didn't mean to insult you. Good, I'll take over tomorrow night. I, I guess I did mean to insult you. Oh, let's not forget that I, too, happen to run a very successful business. True, but you work on cars. Running a bar involves more of the human element. And don't take this the wrong way, Ed, but you're not that good with humans. All right. Who you think driving them cars? People! You know what I'm saying? They come in there whining and crying, trying to chisel my price down. And I tell them right where they can go. So don't tell me that I can't deal with people. Do you ever just listen to yourself? Why would I? I'm a talker. <laughs> Here's some more talk, man. I ain't gonna let you miss this opportunity, all right? You gonna go over to that country club. I'm gonna run that bar. Then after a while, we'll get you that little toilet you want. Plus an old brother with some rags. <laughs> all right, all right, you are in charge. All right. Now, are you sure you can handle it? A third grader can handle it. Even better, you know one? <laughs> Relax yourself, I'll get it. Malcolm, Eddie Pie. I'd like you to meet my new roommate, Chloe. Hi, guys. Oh, well, nice to meet you. Good knowing you. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it's just that every time Nicolette gets a new roommate, we get attached and they mysteriously disappear. 
This time is different. I'm a meter maid, so I work days. She's a nurse, so she works nights. We'll never see each other. That's it. I'm gonna get a night job. This is the one you said is in love with you? <laughs> Don't listen to the words. The love is all in the body language. <laughs> <laughs> See, that means meet me at the end of the couch later. <laughs> Look, Ed, about tomorrow night, just, just be nice to the customers, all right? And no matter what they're babbling about, pretend you're interested even if you're not. Like I'm doing now. <laughs> I think I can't run the ball. I'm gonna run it and make more money than he ever did. All I need is a gimmick. Oh, I got one. Um, it's winter in Kansas City, right? So where does everybody want to be? Tahiti. Have a Tahitian island night. <laughs> Nigga, let that's ridiculous. Now let me think. Well, why don't you bring it closer to home? Make it a Hawaiian island night. Well, y'all just chill out and let a brother think. <laughs> Jamaica Island night. <laughs> See what a brother can come up with when you women stop your yapping so a brother can think around here? Sorry, we were way off. <laughs> but your idea, Eddie, is brilliant. And, and you can hire my cousin's reggae band and, and I can make a big sparkly sun. And my friends and I can be dancing on the girls. Ah! Will y'all just stop yapping? <laughs> they ain't done thinking. Now, where am I find a reggae band, decorator, and some dancing island girls? What is his problem? Shh, Eddie's thinking. <laughs> Little lady said, Doctor, my tooth hurts so bad I feel like I'm having a baby. Dennis said, Well, make up your mind, lady, I gotta adjust the chair. <laughs> Daddy, allow me to introduce you to my Malcolm. Young man, I love my daughter very much. Please state your intentions and they'd better be to my liking. Um, well... <laughs> oh, I see I'm in for a fun evening. <laughs> Let's see what you're made of, son. Have a seat at my table. Oh, okay. Well, sir, your choice in tables perfectly reflects the taste of a man whose collected portfolio grew 22.6% last year. Well, actually, it was 22.8, but I appreciate how seamlessly you worked it into conversation. <laughs> Malcolm owns his own bar, Daddy. Oh, that's wonderful. You want money from me, don't you, son? Well, uh, honestly, I, I never imagined that we'd be talking business tonight, sir. But, but coincidentally, I do have a, a prospectus with me that details the growth potential of a Malcolm McGee sports bar franchise nationwide. Just happened to have it with you. <laughs> oh, yeah, believe him, Daddy. He showed it to me on our first date. Starting to like you, McGee. Well, in that case, I also have a bar graph that delineates the, the projected profits versus the initial investment over five-year period. Don't push it, son. Welcome, everybody, to McGee's Island Party. Now, we got jerk chicken for all of you that got the munchies. How you got them, when you got them, you don't want to know. But now, everybody, let's be jamming. My girlfriends are ready. You know, I got this funny feeling that I know you. Have we met? If we had, I'm sure you would have remembered it. And so would you. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to put your hands together. <laughs> if you don't have any hands, then I want you to bump heads. Or clap your feet like a monkey. <laughs> Come on now, put it together for McGee's Island Group. <laughs> Gentlemen, show your appreciation to the ladies on behalf of what we're showing you. I know 
where I know you from. <laughs> you ain't a nurse. You that naughty nurse from the Bad Essence Club. <laughs> oh, you know my work. Uh-huh. Oh, do me a favor and don't tell Nicolette. I like to keep that part of my life private. You know, when you told me you had dancing girls, I didn't know you meant dancing girls. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if this is right. Hey, Eddie, uh -huh. we need you behind the bar. As soon as those girls got up on stage, every guy in here ordered a drink. Well, what you doing standing around? Go shake something. <laughs> Who's in charge here? That would be me. I'm the king, and these are my people. I'm Agent Frank. I'm with the sheriff's office. I didn't shoot the deputy. <laughs> are you aware that this establishment is not licensed for exotic dancing? Exotic dancing? It's Jamaican night. It's hot. You gotta wear something skimpy, otherwise people laugh at you. Ha <laughs> ha. Eddie, when do you want us to take off our tops? I'm shutting you down. You can't shut us down. What you talking about? Oh, yes, I can. I need to see your liquor license now. Look, my friend know where all this stuff is. I can go call. Well, hurry up. You got ten minutes. All right, but why you waiting? Did I introduce you to the Daiquiri twins? This is strawberry, and this is frozen. <laughs> Excuse me, are you on the guest list? Nah, me not. Me looking for Michael McGee. Me call up here, all me get is an answer machine. Me want to know who's the tight ass that leave the message. That would be me. The person who's sending yours to the street. Oh, look over there. Is that RuPaul going in the men's room? <laughs> Woo, them Jamaicans can run, boy. Uh, how you doing, my man? Uh, I'm here with the Clarks. Clarks? Yeah, them my uh, parents. Mr. and Mrs. Clark? Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, good night, Mrs. Clark. Uh, Mr. Clark. <laughs> See, it was an accident. We was washing clothes and they fell in a bunch of Clorox. <laughs> Mama! And when you examine the pie chart, you can see the many ways McGee's can generate profits. Well, you certainly are prepared. I'm surprised you don't have a slide presentation for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually have the slides right here. Uh, would you mind waiting while I get the projector out of the car? Uh, that, that's okay, son. I'm warming up to this franchise idea. I think it has real potential. Oh, well, excellent. You care for an hors d'oeuvre, sir? Uh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> hey, what the hell are you doing here? Huh. You two know each other? Um, do we, Malcolm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eddie is also a waiter at my bar. I just came over here and make some extra money. <laughs> well, while, while you're on break, how's my bar doing? It's still standing, isn't it? It's only your busiest Saturday ever, Malcolm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, by the way, one of your nosy customers is wondering where the liquor license was. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I keep it in the safe in the kitchen, of course. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you exactly why. Ooh, look at it. How time flies. Well, I gotta get back to that other job. Twelve jobs, twelve kids. <laughs> no, Malcolm, charts and graphs are fine. But I'm not gonna make a commitment until I see McGee's in action. Uh, Mr. Larson, I don't think tonight is the best night to visit. But are you sure you don't want me to get the projector out of the car? Oh, no, no problem. Look, we'll just drop Lydia off on our way over. I mean... It's almost 11 p.m. anyway. <laughs> but, Daddy, I want to go. Two words. Trust fund. <laughs> well, I do have to get up early in the morning anyway. <laughs> hey, Tim. Any problems while I was out? No, no, no. But, hey, I think that little girl over there likes me. What makes you think that? Well, I gave her $420. One Missouri State liquor license as requested. Terrific, terrific. Now we cool? I could shut you down and find you $5,000, but I like you. So I'm only gonna find you the $5,000. I like you too. So I'm only gonna charge you $2,500 for that drink. And it's a two drink minimum. 
It is way too noisy. I worked a double shift and I need to get some sleep. And what is my new roommate doing half naked on your stage? She's entertaining, isn't she? Chloe, I thought you said you were a nurse. Well, I've been told I have healing powers. <laughs> but um, if you don't like nurses, I can be a French maid or a cave woman. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you got cave experience, because that's where you're going to be living from now on. What do you mean? <laughs> Look, you told me you were a nurse, and that's what you should be doing, and using your brain instead of exploiting your body. And that's why you're kicking me out. Dad, you look way too sexy to be around my head. So go on, pack up. And if you leave that cave girl suit, I might think about refunding your cleaning deposit. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Malcolm! Man, your place is jamming. Can I borrow $20? <laughs> Eddie! Hey, man. Can you loan me 20 <laughs> What the hell did you do? Well, uh, uh, the truth of the matter is, I... Uh, I gotta get to that other job. Scott, I thought this was a, a sports bar. It is. Jamaica, bobsledding, it all ties together. You know, I've heard about places like this. If you're trying to profit from the lowest expression of human degeneracy, Mr. McGee, I do not wish to be in business with you. You should be ashamed. Lenny! <laughs> you two know each other? Uh, of, of course not. I just have one of those faces. And it's such a cute face. He's my biggest tipper at Bear Essence. Sweetie, did you have any problem getting that coconut oil out of your tie? pre soak with whisk. <laughs> oh my God, what is the press doing here? I, I invited them, free publicity. Oh man, you don't understand. I am the chairman of the Mayor's Morality Council. If this gets in the papers, I could be ruined. Uh, cover the man. <laughs> Look at this picture. Women would kill for them kind of cheekbones, man. Look, look at that. <laughs> Daddy, you got my bar slapped with a $5,000 fine. You blew my only chance of making McGee's go national. And because of you, Lydia would not talk to me if I was the last man on earth. Kind of lonely around here, ain't it? <laughs> Malcolm, we got your apology note. I got the flowers, and we got the 26 messages stating that the entire thing was completely Eddie's fault. Fault? No, I paid a $5,000 fine, and I still show the profit. Mr. Money Man, I'm thinking you and I should get together and take this business national. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there someplace private we can talk? Well, the den is being remodeled, but how about over here? <laughs> Uh, Malcolm, I can't invest in your business. I'm sure you understand why. But, uh, I really appreciate you not spilling the beans to Lydia. Well, you know, sir, whatever you do with your beans is your business. Again, thank you, sir. Sure, you got it. Uh, Mr. Larson, uh, Lydia's curfew, what time is it again? 11 p.m. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you. I got coconut oil in my ear. All right. Midnight. Uh, come again. One. Oh, now you are coming through. Thank you, sir. <laughs> now, I think I got it this time. All right, check this out. Eddie's tropical toe. All right, we have net but beautiful women in bikinis year-round driving the trucks. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> Is there someplace else private we can talk to? <laughs> All right, if that don't work, I got another idea, right? We can have five little female men. Well, that was Nicolette. She's coming by with yet another new roommate. Oh, man. No, well, this one she swears is perfect. Won't cause any problems. Uh -huh. Malcolm, Eddie, I'd like you to meet Sister Mary Agnes. Malcolm. You ain't gonna believe this, but, uh... What? I think I know her from someplace. <laughs> 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 
Now, when you examine the pie chart, you can see the many ways Malcolm McGee's can, you know. <laughs> Excuse me, are you on the guest, guest list? No, I'm not. But I give you another chance to say that again. Thank you very much. I would appreciate it. Whining, trying to chisel down my price, and I tell you right where they can go. We going all the way to the end? All right. What up, man? Hey, hey. Listen, are you doing anything special for Dr. King's birthday at your garage? Yeah, I'm closing it. <laughs> no, that way, you know, I'm honoring a great man, and I ain't got to pay time and a half. <laughs> oh, well, good. Then you can help me here at the brunch. See, uh, Tim? See, I sold a bunch of advanced tickets, right? And, uh, Tim? <clears throat> I got... I got a children's choir who's going to entertain. <laughs> and I'm the choir master. Show him your stuff, big guy. OK. <clears throat> Tim, that's amazing. Hmm. Why, thank you. I can even go higher than that. <clears throat> Tim. Oh, you will. Eddie, please tell me you got the tickets. I got the tickets. Please tell me. Do you have the ladies? The ladies are on their way, my man. Good. I shelled out $400 for this JoJo and KC Joe to see tickets, man. Wait a minute, $400? These tickets are $25 a piece, Eddie. Yeah, that's third row center. You can see up KC's nostrils. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You get good nostril section, you're gonna guarantee yourself some action. Now, is Renee's sister really fine? Fine as a dime. At least that's what Renee says. Uh, whoa, 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 back up, man. You ain't seen her? See, when a woman says another woman's beautiful, they talking about inner beauty. I ain't shelling out $400 for no inner beauty. Uh, I just want to take this time to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm going to make it up to you. I'll take the ugly one. There you go. Hi, Malcolm. Hey, Renee. How you doing, honey? Mm, Renee Rosie, this is Eddie. So, ladies, are you ready for some KC and JoJo? Uh, followed up by a little Malcolm and Eddie. Uh, actually, there's been a, a, a slight change in plans. Sorry, baby. Nah, I understand. See, you want to swap. You know, I kind of liked you better all along anyway. Yo, you know, we're on our way to your show. Oh, yeah, is right. that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got some good seats. Man, oh, yeah. we look right up your nostrils. Third row. <laughs> hey, what y'all doing here? Uh, just picking up our dates. Oh, what? Word? Well, we, yeah. we got dates, too. Hey, maybe right? we can all go to the show together, carpool in your limousine. Yeah. Hey, where y'all women's at? Uh, I think you have your arms around me, brother. This is the slight change in plans we're talking about. <laughs> what? Come on, baby. Oh, come on. We didn't know they had plans of sales, man, so it's all good. Don't sweat it. Oh, uh, uh, that's cool, you know. Yeah. We're not player haters. Oh, man, yeah. we play as congratulators. Uh. <laughs> yeah, enjoy the show, man. Uh -huh. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> hey, y'all yeah. be cool, man. Uh -huh. Thanks for dropping by, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. No sweat, no sweat, all right? We still got the four tickets. All we need is new company. Uh, no, no, you play of the year, man. You got more women and I got hats. Mm -hmm. And I got 4,773 hats. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll hook it up. Now, you know, I always keep a honey on hold. It's just a matter of who's the lucky winner. Who's the lucky winner? I got some tickets, tickets. Who's the lucky winner? Look like the ladies you had on hold are holding somebody else. Uh -huh. hey, excuse me, you gentlemen need some tickets. Hey, them tickets is already taken, man. They sold. Get to getting. That's right. <laughs> what are you doing? We ain't sitting next to no dudes. They gonna be singing love songs. Look, there's a couple of honeys right over there. 
Ooh, ooh good looking out, mm -hmm. my man. Excuse me, lady. Ooh, how are you doing? I, you know, I, I must admit that I am honored to be in the presence of such bountiful beauty. I like to echo that sentiment. Bountiful beauty, beauty, beauty. <laughs> Now, uh, I, I don't suppose you ladies will be looking for some tickets. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, we are. Oh, well, good. We'll sell them for what we bought them for, $100 each. But they're only $25. Oh, no, 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 but sweetheart, these are nostrils only. Yeah, you'll be sitting right next to us. I want you, baby. And I want you to want me. Unless you want him. In that case, I want you, baby. <laughs> and I want you to want me. Well, it is two minutes before showtime. Fine, you got yourself a deal. Ooh. 200 it is. All right. <laughs> um, by the way, gentlemen, you're under arrest. What? For selling tickets at a price that's in what? excess of face value. Ow! Ow! Hey, we ain't having much luck with the women today, are we, man? Well, listen, you know, when we were kidding, you listen, I don't even want your money, girl. Listen, we really want you to be our guest, so come, let's go have a good time. No, man. no, no, no. This is entrapment, man. You know what I'm saying? Sashaying over here with they little sexy outfit, perfume on. Look, I'm gonna make the citizens arrest. Read them they rights. You have the right to remain silent. Oh, and... save your breath. You've got it all on videotape, guys. Yeah, right. Where's the camera? Right there. <laughs> Damn. Busted by the cleavage cam. <laughs> wind up here? Quick answer. Had women, lost women. Had tickets, lost tickets. Ta-da! Hey, uh, either you fellas know a six-letter word for an ancient Egyptian queen? Oh, wait a minute. If we tell you, will you let us out of here? Sure. Damn! Sergeant O'Malley, listen, and you don't understand, but this is the most inconvenient night for us to be in here. Save it for the judge. There's a judge? Well, what the hell are we wasting our time talking to you for? What he means is, would you be so kind to take us to the honorable judge? Court opens at 8 a.m. 8 a.m.? You mean we're gonna spend the night up in here? You're spending two here. Court's closed uh, for Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> but, but, Sergeant O'Malley, listen, I run an Irish pub. Malcolm McGee's. See, we were two of a kind. O'Malley, McGee's, uh, kind of like Irish amigos. Hey, Sarge, I don't know what happened, but there's some guys bleeding pretty bad in there. You mean where we're going? No, man, that's for the hard and criminals. They sending us to scalpel jail. Yo, with some jaywalkers, probably right next to the tennis courts. We only have one cell and there ain't no tennis courts. But don't worry, we'll mop up the blood. We just got 75 years because you forgot to fill the gas tank before a bank robbery. Hey, I didn't forget. We were short on cash. That's why we robbed the bank, remember? Well, shut up. Hey, don't push me. Hey, I, I didn't push you. Hey, my man didn't mean no harm. Nino, do you hear that flea say something? Looks more like a rat to me. Oh, who are you calling the rat, man? That's the wrong thing to say. Matter of fact, flea was the wrong thing to slay. You like, I was gonna let you slide on that one. You know, if I wasn't handcuffed, I'd jump all over your flea-bitten rat's ass. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Well, you know, if you're so tough, let me see you get out of those handcuffs yourself. He you can't, can he? Nah. Solid steel. Watch this. You want something, man? You want something, man? You and me, right here. Just cross that line. Chicken. Hey! Get off the disc! The bus is here. Nino, Zeus, let's go. Hey, 
In 75 years, you got a date with death. Man, you gonna be a hundred and something. <laughs> what you gonna do? Throw your teeth at me? No, 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 Hey, sonny. Hey, man, look. When we get in there, follow my lead, all right? I've been through this before, you know what I'm saying? I've done hard time. When? That ain't important. I did it. I survived. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to know nothing else. Okay, fellas. Time to meet your new roommates. I remember. We hard. No, no, we bad. We bad. To the core. To the core. You know what I'm saying? Psycho ain't bad either. You know what I'm saying? Just flip out on him. You know what I'm saying? Ice cream truck never stopped for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Every time I run to it, they pull off. I wore a lot of shoes like that, man. All I wanted was a bomb pop. All I wanted was a bomb pop. That's all a brother wanted was a bomb pop. All right, children. Couple of new kids in class. Play nice. Don't nobody say nothing, me. Hey, man. What? Want some candy? Oh, yo, cool, Mr. Crunchy Nut. Oh, that's my favorite. You take one bite of that, you're gonna be Mrs. Crunchy Nut. <laughs> Your first time in, son? <laughs> Tell you, you better mop them tears off your face before they mop the flow with you. <laughs> Here, take it. Take it! At least you'll look like a man. <laughs> Give me that! I hope your mother picks you up real soon. Hey, man, how about a baby Ruth? All right, that's it, man. That's it! Bradley, you don't know who we are. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Who are we? I'm Nina. <laughs> this is Zeus. We rob banks. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I heard of y'all. I heard you pulled out a guy's wisdom teeth with your bare hands. That's right. And them mugs was impacted. <laughs> Anybody in here need they teeth worked on? Hey, check this out. There's gonna be some new rules around this piece. First, I don't like noise. He don't like noise. This makes me want to hurt somebody. Hurt somebody. <laughs> this is the second to last convict you want to mess with. And the first one's talking to you right now. You got that? You got that? You got that? You got that? You! You! What are they doing here? Bus broke down. Next one leaves in the morning. <laughs> hey, y'all look like the guys we was having this deep discussion with before we got in here. You know, when I was having one of my spells, you know, had me thinking I'm bad. One of those spells, see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> see actually, <laughs> actually, it's, it's kind of funny when you step back and look at it. Step back. <laughs> Do I look like I'm laughing? Uh, do I look like I'm stepping back? Man, are you crazy? Do you know who that is? They know, they know, they know, they know. Man, that's Nino and Zeus, and they bank robbers. Well, that's funny, because my name is Nino. And I'm Zeus. No, no, see, you got it wrong. I had told you that we was uh, Siegfried and Roy. Lady, <laughs> hey, you can't go in there. The nigga let her. I thought I'd never be happy to see you. You gotta get us out. On one condition. No problem. Eddie will marry you. Oh, two conditions then. I also want an extension on my rent. Anything, Nicolette. Just get us out of here. I will, Eddie. I promise. And, and, and until then, I'll write you every day. And, and I'll make sure when I come back, it's a conjugal visit. Oh, hell no. <laughs> well, it's time. You know, now's not a good time for me. I'll piss you in next week for a meeting. <laughs> hey, punk, that just cost you an ear. <laughs> uh, Eddie, what's wrong, man? I thought you did a hard time before. It was only three hours. <laughs> it was 
was in the Navy, they put me in the brig for starting a food fight. What? I was the only one in there. Wasn't no big brothers with one eye hunting me. <laughs> Zeus, uh, hold on one, one, one minute, man. Listen, man, there's, there's enough black on black crime in the streets. Why you want to beat up on two brothers in here? You not my brother, Mr. Iris Pub owner. You call yourself a black man? Living on Easy Street? You been bougie all your life. Bougie? No, see, you don't even know me, man. I know enough to know you don't know nothing about real life. What's the exchange rate from food stamp to cash? <laughs> what? $20 worth of food stamps is $10 cash. What's a red stamp? A uh, red stamp, that's uh, $2. Blue is 10 and the yellow ones are one. <laughs> Kind of like a rainbow coalition of money. <laughs> All right, since you know so much about being black, who's Harriet Tubman? <laughs> oh, here's a hint. Y'all get on the Underground Railroad. All right, I'm going to make it easier. Who's Rosa Parks? Oh, man. I'm not going to the back of the bus. My feet hurt. I got corns. I got corns. Who's Kunta Kente? That sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah, that's the guy on Star Trek. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, this, this does not get any easier. Who are the lockers? That's the team beside Shaquille. Train, the lockers, old school. <laughs> so, I guess you're not as black as you thought you were. Especially you. That's it. Okay, look, 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 fellas. We don't know how to rob banks, all right? We work for a living, and we're proud of that. It's midnight. It's officially Dr. King's birthday. Now, do you think he led the march on Washington so you could rob banks? Yes. Did he write the letter from the Birmingham jail just so you could spend the rest of your life in one? Do you think Dr. King gave his life so we can sit here and talk about who's more black? Does that make any sense to you? That's very moving. Thank you. In honor of Dr. Martin Luther King, <laughs> I'm gonna go break one of your arms. Leave him alone! Are you speaking to me? Yeah! There's gonna be no violence on Dr. King's birthday. Isn't that right, fellas? That's yeah. right! Yeah. Yeah. That's right! Man, you know. So that's the way it's gonna be? That's the way it's gonna be today. Now, tomorrow, you can break whosever arm you want to. Cool. Sherman, I'm releasing you into her custody. Hold on out of your sight until court. <laughs> you hear that, Eddie? I got to stay by your side, day and night. I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I'm guilty. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, now. Now, Nicolette, how did you swing this? Well, I found out that the sergeant's wife thinks just because her husband wears a badge, she doesn't have to pay her parking tickets. She knows better now. <laughs> You'll uh, sign her car out of impound, won't you? That was our agreement. And remember, 3BTC859. What's that? Your license plate number. I'll be watching you. Oh. <laughs> hey! Enjoy your holiday. Man, I'm gonna put some money on your books, man. Plus, I'm gonna get you an eye doctor. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to McGee's first annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day Gospel Brunch. Yeah. 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 Now, eat, drink all you want, everything is on the house. But those of you who care to make a donation, you should know that all of today's profits are going to the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Child Development Center in Atlanta. Yeah. In a moment, we'll be entertained by the children's choir. 
please do not feed the choir director <laughs> for every meal he does not eat. That's 27 meals we can donate to charity. <laughs> Fellas, what do you want? We're out of women. Hey, look, man, we saw you about what happened, but if you know what I'm saying, it's all good to us, you know what I'm saying? We just. Oh, oh, well, oh well, right, well, apology accepted. Yeah, That's, cool. Nice, man. That's cool. Right. Well, look, it, it's Dr. King's birthday, and, and, and right. you know, if you guys care to make a donation, you want to reach deep into your pockets, yeah. and you're welcome to stay and join us. Let's do it. Hey. Okay, that works. And now we would like to wish Dr. King a musical happy birthday. And because of Dr. King, I can eat at any lunch counter across America. <laughs> that was a great man. Okay, come on. in my garage. Free drinks while you wait. Oh, really? Well, did I mention my new policy? <clears throat> Free tune-ups while y'all drink. Oh, my man right here. Oh, man. I'm gonna put it back, man. How you get this sucker to suck? All right. This is going so right, Nicolette. I've never been so happy. Y'all know I've been looking for the perfect roommate. Well, here she is. Aw, oh, Nicolette, I can't be the perfect roommate when you're the perfect roommate. <laughs> Oh, isn't that cute? Eddie, now you know you're the perfect roommate. No, Malcolm, you are. <laughs> they just jealous. Hmm. They can never be as close as we are. It's true. We're like sisters. What size shoe do you wear? Six and a half. So do I. We can be twins. <laughs> you know, I was going to put some dreadlocks in my hair. Oh, girl, we get some beads wet. Oh, my God. Five bucks says Holly's on the street by Friday. What time? Noon. 11.30. You got it. <laughs> A toast to Mr. Gordon of Gordon's Groceries, who I hope will allow my customers to park in his parking lot at night. <laughs> of course, after you close at eight, so you don't even know the parking lot's even being used. And if you don't agree, lunch is still on me. Right. <laughs> that is wine's a little vinegary. Oh, well, I'm sorry about that. Let me get you a glass from my private reserve. Holly, look. Run down to the liquor store and buy a really good bottle of wine. Ooh, ten dollars. Why don't I buy two bottles? <laughs> Just go. Okay. okay, my best vintage is on its way. I sent the girl down to the cellar. <laughs> Mr. McGee, I'd like to help. But I've got enough riffraff hanging around my store during business hours. Now, I hear you, Mr. Gordon, but McGee's is not the sort of place that attracts riff or raff. <laughs> hey, you know 
walk away from me, I'll go off. <laughs> once in a while, a little riff, but Raph never. I'm sorry, sir, but once I start writing a ticket, I have to finish. Hey, I was only out of my car for five minutes. Then you should have put five minutes worth of change in your meter. <laughs> now, will you please step aside? Not until you tear up this ticket. Excuse me, brother. I believe the lady made her feelings crystal clear. Who the hell are you? I'm the brother asking you to leave. Asking isn't working. You're gonna have to make me. <laughs> oh, Kung Fu Man. I like it! Oh, hey, 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 hold up. There is no fighting in my bar. And settle us the Kung Fu way. A match at Chan Studio for Friday noon. Things will be different when no one's around to protect you. Oh, uh, yeah? <sighs> How's that? Pretend that table's your head. <laughs> and stay out! Okay, uh. Not for my head, it ain't. You were so brave to defend me. There's only one way to repay you. I'll stay by your side and watch over you day and night. Nah, I'd, I'd rather take the beating. <laughs> Just right here. Ah, welcome to my garage. Oh, great, wise teacher Lee. By the way, Nice thread you got there, bro. A good good master must always look his best. Hell yeah. Now, what is that you wish to learn from me? I want to have the strength of a bear, the speed of a cheetah, and the memory of an elephant. <laughs> I need it all in three days. This brother busted a table. In three days? You have the brain of a housefly. <laughs> Have you had any training? Sure, I've seen every Bruce Lee flick about ten times. Show me. Okay. <laughs> you look like Elvis. <laughs> I get your spangly white jumpsuit. You can play Vegas. Thank you very much, You cannot learn Kung Fu from movie. Even Elvis movie. <laughs> Only through inner peace will you conquer your fears. Master Lee, I, I don't need no inner peace. I need some moves, man. Teach me that one where you rip out the intestines, then choke them out with them. Silence! <laughs> I will show you the power of the chi. <laughs> Phenomenal, man. You gotta teach me that. I wanna do that at parties. Come here, girl. <laughs> Enough. The chicken that clucks too often will not hear the fox coming. I'm done clucking. Your first lesson. Snatch this quarter from my hand. Snatch... Try. Good. Now go feed my parking meter. Shaboing, boing. Shaboing, boing. Oh, nice jammies. Were they out of the ones with the feet? I meditated. Master Lee said that the only way to true power is through the achievement of inner peace. That's ridiculous. <laughs> you ridiculous. I'm at peace.
Or if that kung fu guru didn't teach you some chop chop, you're gonna be rested in peace. Here's our first rent check, says roommate! <laughs> Things are going so well, we may even open up a joint checking account. <laughs> Malcolm, can I talk to you? It's work related. Sure. <laughs> she is driving me out of my school. She won't stop talking. She talks in her sleep. She talks when she's awake. She talks when she eats. She can even talk when she's drinking a glass of water. I'm living with a ventriloquist. <laughs> Holly is such a neat freak. Cleans and organizes everything. She alphabetized the refrigerator. She, she even made it my bed this morning and I was still in it. She, she irons her socks. I am so sick of her. Oh, you're back. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you. <laughs> oh, I'm making a chocolate souffle tonight. Yes. But you know, with the souffle, there has to be lots of quiet. Any noise at all could ruin the whole thing. Oh, well, if it's quiet you want, it's quiet you're gonna get. <laughs> I can be quiet, quiet as a mouse. <laughs> and mice are so cute, aren't they cute? Girl, if you want quiet, I can be quiet, okay? You won't get quiet. Word has it that Mr. Gordon, the supermarket guy, loves baseball. So I got him an Ernie Banks autographed bat. Tim, you look good today. And? And? I hope you're feeling good. That's it? No fat jokes? No wide back? No chocolate Barney? <laughs> Man, I like pajama head. <laughs> hey, you didn't show up for the fight, little man. Let's go right now, you scrawny little punk. Who you calling a little punk? Remain peaceful, Eddie. <laughs> Where'd you come from? My spirit is everywhere. I have a website, too. I will not fight you. Then this won't take long. <sighs> Tim, Tim, go help Eddie out. No, no, no. I will not use my size to intimidate. <laughs> Free food for a month. Okay. <laughs> you leave my little buddy alone. Tim, no. He cannot hurt me. I have cocooned myself in positive energy and a majestic light. Nice cocoon. <laughs> it's not over yet. You won't know when it's coming. You won't know where. But you a dead man. <laughs> Damn, man. Yo, that shot you took didn't even hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a dog. even more to stay. Well, you need a massage? I do deep tissue. Come on, Eddie, let Nikki kiss the boo-boo. I ain't letting you get close to the boo-boo. <laughs> Holly, I'm your landlord, not your psychologist. Oh, Malcolm, please let me stay on the couch tonight. I can't take Nicolette another day. Oh, you can't take me? Maybe I can't take you, you little neat freak. Look at him, look at him. Talking again. Hey, 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 hey,
relax. All right, now, you know, this situation should not destroy a friendship here. I mean, both of you are very nice people. Holly, I mean, come on, you got to admit, sometimes you can be a little fussy. And then Nicolette, face it, you're not exactly a, a church mouse, right? <laughs> Give you the right to take a shot at Nicolette. She hasn't been chit-chatting you to the brink of insanity. Thank you, Holly. Uh -huh. And she can't help being fussy, it's a sickness. <laughs> She's right, you know. All that cleaning is just a cry for help. I was too busy talking to hear it, girl. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but you see, I'm moving out, right? Oh, hell yes. <laughs> Eddie, look, I told you I have to give Mr. Gordon his bribe, a gift. But you should not be out here where Karate Joe can see you. So just go wait in the car, all right? In order to make a soup, one must first gather his ingredients. What's that supposed to mean? I'm making a damn soup. This is a grocery store. Ingredients. Ah, Mr. Gordon. It's good to see you. You can't park your cars here. I hear you, sir. I just came by to drop off a little token of our friendship. An Ernie Banks autographed baseball bat? There you go. Oh, thanks, son. <laughs> <laughs> but you still can't use my lot. <laughs> Where's that shirt? I saw him come in here. Oh, man, you missed him. He's on his way to uh, Columbia because he likes his coffee fresh. Here I am. I guess you missed your flight. Okay, little man, let's do this. Eddie? You again? What you doing here? Mm -hmm. Shoot. Remain calm. Do not be swayed from your path. I'm a man of peace. I will not fight you. Works for me. <laughs> Think you're cute, huh? Uh, actually, that was kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, please, take it outside. <laughs> I'll take it outside. <laughs> Yo, Eddie, yo, man, are you all right? I'm fine, fine. Just really starting to get on my nerves. No, my son, do not be goaded. Be strong. Ah, oh, that's easy for you to say. You didn't get your invisible ass thrown out of window. Do as you have been taught. I must follow the teachings of Master Lee. That little girl, his name should be Coward Lee. To me now. Kick his ass! Ah, that must hurt. Medication, I one. So what kind of meat you gonna have? We've got salami and we've got a great chicken. You're gonna be dead meat. Your kung fu is good. But your breath is bad. Goose salami. Mr. Gordon, pay you later. Hit me with a duck. Yeah, a girl duck. <laughs> That's it. Food fight's over. He's 
history. Somebody call a priest. Oh, don't call me that priest. Somebody call a gardener. It's your ass. It's grass. <laughs> Cut out the movies. Oh, you got corns. Is he out cold? Yep. Punk! <laughs> Mr. Gordon, I'm really sorry about all of this. Uh, we'll, we'll help clean up everything. Will you pay for the damage? Uh, we'll help clean up everything. <laughs> How about this? You let me rent your parking lot until all the damage is paid up, and then you let me use it for free. I don't think so. Welcome. Never give up. Sweeten the pot. What if I threw in a Hank Aaron autographed baseball? Ooh. You got yourself a deal. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Who are you talking to, man? The little Asian guy on my shoulder. Man, what you doing talking to him? You two ain't even met, man. I was in the neighborhood. All right, go on now. I wasn't gonna crack no jokes on you. But now you look like a big blue balloon. I would say go on and join the Crips, but you look like all of them. <laughs> Yeah, and I got a bill for $180 from CompuServe. You know anything about this, Edward? Me? Man, I, I'm hurt and offended, man. I don't even know how to work no damn computer. I'm sorry, my bad. No disrespect, I guess I'll just call the company and complain. Well, you ain't gotta do that. All you gotta do is log on, double click to the people connection, and go online with the account supervisor. Yeah, talk to the lady. <laughs> Begin his luck, man. Mm -hmm. Welcome. I need the help of a big, strong, handsome man. Well, you forgot sexy, but give me the jar. <laughs> Malcolm, is there anything you can't do? Look, let me uh, save you some time, Holly. No, you can't have a raise. No, you can't have the weekend off. And in conclusion, no, just no. Okay, Malcolm, I need a favor. Now, my parents are coming in town, and every time they do, they always set me up with some nerdy guy. So I told them, Mom, Dad, I have a boyfriend that I'm crazy about. 
So what do you want from me? Could you pretend to be my boyfriend, please? <laughs> oh, well, let's see. Do I get boyfriend privileges? You could pay for dinner. <laughs> Come on, Malcolm, it's only for one night, and you've been asking me out for months. Yeah, and you've been turning me down for months. So now all of a sudden, just because you need me, I'm supposed to be your little puppet on the string. No, you're not a puppet. You're an award-winning novelist with a master's in fine arts from Howard University, at least for tonight. <laughs> well, to quote from one of my novels, uh-uh, no way, not gonna happen, the end. <laughs> Malcolm, I need a big, strong man to open this. What the hell do you want? I ran up your computer bill talking to Katrina online in the Naughty Cat chat room. She's come ahead and meet me tonight in the flesh. Hey, yo, you better be careful, man. You know, it's a lot of psychos online. Look at you. Exactly. That's why I gave her a picture of you. Me? Why would you do that? And I don't want no fatal attraction action. Well, so if she's crazy, it's my bunny that gets boiled. Don't worry about your bunny. If she looks good, I'll take her off your hands. She turns out to be a lunatic, Sybil. Dick, dick, dick. Hi, goodbye. Come on, Zimbuku. She's all yours. I really wish I could help you out, Ed, but uh, I, uh, I promised Holly that I would pose as her boyfriend tonight. Oh, Malcolm, you are an Angel, thank you so much, and I swear it won't be any trouble at all. Hey, everybody. This is my new roommate, Danielle. And the fine-looking specimen over there is Eddie. And just so you know, I tossed my last roommate out on her ear because she tried to make a move for the future father of my six kids. <laughs> Ain't that much Jack Daniels in Tennessee. Well, you have nothing to worry about. I like a little more meat on my drumstick. to know about you. Okay. I love Pringles. They look like a can of tennis balls, but they're not. All right, here's the plan. If she's pretty, plan A. You tell her you sent your picture because she was eavesdropping on my email. So plan A, in a nutshell, I come off like a desperate idiot. Well, yeah. But why you gotta put it in a nutshell? No, no, no. Plan B. If she's a lunatic, you on your own. Ooh, hey. Hello. Thank you. Hi, Malcolm. I'm Katrina, from the internet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi. Hey, uh, uh, plan A. Plan A. Plan A, bro. Plan A. You are even better looking than your picture. Well, thank you very much, Katrina. Plan A. Plan A. Oh. This must be your egotistical girl playing roommate that you told me about. Yes. Eddie. My egotistical girl playing dis a brother behind his back roommate I told you about. Uh, Katrina, it's nice to meet you. I think Malcolm has something he wants to explain. Katrina. You're a little early. Yo, you know, would you mind uh, waiting here while I take care of a little personnel problem in the bar? No problem. Okay, thank you. <laughs> then maybe I could check out the garage that you're always bragging about. His garage? No, no, it's my garage. 
Here, I'll give you a personal tour. <laughs> and on the way down there, you and I can discuss the finer points of plan A. <laughs> you been? My parents will be here any minute. Did you study that background material that I gave you? I don't need to study. I'll do fine winging it. Okay, what are my parents' names? Uh, Mom and Dad. Ah. <laughs> okay. Mom, Dad, this is my Malcolm. Mm, how you doing? Oh, oh. oh, he is a handsome set. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Can I get you two something to drink? Is it free? Okay. <laughs> two shots of tequila and two Coronas, and whatever mothers have it. <laughs> I'll have the same. Uh, well, coming right up, and hey, no tipping necessary. <laughs> Never do. <laughs> Guess who? I'll give you a hint. Ooh, Dana. <laughs> Ooh, you in town. <laughs> Uh, how, how long is your layover? Barely an hour, and it's my last one. The airline transferred me. Ooh, well, Dana, uh, now's really not the best time. Well, I'm sorry, but it's the only time. Well, it just became the perfect time. <gasps> how about you and me grab something to eat in a little while? Uh-uh. Let's go upstairs, and we'll talk about what we're gonna grab. <laughs> you, you hold that thought. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. I have to run upstairs and do a bit of research for my uh, book. Uh, Pookie, mm -hmm. I will be back in a flash. <laughs> Who is that woman hanging on to your Malcolm? Oh, mother. That's just his liquor distributor. You must have put in a pretty good size order. <laughs> and this is where I keep my metric right. Hmm. So that's the kind of operation I run around here. <laughs> How about I throw on a little music? <laughs> so. <laughs> I just love Barry White. Really? I had no idea. <laughs> you know, I think you and I are connected already, on some kind of high plane, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. Are you trying to make a play for your roommate's girl? It all depends. Am I succeeding? No. But I see where you get your confidence. You have this sort of earthy sensuality about you. Well, I spend a lot of time on Earth. You know, I'm a freelance photographer, and Playgirl Magazine's got an upcoming feature called Macho Mechanics of the Midwest. I think you would be perfect. Playgirl? You never told me. I mean, Malcolm never mentioned it. Sometimes it scares a man off to know that I've seen some of the best bodies up close. Not everybody can handle it. Can you? Well, I'm gonna start unbuttoning. <laughs> you tell me when to stop. <laughs> Give me a sandwich, baby. <laughs> Excuse me. Make it fast. Oh, Holly, no, no, I did not forget about you at all. You tell your parents I will be right down in five, ten, fifteen. <laughs> uh, okay, no, 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 okay, I'm, I'm coming down right now, Holly. I'll be right there. Dana, listen, you keep the motor running. Don't start without me. Oh, what the hell? If you feel like it, go ahead and start. I'll catch up. I hope I'm not gonna be too bold, Tim. But you're such a handsome man. Why not Hollywood? No, 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 Danielle. Of course, I've thought about acting. But you know what they say. The camera adds 15 pounds. Holly, hmm? why was your Malcolm more affectionate with that liquor distributor than he was with you? Yes, Boogie, is that something you hiding from us? Right. Oh, look, there's Malcolm now, excuse me. Oh, okay, they're not buying the act. What? They don't think we really like each other. Kiss me. Just like that? Oh, Malcolm, you silly. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like the sooner you do this, the sooner they get off my back. So kiss me. All right, well, just one. Maybe one more. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Kind of dirty. Come on, Eddie. The camera loves you. Oh, yeah. Make love to the camera. All right. Okay, lean in. Give me the one leg up thing. Ooh, yeah. Sexy. Give me that pout. Now, give me something different. Get up. Think Jet Magazine. Jet Magazine. December. <laughs> It's cold. <laughs> give, give me one of those looks. Small dream look. Oh, yeah, now act natural. Hi, Eddie. Ooh, Eddie. <laughs> uh, uh, just, just go on now. You don't, you don't belong here. Go on now. with and why and for how long? Don't worry, I'm a friend of Malcolm's. Well, I'm a friend of Eddie's. And he loves me, but he's not in touch with his emotions yet, so sometimes his declarations of love sound a tad insulting. Grown. Midget Godzilla. Oh, Eddie, you're so romantic. Attacktopia. Well, selfishly, I'd prefer a son first, but if we have a daughter, I would love her just the same. <laughs> Malcolm, the flight's not gonna wait. Oh, the flight. <laughs> uh, listen, you go upstairs and I will be right behind you. Mm. I'll light the candles. <laughs> to save electricity. <laughs> See, uh, the flight. That's my travel agent. That's your travel agent? I thought that was your liquor distributor. You know, it's an amazingly small world when your travel agent is the identical twin of your liquor distributor. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, get this. They're really triplets, but I, I won't tell you what the third sister does unless we run into her later. <laughs> We better not. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. Handle that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Listen, Dana, I'm really sorry about this. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, there's a young lady downstairs who I've been interested in for, for a long time. And she's finally starting to come around, right? So I'm, I'm trying to be good because she just may be the one. <laughs> That's all right, sweetie. I don't want to be the one. I just want to be the one right now. <laughs> you like my perfume? Mmm. -hmm. It's called Trouble. Trouble, yeah, <laughs> that's about what I smell right now. <clears throat> Malcolm, this is why you kept me waiting. Oh, Malcolm. It's players like you to give us sensitive types a bad name. <laughs> What's going on? I can't stall them too much longer. Shouldn't she have a sweater on or something? <laughs> Listen, you are not gonna believe this one. Excuse but, us, old folks. We just oh. want to see where the writer get inspired. Shouldn't the liquor distributor have a sweater on? Yeah, I think that's the travel agent. 
<laughs> look, look, this is, this is Dana. Like, she's an old girlfriend of mine who just happened to, to stop by unexpected. Nothing happened. And nothing will. Look, I gotta go. But if you're ever in Denver and none of these people are with you, give me a call. <laughs> Ciao. Okay, now who are you? I'm the girl who drove for four hours for a date with Malcolm. No, 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 Eddie. You drove four hours for a date with Eddie. Right, Eddie sent you my picture in case you turned out to be a psycho. Psycho? <laughs> you thought I was gonna be a psycho? I don't know where you heard that from, mister, but it wasn't from my doctors. Because both records are sealed! Plan B, bro, plan B. <sighs> you messed with the wrong woman. I have powers, mm -hmm. and I don't always use them for good. Oh, no, you will not talk witchcraft to my Eddie. You better get on your broom and fly out of here. You want to talk crazy? You ain't seen crazy till you seen neglect get crazy, okay? Uh -huh. it's my bed. You know what? You blew it. I was going to upgrade your hard drive and give you a laptop dance that you would never forget. Katrina, <clears throat> they got medication, baby. Not really, I can help. About those dirty pictures of Eddie, can I get some copies? Holly, don't worry. Your father and I met the nicest young man down at the drugstore. I'll give him your number. He's a pharmacist. 20% off on everything. Come on. Uh, oh yeah, Holly, wait. I'll be right there. Wait, mm -hmm. oh, come on, what about, what about us? Us who? You, me, mm. and your harem? Come on, Holly, the, what about the kiss? The kiss was great, Malcolm. But I'm looking for something real, and I don't think you can handle that yet. Oh, hold on, hold hold, hold up. No, this is the first time we're having this talk, all right? I mean, it just so happens that the night this finally happens, I have a date. Or two. <laughs> but I'm telling you, there is nobody else. Malcolm, sorry I'm a little late. Uh, Deborah? Oh, is today Friday already? <laughs> Goodbye, Malcolm. Wait, Holly, wait. Deborah, listen, would you mind waiting for me down at the bar? <laughs> okay, oh. uh, thanks. You order whatever you want, it's on me. Great, I love Dom Perignon. Uh. <laughs> okay, well, there's nobody else besides her. Go on, enjoy your date, Malcolm. Everything's fine. Well, can we at least go back to where we were? Sure. Okay, great. Tomorrow night, mm. uh, nice dinner, just me and you. Mm, no, thank you. See? There we go. We're right back to where we were. <laughs> Bye. Man, that Katrina, woo! That witch bit me, man! <laughs> They crazy, I'll tell you. Them computer babies are... What do you mean, move out? You haven't even moved in yet. Well, as you know, Tim and I are very much in love, and he asked me to come live with him. <laughs> Give me the keys. Well, hold on just a sec. He is on the phone with his folks, and we're going to make sure we have their blessing. Danielle, you got to talk to him. Mom says it's cool, but... Dad thinks uh, I'm making the whole thing up. Hey, guys. Have either of you been online today? No, why? Well, apparently your friend Katrina has some pretty amazing computer skills. Let me see that. Look what she did to us. Boy, you look eight months pregnant. I look like they dipped me in some Clorox. Very white. Really? I had no idea. Uh, what the hell is lying? <laughs> I think she swallowed my tongue ring. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, baby.
bacon and eggs in the morning just like I like it. Oh, baby, you shouldn't have. Baby, I didn't. <laughs> Eddie, hurry, I'm getting cold. Uh, your heater's on the way, baby. Oh, hold on. Isn't that the young lady from the bar last night whose car broke down? I thought you were driving her home. I didn't say who's home. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine. I'll make my own breakfast then. Got you a little something, something. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <laughs> I ain't finished with this. Did you have fun last night, baby? <laughs> you no, know I did. Hey, I just want to know how many times. Mm. Oh, Lord. Just keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Eddie! Eddie! <laughs> hi, Eddie. Nigga Lad, hi. I, I ain't even see you come in. <laughs> Great news, Eddie. My supervisor has agreed to let Eddie Sherman Tow and Repair fix ten of the city's parking enforcement scooters. And who is Miss Thing here hanging like cheap jewelry from your arm? <laughs> Cheap jewelry. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> Denise, Denise, let me get in touch with you later. Oh, I'll get all up in touch with you later. <laughs> she has absolutely no behind. <laughs> Look, nigga, let thanks for the hookup on the scooters, <laughs> but I gotta talk to Malcolm. Uh, about what? I'll figure it out when I get over there. <laughs> Saturday night, I'm throwing a 70s funk party. 70s music, 70s clothes, 90s prices, of course. Oh, I can dig it. Hey, I can get my band to play, bruh. You don't have a band, bruh. I will by Saturday, bruh. <laughs> you know what I'm I love that funk music, man. Ain't no party like a P-funk party. Ooh, baby, yes, that baby. baby. Yes, yes, that's that baby. Oh, yeah. God, it's science fiction theater. <laughs> He loves her, you know. You think they... How? Hello, everybody. You remember my little chocolate bunny, Danielle? I love her, you know. Man, I ain't seen you this happy about nothing that didn't come on a plate. But well, Tim really knows how to please a woman. Well, y'all can please me by stopping right there. <laughs> hey, Malcolm, I really need to talk to you. I have a tough decision to make. See, I was offered another waitressing job at McGinley's. But shorter hours, more responsibility, higher pay. McGinley, mm -hmm. that snake offered you a job? Polly, how could you even think about working for the competition? I told you, shorter hours, more responsibility, higher pay. Well, and that sounds good to you? Just the part about shorter hours, more responsibility, higher pay. See, I'm my main man, Eddie Sherman, and Scattered Funk. Give it up, give it up, man. Yeah.
down, shake it down now. Shake it down, shake it down now. Right on, right on. Right on. Now, if you need any help getting those scooters fixed by Monday... Hey, 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 what makes you think I need help? I do my best work under pressure, bruh. <laughs> well, since you haven't touched one scooter, I'd say the pressure's on, baby. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna knock them little scooters on off, you know, because my band's got a gig doing a bar mitzvah tomorrow. This could turn into a whole new career for me, this funk thing. Oh, what are you talking about? You already have a career. And now I have two. You can't have two, Eddie. Oh, why not? Bo Jackson had two, baseball and football. He dislocated his hip. Well, when I dislocate mine, <laughs> no more bar mitzvahs for me. Wait, wait, Eddie, you have all those scooters to finish, man. And plus, you guys don't even know have a Nagila. Hey, just relax, bruh. I can finish the scooters tonight. And I believe Hava Nagila goes like, Hava Navila, Hava Navila, Hava Navila, tip, 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 Hava Nagila, that side. <laughs> hey, Ed, the band called, man. They're waiting for you at Temple. Eddie. Oh, man. Hey, uh, hey, wake up, man. Yeah, yeah. Wake up, man. Oh, uh, shoot, you've been working all night, huh? How many of these you get done? Uh, including this one? None. What? <laughs> I kind of fell asleep when I, when I came in. But not to worry, man. I'll finish it after my gig. No, you will never make your deadline. <sighs> man, this is for the city. They never make their deadlines, so why should I? <laughs> Look, Eddie, you're spreading yourself too thin, man. This funk band is messing up your life and our partnership. You gotta defunkify. Man, I told you I can handle it. Oh, oh. <laughs> we got my yarmulke. Him, the ring is beautiful. <laughs> but I don't know if I can accept it. Danielle, it's a token of my love. Oh, and because I love you, I insist that you keep it. Oh, my darling, you do love me. Mm -hmm, I do. like you have some serious problems. It's been a bad day, man. Eddie's bailing on his business, and it looks like Holly's bailing on me. No, 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 Malcolm. You can't let her leave. And besides, everyone knows you two have feelings for each other. And I have July 16th in the pool. What pool? The when do Malcolm and Holly finally do the do pool. <laughs> hey, if you wait till August 4th, I give you half. Come on, this is ridiculous now, okay? Look, the only reason I want Holly to stay, right, is, um, well, she knows the, the, the recipe to McGee's secret barbecue sauce. But, uh, here's five bucks. Put me down for June 6th. Now, have you seen Eddie? He was supposed to take me to lunch. Oh, yeah, he's bringing his own brand of funk to Temple Beth Israel. Oh, so he's sneaking around with some hoochie named Beth? Sir, you gotta come quick. The supervisor of the scooter, she in the garage, she says she's not leaving till she's talking to Eddie. Well, what am I supposed to do? Hi, Eddie. You're not coming? 
No sir, someone has to be Malcolm. <laughs> Holly, bring me the beer and the bouncy bouncy, baby. Sorry to keep you waiting. You must be Captain Paulson. Yeah, and you must be Eddie Sherman. Yeah. So, are my uh, scooters ready for pickup? Oh, uh, well, almost. See, I wanted to be extra thorough, right? Uh -huh. So I'm gonna need just a couple of more hours. Uh -huh. You know, every hour my vehicles aren't on the street is another hour people are parking wherever the hell they feel like it. <laughs> Captain Paulson! What are you doing here? Van Rose, how many times have I told you we don't salute in parking enforcement? Oh, yeah, I just wanted to explain to you about Eddie. Uh -huh. See? No, uh -huh. I'm right here, Nicolette. <laughs> See? Eddie Sherman. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's you, all right. <laughs> Eddie says it right there on your pocket page. <laughs> Eddie. Oh, no. Sorry, Sherman, but you know, you're in breach of contract. I'm pulling all my business out of here. Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> you can't do that. I mean, what would the newspaper say? What are you talking about? Well, you got some serious rear-end problems. I beg your pardon? No, 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 not you, ma'am. The scooters. <laughs> They're giving off noxious emissions. You know, so how would that look in the papers if our city's main polluters were our city's own vehicles? Are you trying to blackmail me? Oh, well, I don't know about that. Is it working? <laughs> all right. All right, I'll give you till tomorrow morning, 5 a.m., but that is it. Come on, Vandros. This man has a lot of work to do. Oh, right on, brother. Yeah, keep on stepping, baby. Man, you should have been there, man. We made Jewish history. Our encore of I'm your boogie man. Whew. Gonna rank right up there with Moses and the Red Sea. <laughs> Monster talk. That woman that just left came this close to canceling your contract, all right? You have to 5 a.m., so get to work, buddy. Shugana, you're too uptight. I'll get it done after the wedding. What wedding? The one next door to the bar mitzvah. See, the, the wedding band got food poisoning, so they hired us to fill in. I just came by for some sheet music. Ah. Love lift us up where we belong. <laughs> where the eagles fly, yeah! On a mountain high. <laughs> okay, now, I've gathered you all here tonight because we have a friend in trouble. Now, we need to do a little intervention here because the same way an alcoholic cannot do without his booze, Eddie cannot do without his funk, okay? <laughs> oh, Holly. Oh, look, I'm so glad you came over. There's something I want to talk to you about. Would you guys like some privacy? No, this is not personal. This is strictly business, all right? Holly, look, I can't let you leave. I need you in my life. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, my bar. My bar. I, I need you in my bar. What exactly are you saying, Malcolm? Uh, well, I'm saying that I am willing to give you everything McGinley's is offering, plus the title of assistant manager, plus use of the company car, if and when the company ever gets a car. <laughs> so, will you stay? Well, okay. I accept your offer. <laughs> because to be honest with you, I turned McGinley down a long time ago. What? <laughs> Oh, Malcolm, you know I can never leave you. Ooh. I'm at the bar. I can never leave the, the bar. Hey, y'all having a party? I'll go get the band. Uh, no, 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 Eddie, look, you sit right there. We all want to talk to you. Uh, I know what it is. <laughs> all right, all right, it's my fault. It'll never happen again. Next time the van has a gig, y'all invited. No, no, Eddie, your next gig is the problem. Man, you're so wrapped up in your funky music, you jeopardize your business, our partnership, everything we've worked so hard for, man. And, and I'm not the only one you've hurt. Hector? Sir, when I come to Eddie Sherman's Toe and Repair, 
He was to work at the feet of a master. Now look at you. Those are not the feet of a master. Those are the feet of a pimp. <laughs> Denise? I thought we had something special. But you break dates, you don't call. I'm starting to question what I saw in you to begin with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tim? Uh... Uh, I heard there was going to be refreshments here. <laughs> Thank you for getting that off your chest, Tim. <laughs> Nicolette. Oh, look at him. I'm sorry, Malcolm, but he's so cute. If he want to play his music, let Eddie play his music. <laughs> you see? I ain't got a problem. <laughs> Eddie, have you looked in the mirror lately? When you come back to the 90s, give me a call. Denise, she really don't have a behind. <laughs> Told you. Look, 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 I got this music thing under control, all right? I only do it for social reasons. It relaxes me. All right, see, you are in denial. See, funk is a disease for you, Eddie. Where do you think they got the word dysfunctional? <laughs> Sorry, you guys are serious. <laughs> yes, yes, Holly, we are serious. See, Eddie, we're only doing this because we care about you, man. Because we love you. <laughs> All right. All right. I admit it. I have a problem. <laughs> Hi, my name is Eddie Sherman, and I'm a funkaholic. Hi, Hi Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> it's the beat. <laughs> it first started when I was a baby. Whenever I would cry, my mother would put on them George Clinton albums, and she'd hold me in her arms. I wish he was holding me now to a funky number. Come to mama, baby. Oh. I'm all better now. Step back, step back. All right, from here on out, I'll only play music for fun. No, 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 that's not good enough. Cold turkey, it's the only way. No. Yes. Eddie, the hair. Got ready that last one. Ooh, congratulations, man. You made the deadline. <sighs> you know what? I'm sorry if we were a little uh, rough on you last night, Ed. But you know, it's only because we care, right? I mean, you underst understand. Eddie? Mm -hmm. Grill. Oh, not a weasel, man. I'm sick of that commercial. And I want to see the leprechaun do that flip without spilling any beer. Look, Eddie, <laughs> that commercial has tripled McGinley's business and put a big dent in mine. You gotta give the guy credit for finding the leprechaun with that kind of talent. <laughs> Did I mention that his business is doing so well he's thinking about opening up his own auto repair shop? No good summer. <laughs> I bet you that ain't even a real leprechaun. It's probably a little midget with sideburns and a pipe. You know what we need to do? Fight fire with fire. You right. I'm gonna call a friend of mine. We can burn him down to the ground. 
No, no, Eddie. No, what I meant was we need to make our own commercial. Doesn't send a strong message, but all right. We do one commercial to advertise my bar and your garage. Something that says dignity, integrity, and trust. I got it. Eddie Sherman. Eddie Sherman's to repair. I'm a German. No, I'm a black minister. the director. I'm ready for my close-up. These were all great minds do their best work. <laughs> yeah. It's no picnic getting older, fellas. Who's the hat? No, that's my partner, Eddie Sherman. Eddie, meet the Johnny Beaumont. Johnny Beaumont? Man, how you doing? Yeah, not bad, considering I got a prostate the size of a potato. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I'm a big fan of your commercials, though, man. That Fruit of the Loom with the dancing fruit. I still wear the brand, wanna see? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Put it away. Now, now, Johnny, we need a commercial that will make people come in and spend all their money. Uh, or they can just mail in the money. Now, that would be a commercial. <laughs> Do I not know my business, Malcolm? You want to come across as hip, right? Yeah. I can give you hip. Right. As a matter of fact, I just got a new hip. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me again, fellas. Treasure your youth. Hi, Eddie. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Eddie, be nice. At least somebody cares about you. Guys, this is my sister, Tamika. Tamika, this one's Eddie. Oh, and this one is delicious. Hi. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Now, Malcolm, be nice. You're lucky to have a little gremlin that loves you, too. Tamika's gonna be my new roommate. You're moving in? Look, Tamika, take a hint from your sister. Eddie, he's the delicious one. <laughs> oh, no, no, twin midgets. Twidgets. Everybody says we're two of a kind, but I don't see it. For one thing, this girl loves the yap. Yap, 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 yap. Me? I'm a mom compared to you. Ooh, what a day I had. I wrote so many parking tickets. 16 fire hydrants, four meters, and a loading zone. <laughs> I talk about my job. Okay, look, according to you, the whole mall was shut down if you didn't show up. Shoplift their baby gap, shoplift their baby gap. It's a spike through the skull and stereo. <laughs> Oh, Tim, I almost didn't recognize you without Danielle. Where's your woman, man? Man, where isn't she? She's there in the morning when I wake up. She's there when I go to sleep at night. Man, she's even there in my moments of personal hygiene. Hey, hey, hey man, that's a vision. <laughs> she is everywhere. Yeah, you guys do live together, Tim. Yeah, and I'm suffocating. I can't even breathe. Well, you have to tell her, right? A man needs his space. Some men need galaxies. <laughs> yeah, I, I want her to move out, man. I, I can't take it. Well, then, no, you throw her out, all right? You are the king of that castle, Tim. I am the king. Yes. Yes, you the man. You wear the pants. Bugle boy, special order. <laughs> Hi, Sugar Bear. Danielle? I've got something to say to you. Well, say it on the way to the mall. You get to help me pick out new shower curtains. Come on. Yes, dear. <laughs> the king has spoken. Captain whooped. <laughs> All right, fellas, now here's what I want to do. We're going to open up in a shot here, and then I want to pan around here until we come up here, and we're going to zoom in over here, and then we're going to fade out. You got it? So where you on us? Go over there somewhere. Uh, you're not panning or zooming over there. How are we gonna be in the commercial? You're not. But it's our company. We gotta be in our commercial, like Oliver Redenbacher, right. Colonel Sanders, and Ronald McDonald. No, Eddie, Ronald doesn't own the company. He should. He's doing a hell of a job. One big sir. Fellas, fellas, you're amateurs. Amateurs freeze up in front of the camera. No, 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 no. I'm just talking about amateur, okay? I had the lead in my eighth grade production of A Raisin in the Sun. And he was the head raisin. Bobbies, Bobbies, listen, you want to do this right? 
you gotta use professional actors. That's why you hired me. And that's why I hired Ted Lange and Ed McMahon. from the love boat. Hey, man, you taught me how to do this. Oh, well, uh, technically you're there, but you could use a little more. <laughs> Ed McMahon. Hey. You got a check for me, man? I was hoping you'd have one for me. <laughs> now, who's a better spokesman for Malcolm McGee's than the most famous bartender in America, Ted Lange? How about Ted dancing? Wait a minute. Hey, that guy stole all my moves. The soup, the soup. Uh -oh. Sorry. <laughs> now, what do people want from a mechanic? Trust. And whose face says, trust me, better than the face of Ed McMahon? And uh, no one in your price range. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, kids, let's rehearse. Yeah. yeah this, is right. this isn't right. I mean, we need to be in our own commercial. You got that right. Go tell him. Why me? Because you was the head raising. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Beaumont, can we talk to you for a second? Cut! <laughs> we have some concerns about your choice in spokesman. See, we think the commercial would be a little bit more hip if we were in it. That's it. I quit. What? Did you hear homeboy call us unhip? Let's bounce. <laughs> hey, you can't diss my posse like that. Come on. Yeah, well, Audi. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> All right, no problem. I know exactly what to do. I went to broadcasting school. Check this out. All right, all right gentlemen, uh, I'm now taking over the production, all right? And as the new man in charge, I'd just like to say, lunch. Yeah. <laughs> you good, man. All right, now, we just need a new idea for a new commercial. All right, how about this? We get seven little midgets, right? Stack them on top of this, each other, right? Then all of them drink beer like Staircase Dang for in his mouth, let it drip off him into the next, next, next midget, right? Then once the midgets get through drinking just one tall glass of beer from Malcolm McGee's, the bottom midget takes off, and the rest of them land on their feet, but they still stand up. He jumps in a little midget mobile and comes to Eddie's Torn Repair. <laughs> That's a commercial, man. No, first we need to think of uh, the demographic we want to reach. Now, I want to reach people who drink. I want people who drive. Okay, well, basically, we want people who drink and drive. <laughs> Just not at the same time. No, 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 no. Let's be honest. We want anybody's money. No, not anybody's. Everybody. Now you talk. Hey, we want the businessman. Yeah. We want the working man. Got it. We want the military. We want the, the black, the white, the Latino, the Asian. The Orientals. <laughs> Everybody is welcome at Malcolm McGee's. Don't repair. Hey, come on down to Malcolm McGee's Bar and Grill. And Eddie Sherman's Toe and Repair. Where everybody's welcome. I'm welcome. I'm welcome. I'm welcome. I'm welcome. Even I'm welcome at Malcolm McGee's. Well, I'm even welcome down to Eddie Sherman's Gay Road. Woo! Remember. You're welcome at Malcolm McGee's Bar and Grill. And Eddie Sherman's Tone and Repair, where everybody's welcome. Man, it gets better every time I As see it. my lookout, Spielberg, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> What'd you think, Holly? You know, it reminds me of something. I just, I just can't put my finger on right. It reminds you of excellence, my darling. It's OK. You can admit it. Well, I especially like the, the construction worker and the biker and the policeman. Oh, please. The cowboy, the sailor, and the Indian stole the commercial. What's wrong with your eyes? There ain't nothing wrong with my eyes. I just uh, know a leading man when I see one. Please, you know what? Mama shouldn't have wasted her money on getting you piano lessons. She should have got you some glasses instead, because you really can't see and you can't play the piano. Man, you just mad because you still got a little bit to print. Boys! Hey, hey, man, look, the commercial's working already. New customers. Uh, hey, gentlemen, welcome to Malcolm McGee. Hey, hey, uh, are you the guys that's in the commercial? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. I told you it was there. Man, we uh, loved your commercial. Yeah. Man. That village people theme was the bomb. That's what that reminds me of. <laughs> The village people! <laughs> hey, you know, it's about time to open a gay bar on this side of town. I still can't.
can't believe how this happened. I mean, just because you put a police officer next to a biker, next to a construction worker, next to a cowboy, next to an Indian, does that automatically save village people? You kidding, right? <laughs> Only thing it didn't say was YMCA. <laughs> hey, Eddie. So do you think I could bring my car down tomorrow to your gay garage? <laughs> It's not a gay ride, I was talking Texan. If anything, it's a straight ride. You got that? Get to get it, get to get it. I've always dreamed about having my own sports bar, but this was not exactly the sport I had in mind. And I hear you on that one. I mean, consenting adults can do whatever they want to do. You know, I ain't judging or nothing. I just don't get it. Hey, Malcolm, can you bring a keg up from the cellar? Damn, these fellas can drink, though. Yeah, but there's never a line for the ladies' room. Psst. Hey, Richard, can I talk to you for a minute, man? Hey, what's up, Eddie? <clears throat> well, you know, me and my partner was talking, you know, I don't mean to judge or nothing, but I just don't get it. And what exactly is it you don't get? The whole gay thing. I mean, how did it all start? Boy, Eddie, I'm glad you asked. The history of homosexuality is so often misunderstood. You see, the truth is, there were no gay people until 1943. What? That year, Mussolini, in a plot to defeat the Allied forces, paid six handsome Italian soldiers 10 million lira apiece for every American GI they could get to go the other way. Man, shut your mouth. The movement caught on, crossed the ocean, and spread to many of this country's major metropolitan areas. Man, I thought they left black history out textbooks. Hey, but look, you got to promise me you're not going to tell nobody. No, your secret's safe with me, man. All right. Hey, Malcolm, you ain't going to believe this, man. Ooh, this place is filled with men. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a puppy in a room full of T-bones. <laughs> Let's take a lap, give Malcolm and Eddie a little something to think about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These dogs don't hunt. Well, I knew Mussolini was behind it all the time. Did you forget about Mussolini? My man was putting you on. Oh, I forgot. This is coming from Mr. I Can Direct the Village People commercial. Oh, excuse me. I was going for a wide demographic, all right? And you see, it worked. Besides, you didn't have any qualms about slipping into your cowboy outfit talking about your gay ride. Hey, 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 hey. See, see, there you go. I make one slip up, you just want to pick at it. Pick, 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 yeah. pick. Hey, come on now, fellas, huh? I know it's hard. You're working together, living together, but it's all about communication. Hey, I had the same problem with my first boyfriend. Boy, oh, hey, just get out. Friends, man. Where? They right over there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, sugar pie, honey punch. Come here, you look nipple. I mean, Tamika. Uh, Eddie, you, you know what you're saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know exactly what I'm saying. You know what I mean? This is your, the moment I've been waiting for. Your wait is just about over, and snuggle. Mm. Now you go on upstairs and wait for me. Oh, okay, but hurry up. Uh, hey, and feel free to start without me, oh. and then finish up. Same go for me, Cupcake. Sure, Ding Dong. <laughs> hey, sir. I had no idea you was this type of an hombre. I should hook you up with my cousin, Ramon. <laughs> He's a bullfighter. Ole. <laughs> man, this has gone too far. No, 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 you're right, you're right. We gotta do something about this one, man. Yeah, well, first... You better put this in the safe, because it's way too much cash to keep in the register. But then again, we got to do what's best for business. Well, what you trying to say, man? If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> and come on, man, you can't leave me hanging by myself. Hey, welcome! 
Hey, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? Hector! Madre de Dios! Man, I feel like a flaming idiot. And that's all right, man. We're gonna be flaming all the way to the bank. Game's over. Time to start the show. All right. <laughs> we have a special treat for you. Now, from now on, every night is going to be La Caz Yeah! <laughs> hey! That's right, that's right. And to kick it off, please welcome with those fabulous legs, Miss Tina Turner! Yeah! All right. yeah all right. Tina Turner, you Tina guys! <laughs> Tina, my man! All right. Some people like to do this song nice and easy. I like to do it nice and rough. That's right. Hit. left. <laughs> Keep them. This was supposed to be a sports bar. You actually think just because we're gay we want to see Tina Turner stomp her way through Proud Mary? Ah, uh, is that what it is? Relax, man. That wasn't really Tina Turner. <laughs> wait, wait, hey, guys, guys, wait a minute. What's the problem? We thought you people would like this kind of entertainment. You people. Brother, do you hear yourself? You can't make generalizations like that. That's like saying all your people like watermelon. Hey, hey watch your mouth, man. <laughs> see what I mean? Oh, wait, wait, guys, come on. Look, we'll change things back. Uh, I'll take the quiche off the menu and the umbrellas out the drinks. Man. You, you feel as stupid as I do? Yeah, but not as stupid as Tim. <laughs> Tim, sit like a lady. Hello, folks. Ed McMahon here. If you want a mechanic you can trust, well, here's Eddie. Thank you, Mr. McMahon. Come on down to Eddie Sherman's Torn Repair, where we'll make you feel like a million-dollar winner. Why tow with another, when you can tow with a brother? Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> and while you're there, stop on by the best bar in Kansas City. That's right, Malcolm McGee's, where every hour is happy hour. <laughs> You know, Malcolm, when you said you had a way of getting back the old customers, I didn't know you meant. <laughs> oh, customers. Well, you know, Eddie, as they say, if you can't beat them, join them. Oh, 54. Oh, 54. <laughs> ah, bingo! Bingo! Oh. Yeah! Oh. This one is delicious. Oh, Lord. Malcolm, I think we should start from them coming in the door. No, 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 no. Let's be honest. We want everybody and anybody's number. Number? Number. Let me have another hit of that. Everybody is welcome. And Malcolm Sherry's Repair. 
No, no, Malcolm McGee's and Eddie Sherman. Oh, why? You always gotta be first, man. How about Eddie and, you know, Malcolm? You know, that sound cool, you know? Well, you know, I figured, you know, the show's called Malcolm and Eddie, so I just, you know. <laughs> What a day. Two tune-ups, overhaul the engine. Spent two hours working on this zipper. Took a chunk of my chest out, man. Well, you better be glad it caught you up there. Hey, that's why I buy button fly. <laughs> well, I hear you, man. It may take longer, but it's worth the peace of mind. <laughs> Was that you or the couch? No, I'm a gentleman, man. It must have been the couch. Ah, right, get off for a second. Get up. Oh, look at that. You ripped the cushion. Uh, damn, I had a screwdriver in my pocket. Like, do you can hardly see the stuffing coming out. Look at that. The cushion is ruined, Eddie, which means the couch is ruined. I can fix it. No, 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 no. You remember the last time I let you try to fix it? We almost ended up homeless. I don't even know what you're talking about, man. Oh, no, you tripping, dude. Look, let me refresh your memory. So, Malcolm, do you always bring girls back here on the first date? Of course not. You're special. Am I really? <laughs> let me show you how special. Whew. Man, I had the wildest night. I ran over this policeman's dog. Eddie, Eddie. No, man, I mean, the dog ain't chasing no more brothers. You know what I'm saying? His back legs locked up, just call him drag. Eddie, this is Roxy. Oh, hi. Go to bed. That's exactly what I plan to do, man. I gotta get my rest. It's a big convention this weekend. A lot of tours. Us tow truck drivers gonna make a lot of money. Well, I'm thrilled for you and your kind, but I'm... And, and, and before I forget, I got my rent money. Two days early. Kelly can't say nothing about my rent being late this month. <laughs> All right. Eddie, <laughs> Eddie, nothing personal, uh, but get the hell out of here. Malcolm, that is so rude. He doesn't have to go. I like this woman. You mind if I join you? <laughs> uh, that never happened before. Hey, Mom. See? Fixed it. Good as new. My bed's not broken. Wanna go jump on that? Oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't do it on purpose. It's never on purpose. That's what scares me. I'm gonna fix you up. See, I'll buy you a new couch. <laughs> yeah, right. No, see, this dude I had told in my truck, he gave me this coupon right here. Said if I ever need some new furniture, he'd take care of me. Ooh, a whole five dollars off. <laughs> There's probably that much loose change in the couch. Shouldn't have told me that. That's gas money. Look, I'm going to the station. I'm going to be late messing around with you. Oh, that's all right. When you get home later on this evening, it's going to be a couch right here. How are you going to get a new couch, huh? What are you going to use as money? Wasn't you listening to me last night? No. <laughs> the convention. Plenty of money. No, 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 no. You are not going to pick out a couch for me, all right? I've seen you a little house on the prairie toothbrush holder. <laughs> I mean, why you got to take it there, doll? I go on lunch at 12 noon. I'll meet you at the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> it ain't Little House on the Press. It was the Jefferson's too, brush hole. <laughs> Malcolm, this place is the shizney. <laughs> mm. Watching TV? Reading. Getting busy. Uh, uh. No. Eddie, this couch costs nine hundred dollars. Eight ninety-five. One thousand dollars? Twelve hundred? Oh, Eddie. Man, you can tow every car in this city. We still couldn't afford anything in this store. But the cheapest thing in here has gotta be this stupid porcelain duck. $200. 195. Great. Well, why don't you sit on this while you watch TV? No wait for the half of my lunch hour, man. I'm out of here. 
that is for me. <sighs> hey, I love this chair. <laughs> May I help you? Can you turn this on high? <laughs> I'm looking for a couch. The lumbar matic is a chair. A very expensive chair. Now this is a couch. Try it out. Hmm. <laughs> I like it. How much it cost? Uh, sir, this couch costs $3,000. It's made from the finest Italian leather. Uh, you got any Kansas City leather? <laughs> you know, I passed the cow on the way here. I could tow it in, sew up something special for me. Do you have a price range in mind? I'm in that porcelain duck range. <laughs> well, uh, there is one couch in the warehouse that's made from this material. It's just like leather, only more humane. <laughs> does it cost? The sale price is $400 cash, and I'll throw in our Stain Guardian 3000, but it's for today only. I don't know where I can get that kind of money today. Well, if you can come up with the 400 in cash, the couch is yours. What's this? That's a new couch. <laughs> Not bad, Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> the couch is kind of fly, sir. Right, <laughs> right. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> is there a dead cat under this cushion? <laughs> oh, this couch smells. <laughs> Maybe it does. It's, it's a new couch smell. It'll wear off if you sit on it for a while. No, Eddie, this couch stinks. My eyes are tearing up. Those are tears of joy. <laughs> I got this $3,000 couch for 400 only. You said you paid $400 for this couch? Yes, indeed. He thinking speedy. <laughs> Where'd you get $400 from? I spent the rent money. Oh, man, come on. I got, it again. I got it covered. Eddie, you were late with your half of the rent for the past two months. You heard what Kelly said. Third strike, we're out of here. This ain't a strike, man. That's just a little foul tip. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? A lot of tourists in town tomorrow. I'm gonna have Kelly's rent money in no time. Well, I hope so, man. I can't cover you again. I don't even worry about it. Just sit down, enjoy the couch. <sighs> Comfy. Tim, six eggs, bacon, sausage, ham, toast, and two stacks of pancakes. Uh, light on the butter, right? Of course. <laughs> Certainly like to make out this receipt to show that your rent is paid on time for once. Oh, but Kelly, my dear, it will be as soon as Eddie gets here. <laughs> you see, he's got his half of the rent on time this month. There's a big convention in town. Huge. Malcolm, I, I hate to be a hard ass, but I use your rent to pay my rent, and I don't have such a sweet landlord, so either pay up or pack up. Hey, Ma, we we'll talk to you for a minute, man. You don't have it. I don't have it. But Eddie, Eddie, you at the convention today. See, the convention is uh, parking officials. They know the law, man. They know the law. I got a $50 ticket for double parking and tampering with a meter. Made. <laughs> Kelly gives some extensions. She always does. Kelly, how you doing? I had a wild day today. <laughs> I was in the truck towing some people, you know, and they had all these cats in the back. It's about a hundred of them. One of the little cats leaped out. It's a beautiful little cat, too. You should have seen him. Just and them little eyes. It's you bad. don't have it. I don't have it. <laughs> but I can get it. All I need is one week. You got one day. Today. I want the rent by 5 p.m. Day, day, they sound good. God created man in a day. He also evicted Adam and Eve. Point well taken. 
Put that evil apple down. <laughs> All right, Eddie, get your receipt so we can take the couch back and get your rent money. All right, got the receipt. Eddie, this store has a no refund policy. Oh, that's all right. I'll just give him a call. No, no, no. You've done enough. I'll call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 it's like having a water slide in your own house. <laughs> yes, I know about your no refund policy. Yes, I, I know the sale's over. Yes, I'll hold. Now for a triple axle twist with a combo. Yeah! It's a team! Crowd goes wild. Well, the couch smells. I don't know, like it's been stuffed with dead animals or something. <laughs> hmm. Stain Guardian 3000. Guaranteed not to stain or money back. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I work at a radio station, and I just might let my listeners know how your store has been treating us. KZKC. 1581. <laughs> well, yeah, AM. But I know a lot of people at other radio stations you have heard of. No, don't you put me on hold. Resist motor oil. That looks uh, quite low to me. <laughs> Amazing! Well, how about you deal with this? You give us our money back or I'm gonna call the Better Business Bureau, Consumer Rights Organizations, Ralph Nader, Darth Vader, or anybody else who'll listen until there is so much publicity that the only sale you'll ever have is a going out of business sale. Get him! Get him! <laughs> Found some great jelly. Phenomenal! Well, yes. Yes, thank you very much. That will do. We'll see you in about an hour or so. All right, Eddie, pack up. We're taking that couch back. As long as it's in the same condition as when we bought it, they have to take it. Eddie, what are you doing? Man, you gotta see this 3,000 stain guardian. <laughs> it works! You just wrote this couch sucks? Watch this, man. Don't worry about it. Watch this right off. This stuff is good. <laughs> so you gotta rub it 3,000 times. <clears throat> <laughs> Couch is heavy. Oh, you're here. I'll make out the refund check. Yeah, that's more like it. Hey, wait a minute. I got some things I want to say to you. No, Eddie, relax. We're getting our money back. No, 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 no. You jipped me, and you need to know. I think he knows. No, 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 no. Look at this. If I was an old woman, I could bust my hip. You did that on purpose. Did what? That. Oh, that. Uh, that should say this couch stinks. <laughs> Take a whiff. I'm not refunding your money. Get that out of here. No, 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 wait a minute. You have to give us some money back. That guaranteed Stain Guardian 3000 didn't work. I'm getting the floor manager. You know, suddenly I don't think this place is the shits, Nick. <laughs> this is Steven. Our floor manager. <laughs> Stephen! <laughs> Maybe you could help us out here. Door's right over there. <laughs> See, I don't think he understand. <laughs> we got problems. We all have problems. 
Mine is I keep forgetting the difference between assault and manslaughter. I'm assault. This is manslaughter. He was just in. Come on, hurry up, man. Get the You want to buy on the couch? Nice couch. You want to buy a couch? Martin Luther King sat on this couch. I'm not lying. You want to buy a couch? Not that one. Uh, what's her problem? Eddie, nobody in their right mind would buy this couch. Yeah, they would. I did. Try to imagine the apartment without the clutter and with a couch. Just to fill out this application. What are you doing? This isn't a garage. We don't have sales here. Kelly, who are they? Prospective tenants. You didn't say you had another appointment. <laughs> I don't. No, you know, Kelly, you said we had till 5 o'clock. We still got two more hours. Their lease starts at 6. Now, what's with this couch? We got gypped. Well, that's obvious. It says this couch sucks right on it. <laughs> well, he didn't know it would stain. You wrote on it? What were you thinking? This cow sucks. <laughs> Girls, how's that application coming? Kelly, listen, this couch is the only reason we don't have the rent. You see, we tried to take this couch back, right? Mm -hmm. But we got kicked out by this really big, mean guy. Hello. Bigger than him? Ooh, a couch. Now it's just like that show Friends in here. Rachel, give me a cafe latte. Damn, my man. You wanna go to the furniture store with us? We need a guy with some size on our side. Oh, I'm sorry, Eddie. You see, I have a rule. I never use my size for intimidation. Just for loving. What uh, Tim, what, what we meant is we need the size of your brain. Oh, yeah, see, we need you to pose as our uh, lawyer. Lawyer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Outstanding. Now I finally can use one of my degrees. <laughs> <laughs> you really think he's a lawyer? No, but I think he might have eaten a couple along the way. I'm sorry, you can't bring that in here. It's all right. He's house trained. <laughs> this is our lawyer, Mr. Johnson. Stephen? I'm on a break. <laughs> no, you was a sister. Oh, Pat Riley look alike. <laughs> I want to thank you, Tim, for your legal advice. That's no problem, Eddie. It's like having 10 Johnny Cockles. Now, we're not leaving the store until we get our refund. I'm sorry you're unhappy with your purchase, but you bought it, so deal with it. Now get this thing out of here. Miles. Well, hello, Mr. Calloway. I'm having a little problem here, but it's nothing I can't handle, sir. Hey, 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 that's the dude I picked up that gave me the coupon. Oh, the coupon man. Well, maybe we can get another $5 discount. Eddie! Galloway! Hey, I'm glad you finally made it down to my store. Hey, my pleasure. Your store? Yeah. You see, I own the whole chain. Oh. <laughs> I trust that Miles is taking care of y'all? Oh, he took care of me, all right. Yeah, he took advantage of my simple friend. <laughs> Miles, why did you sell my friend here a couch with writing on it? Oh, Callaway, man, the, the writing wasn't on it, but this definitely ain't the couch that he promised me. The smell is making my nose hairs burn. <laughs> Miles, you know this couch isn't fit for customers. That's why we have it back in the employee lounge. <laughs> Sir, I can explain. No, no, I specifically told you not to sell this couch, didn't I? I told you that, didn't I? You're fired. No, 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 no. Now I got something a little more creative in mind for Mr. Belvedere here. <laughs> So tell me something, Eddie. Yeah, yeah. What does shiznit mean again? This chair is the shiznit. This drink, shiznit. That picture you got hanging over there, shiz, no neck. This little cat you got right here, this is junk. You never have nothing like that in your store, Callaway. Uh, you ever thought about investing in tow trucks? 
it all worked out. Got a new couch. We own the whole building. We live in large, thanks to me. Thanks to, well, you mean thanks to us winning the lottery. I picked the lottery numbers. And this time, I know exactly how to fix the couch. Damn, good as new. Mm, let's see. Nah, you know what? Forget it, man. I can never feel comfortable knowing there's a, a rip hiding underneath this cushion. All right, well, I know how to fix it. Give me a pair of scissors, some crazy glue, and an orange cow. <laughs> On second thought, there was a little too much stuffing in the cushion anyway. Yes, it was. You know, Malcolm, I'll talk to you later. Hold this. Oh, yes, he does. He doesn't live here. I like this woman. <laughs> oh, I bet if you go for a driver's license picture, all they gonna get is your navel. <laughs> you know, I really want to walk away from you, but the gravitation is just keeping me right here. Baby. Got it. Hi, Eddie. Oh, Lord. I got you some Mickey D's. Ah, uh, the eight. Unless you got a hot apple pie. No, no hot apple pie. Just an arch deluxe, two quarter pounders, three cheeseburgers, super-sized fries, and some chicken McNuggets just in case. <laughs> but no hot apple pie? Uh-uh. Now, that wasn't very considerate, now, was it? Hey, Nicolette, you know the rules. No Mickey D's and Malcolm McGee's, all right? You gotta eat my food. Now listen, as your friend, I think I should really tell you, you need to consider dating someone who actually wants to date you. You mean because Eddie runs away every time I get near him and he has these cute little pet names for me like Midget and Gremlin? <laughs> it's just because he's shy. Hey, hey. Hey, baby, Eddie Sherman. I can get you some McDonald's real quick. <laughs> You're right. We need to get him to come out of his shell soon. Look, he's just shy with me because he's afraid to show his true feelings. Personally, I don't know what the brother's problem is. I mean, you're beautiful, you're fun, and you can fix parking tickets. <laughs> Thank you, Malcolm. So you got to stand up for yourself and start putting Nicolette first, right? I sure am. There you go. Hey, where you going? Back to Mickey D's. I gotta get Eddie his hot apple pie. <laughs> the godfather of soul food. <laughs> I'm so happy, I think I'm gonna do a cartwheel. Oh. <laughs> Tim, no, I don't have earthquake insurance. <laughs> well, it's just as well, I'm wearing boxers anyway. <laughs> what are you so happy about? Well, I finally broke up with Danielle. I told her she was too bossy and she was spending all my money. All right, well, what did she say? Go away, but leave your wallet. <laughs> well, that's all right, Tim. Welcome back to the honey hunt. No, 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 Malcolm. I need some time to be alone, to heal my wounds. That's not time. <laughs> Malcolm, you were absolutely right. Of course I was absolutely right. Right about what? About me not waiting for Eddie. I deserve better. I'm an excellent conversationalist, I'm well-groomed, and I can make a man see God with a silk scarf and a quart of vanilla almond fudge. You little undercover freak. <laughs> hey, Amen. Watch this. <laughs> Hello. My name is Tim. What's your sign? Mine's caution, wide load. 
man, y'all love that joke. I'm gonna die alone. Uh, excuse me, miss. Um, I'm looking for... for you, actually. I'm sorry, but your beauty, it just hit me like, like a lightning bolt. Mm. Did you just come from Texaco? Because this sounds like you gassing me up. <laughs> my name is David, David Wynne. <laughs> Nicolette Vandros. Uh, I'm actually here to talk to Malcolm McGee, but um, would you consider having dinner with me? Uh, let me check my schedule. <laughs> you are talking sit-down restaurant cloth napkins you paying, right? <laughs> Malcolm, this is David Wene. Get this man a drink and lock the front door. <laughs> Eddie! Eddie! I, I got something I gotta tell you. What is it? I'm working, woman. <laughs> well, Eddie, I know you're a very jealous man, so try to control yourself. Another man just asked me out to dinner. So? Ooh, very impressive self-control. <laughs> Look, Eddie, if you just tell me to say no, he is out of my life forever. Are you crazy? Get back in there before the fool gets away. <laughs> Here, here's $20. Then his on me. <laughs> so that's how it is? Yep. Fine, Eddie. I will always treasure the beautiful moments we had together and the sweet sound of your voice saying, Go on, Nicolette, get to getting. <laughs> Go on, Nicolette, get to getting. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that. Too bad, Eddie. We could have made magic. Tripping up. <laughs> hey, Tim. Why? I miss Danielle. <laughs> no, I meant do you want a glass of wine? Oh, no, no. I refuse to drown my sorrows in alcohol. But, uh, you got a ham in the back? Hey, Mom. Look at nigga letting that dress, trying to catch my eye. Catch your eye? Eddie, she's on a date. Don't you see the game she running, man? I'm a chocolate cream-filled eclair, and the woman got a serious sugar jones. Watch this. <laughs> Edward. <laughs> Looks like somebody found out about NutraSweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, look at Holly over there getting sweet and low. Nah, she's, she, she's just doing her job being nice to the customers. And look like she's going for employee of the month. <laughs> Malcolm, you were absolutely right. The best way to get over a man is with another man. And the best way to get over a drink is with a refill. Hit me. That's <laughs> looking like. If you had feelings for, for somebody and you didn't know how to tell them, what would you do? I'd get a push-up bra. <laughs> what else would you do? Write a romantic love letter. Women are suckers for love letters. <laughs> hmm. Of course, a love letter. Hey, Danielle, I'm glad you could make it. What's new, girl? <sighs> Nothing much. Tim and I broke up. Oh, you poor thing. Of course, I used to say that when you two were together, too. <laughs> Sit down, I'm gonna get a bottle. Okay. Hey, Malcolm, could you give this to Danielle for me? Yeah, sure. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> hey, Malcolm, that uh, cute guy over there just ordered a beer. Uh, oh, you think he's cute? Uh -huh. Well, I get him a beer and I get you a pair of glasses. Look, uh, give this a table six. Hey, Nicolette, Malcolm told me to give this to you. Oh, thanks. So where were we? Um, oh, I got this purse at Judy's, and now I'm not even sure if it goes with enough of my outfits. But I did see... I can't keep my feelings inside any longer. I care about you deeply. I need you in my life forever. Always your beloved. Malcolm's in love with me? If you had feelings for someone, but you weren't sure how to tell them, what would you do? Now I understand where Eddie got the strength to resist my womanly charms. He was under orders from Malcolm. <laughs> yeah. 
he is fine. <laughs> Although I can't get any sweet nothings out my head. Go on now, Nicolette, go on. Get to get me. So, Nicolette, what do you think? Should I keep the brown purse or exchange it for the blue? Uh, trust your instincts. Oh, you're such a good listener. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> This one here has the smooth aftertaste of a Mad Dog 2020. <laughs> and the wonderful rosé of a uh, Thunderbird. <laughs> Magnifique. Eddie, Eddie, come here. Wait. Here's a brochure. It's going to tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> Whoa, Holly wants me. Of course she does. She's a woman. Man, I'd jump in them boots in a hot second. Except I'd never be able to look Malcolm in the eye. Yo, hey. Ooh, man. Molly, my hair. Man, you gotta taste this dessert wine. <laughs> oh, man, I'd never taste nothing of yours, man. <clears throat> Holly. What is it, Eddie? Shh, shh. Come here, come here, come here. Got to talk to you. What? Here, take this. Don't let Malcolm see it. Okay. Holly, Hi. what are you doing standing around? We have people who need to be waited on. Uh, we was just uh, seeing if it was like some spills on the table, you know. I don't see any spills. Oh, maybe that's probably why she ain't cleaning nothing. Girl, you crazy. No matter how much he asks, no more wine for him. You know? Eddie's making a play for me? Behind Malcolm's back? Is Eddie out of his mind? <laughs> now that's a rosé. Uh, Holly, listen, huh? if you're still looking for spells, huh? I found one on table two. Okay, I'll clean Eddie right up. Uh, it right up. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, my little knick-knack. Now, allow me to order you a case of our best vintage. Oh, you don't have to buy me all that wine. Oh, well, I'm not. Uh, but don't worry. I mean, you can make some payments. <laughs> Malcolm. This is from Nicolette. Nicolette wants me? Oh, my God. She's like a sister to me. I can make a man see guy with a silk scarf and a quarter vanilla almond fudge. Did I say sister? I meant stepsister. Me and Malcolm? Me and Nicolette. Me and Eddie? Me and... Mrs. Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones. We got a thing going on. Nicolette wants me. Poor baby. There's just not enough Malcolm to go around. Eddie can't live without me. What am I gonna do? If Malcolm makes a move, Eddie will kill him. I know Eddie really loves me. I bet he's thinking about me right now. Is anybody looking? I got a scratch. <laughs> Malcolm, Danielle's just sitting there. Did you give her that note? Yeah, a long time ago. Oh, it's over. And I know why. It's because my head sweats. As soon as it's over, how about I show you my private wine cellar? Look, David, I have already said friend against friend. Now, quick, run away for I hurt you too. Oh, but Nicolette, please, I mean... Oh, don't beg. There is nothing more pathetic than chasing after somebody that don't want you. Now, go on now, David, get to getting. <laughs> I better tell Malcolm his dream girl's dreaming about me. Hey, Mal, let me talk to you, partner to partner. Yeah, what's on your mind, partner? <laughs> Not a damn thing. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. Hi, Holly. So it's a really nice weather we're having, isn't it? I shouldn't be this close to him. He's only got one thing on his mind. And they're both inside my blouse. It is uh, nice weather we have. 
due to a ridge of high pressure moving up from the Gulf. <laughs> Holly, uh, why don't we go somewhere so we can talk? Sure, I'd love to talk, Eddie. All right, lead the way. That way I can look at the rump shape. Did I say that out loud? I can be so rude sometimes. How could I let her go? She's so beautiful. She's so kind. She's so... Ooh, chicken wings. Extra spicy. Damn it, Tim. Stay focused. <laughs> wow. Danielle, we've got to talk. Excuse me, I believe I was... Just warming your seat, bruh. It's, it's me, baby, your little boo-boo bear. So, here we are. Alone. Uh-huh. Here to talk about that love letter. Exactly what I want to talk about. What do you think? Well, I'd like to know what you're thinking. Uh, I'm not used to thinking. I don't know where to start. This is deep. I uh, know. <laughs> Let's start at the shallow end and work our way to the deep. Okay, well, how about it to your garage? That's shallow. All right, cool. Okay. This here, this is an air filter. <laughs> this is my toolbox. Yep, this is the first drawer of the toolbox. This, this is the second drawer. And this one here... Hey, let me guess. <laughs> That's the third drawer. <laughs> Have I given you this tool before? Congratulations on a successful wine tasting, Malcolm. Thanks. Nicolette, maybe you and I should go someplace and talk in private. Uh, I'm right behind you. <laughs> and speaking, speaking of, of behinds, behinds, baby got back. Check this out. I've got a new stereo. Surround sound. See, I don't like my music sneaking up on me. Put some demons in here, too. Well, Eddie, doesn't that make it hard to work? Extremely. But I'm good, you know what I'm saying? I've been at this for years. I'm qualified. Oh, are you all right? Oh, my back. Oh. Uh. Wait, here, let me rub it. Uh, right up top between okay, the shoulder blades. right here, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, baby. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, is that okay? Oh, Holly. Oh. Oh, that feels good. Okay. Oh, work it, girl. Oh, I had to pay you for this. No, no, you don't have to pay me this time, Eddie, but next time. Uh -huh. oh. Eddie, you little. I can't believe you kissed on my mother girl. Son of a. Play this game. Malcolm, we are alone at last. What the hell? No, no, Nicolette. <sighs> All right, well, if I just keep my teeth closed and she can't. <laughs> what are you guys doing? A lot less than you two were doing. I mean, why are you trying to seduce my Eddie? I did it. Oh, yeah, well, figures it was Eddie's fault. Hey, 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 I was getting my back hooked up. Yeah, right. Yeah, you got the music playing and the lights low, rolling around on the greasy floor. Hey, 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 I resent that remark. My floor ain't greasy. Malcolm, <laughs> Eddie's back was hurt. I was just massaging it. That's right. Yeah, right. All oh, right, and I guess Nicolette was massaging you, huh? Did you pull a lip muscle? <laughs> Come on, I would never kiss Nicolette. Not that it wasn't good, though. <laughs> never kiss me. You sent me a love letter. No, I didn't. You wrote one to me. <laughs> look, Malcolm, you look, you can admit it. It was a beautiful letter, and I quote, oh, I can no longer hold in my feelings. That's what you wrote to me, and I care about you deeply. But wait a minute, Eddie wrote that in his letter. I need you in my life forever. No, that's your letter, exactly, and you ended it. Always, Always my your beloved. beloved. You know, I, I don't know what you guys are tripping about, all right? Here's the note right here that Nicolette wrote to me. See, right there, oh, no, Nicolette can't no, no, write. Oh, no, 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 where is that letter? There it is, right there, man. Baby, from my heart, through these yo-yos, to you. 
Tim, you really did write this. Look at the eyes are dotted with the little hamburgers. <laughs> I thought it was flowers. Should have known it was food. <laughs> Double cheeseburgers with extra onions. Oh, Tim, that's our sandwich. <laughs> Let's go get some wine and go back to my place. Can we go shopping first? Yes, dear. Did you bring your wallet? Yes, dear. <laughs> uh, guess everything cool, right? <laughs> Nobody's hurt. <laughs> well, except for my back. Oh, 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 I'll rub it for you, Eddie. Ah, it's a miraculous recovery. I'm telling you, I'm all good. <laughs> Maybe we, we all had the right idea, but just the wrong people. I wonder if she'll buy it. Hmm, could he be right? I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. I wish they'd all get out of here. I got a scratch again. <laughs>
I have run with the bulls in Pamplona, and I have lost money with the bulls in Chicago. I do not know the face of fear. Hey, hey, brother, brother. But now I know what the face of stupid looks like. No, 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 Nic Nicolette, you only have to go once. I know, but I got a little water I'm trying to get rid of. All right, come on, Eddie, everybody's waiting. Everybody's waiting on Jesus, too. Man, I'm already black, my feet are black, and ain't no sense in getting them blacker. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Didn't feel a thing, eh? Ah, look. The blue-breasted mountain swallow. What are you doing? I'm looking for the diamonds he just made out of his coat. Okay. We're back. <laughs> you can take your blindfold off. Malcolm, that trust walk was so intense. It was like my whole life was in your hands. Rock! Tree! Seth, what am I supposed to learn in all this trust walk? Trust no one. Eddie, you, you don't seem to be taking this retreat too seriously. Man, I only came up here to get you to help me get this new tow truck, partner. Partner? How would you get the money if you didn't have a partner? Well, I'd go to my best friend or my roommate. All roads lead right back to you, Mally Mal. Eddie, listen to yourself. Do you know how selfish you sound? Selfish? No, 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 no. When we moved in the apartment, who got the bigger room? You! Mr. Selfish, in the kitchen. Who got the biggest shelf in the refrigerator? You, Mr. Selfish. And when I wash the dishes, how come Mr. Selfish never dries them? Eddie, we have a dishwasher. And when were you planning on letting a brother know that? No, 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 no. you were not going to touch that dishwasher. Oh, no, that's a brand new dishwasher. Wait, 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 come all the way up here to see you guys argue. Eddie, why don't you go sit over there? Why does Eddie have to go sit over there? Because Malcolm's trying to run a retreat here. Well, it's Eddie's company, too, not to mention that he's cute. What does that matter that he's cute? He's the natural born of the You know what the hell with this retreat? Okay? Let's bounce. All of those who riding with me, vamos. Where the hell is Tim? He's out bird watching. Oh, I'll get him. My swallow! My swallow! Where did my swallow go? Uh, I think he went to Kansas City. Oh, we must follow that swallow. Hey, let's get this jacket. What the hell did you do? I knew I shouldn't have had that last Twinkie. <laughs> so we're stuck here? And it's supposed to drop down into the 20s tonight. Don't worry, I'll take my scooter and I'll go get some help. See ya. <laughs> Hurry up, Nicolette. It's already getting cold out here. Don't worry, we'll save you. Me and my trusty old scooter. Come on, Nicolette Mush. <laughs> Trusty old scooter, my ass. <laughs> you know this is all Malcolm's fault. It's Malcolm's fault I ran out of gas? None of this would have ever happened if he'd have had to retreat at Hooters like I asked him. <laughs> Should we try walking back? In the dark, is you crazy? You can get lost out there and never be heard or seen again in life. Won't you go and give it a shot, baby? <laughs> see what you can see. Oh, Eddie, I know you never send me out there alone. Hey, let's camp out in this cave. I'll get my emergency supplies. I ain't camping out on no cave, no. 
Caveman even came up out the cave as soon as they learned how to stand up straight and shave some hair off of their back. <laughs> but I ain't going in no damn cave, no way, no how. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, baby, I'm gonna catch you on the inside. Yeah. And this is all Eddie's fault. How is it Eddie's fault that Tim's truck broke? Because it's always Eddie's fault. <laughs> oh, we're gonna die. No food. We're gonna starve. I'm gonna waste away to nothing. Tim, you could be stuck up here on nothing for 10 years and still come back chunky. Oh, you're right. Well, then you guys are gonna die. Nicolette. Probably ditched us, knowing Eddie always thinking about himself. I'm going to forge for food. Isn't it a little chilly to be foraging? Oh, no, that's okay. For some strange reason, I never get cold. Well, I was short all through most of high school, but then the summer after 11th grade, I shot up like a weed. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you about second grade. Uh, that's when I got the chicken pox, boy, was I spotty. Uh, Nicolette, Nicolette. You want to save one story just in case we stuck here forever? <laughs> now let's go to bed. Ooh, that could be fun. Which side do you want, the left side or the right side? Uh, I'll take the outside. <laughs> but the ground is too cold. I'll sleep standing up. Horses do it all the time. Fine, suit yourself. <laughs> Never slept in a bat cave before. Lordy, Lord. <laughs> Why don't you see if the radio is working? Oh, yeah, good idea. Okay. Uh. This is KHOH Ozark Radio. People are saying they've seen Bigfoot, one of our Sasquatches, wandering around the woods. <laughs> oh, well. Here's 90 minutes of Chuck Band favorites. I don't know what's scarier, Bigfoot or that music. Well, guess I'll turn in. Yeah, me too. I'm still cold. Are you? Yeah. Oh, here. Take my jacket. Oh, but won't you be cold, Malcolm? Oh, it's okay. I'm gonna freeze to death. Either way, at least somebody should live to tell the story. No. Yeah, you got it. You know, I, I hear that uh, two bodies generate more heat than one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I remember that from uh, from science. Yeah. Oh, come on, Mal, get in. Ugh. No monkey business. Hey, listen, let me tell you something. I'm so cold, I can't even feel my monkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, good night. Good night. Take this leg, put that leg right there. Now, there you go. I, I put the leg right there. That guy, uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. So good, baby. <laughs> I don't know why I've been running all that time. She's a very kinky girl. <laughs> the kind you don't bring home to mother. <laughs> good morning, sunshine. I made your breakfast. 
How'd you do all this? Well, I woke up early. I had a lot of energy. And I tracked the quail back to his nest, got some eggs, ran into a boar, tracked him, skinned him, cut him up for bacon, and then all I needed was something to cook on. <laughs> Luckily, the Ozarks are rich with minerals, so I lit a fire, smelted some iron, and fashioned a crude pan. You did all this this morning? Like I said, I had a lot of energy. <laughs> I had a strange dream last night. I had a dream that you and I... Oh, Eddie. I've had the same dream since I first laid eyes on you and it finally came true. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Not that I didn't have a good time, but... You know, some people have pears. We'll always have the bat cave. <laughs> but I think what happened last night should be kept our secret. But I want to tell everybody that Eddie and I finally... <laughs> Neglect. What happened last night is on a need-to-know basis. And nobody needs to know. So promise it's our little secret. Just for you, Eddie. Thank you. Thank you, who? Thank you, sweetie. Uh, <laughs> all right, it'll be our little secret. I'll go start on lunch. I saw Possum laughing at me. He's going down. <laughs> what the hell have I done? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, how'd you sleep? Fine, how'd you sleep? Uh, like a baby? Malcolm, you know, I appreciate you not trying anything, Glass. Well, hey, you showed remarkable self-restraint your damn self. <laughs> so, you getting up? Oh, that's not a problem. I'm just gonna lay here and think about baseball for a few minutes. But then I'll be right, uh... Oh. <laughs> Come on, nigga, let mush, mush. Oh, that's a bet. We're safe. Is help coming, you guys? Uh, actually, we broke down five miles up the road. Well, at least you're okay. Thanks. I was talking to Nicolette. I was talking to Holly. Who oh, you two are better for? We are stuck here. Work this out? Yes. Come on, Holly. I saved you some breakfast. I hope you like boar. <laughs> Well, you look like you want to apologize, so go ahead. Okay, uh, I'm sorry that I have a partner who's too selfish to loan me the money to get a new truck. Okay, your turn. <laughs> well, I'm sorry that I have a partner who's so selfish he thinks he's entitled to my money. Which I would pay you back. Plus, you get 50% of the profits of the truck. Huh. So, so you're saying it would be in my best interest to lend you the money? That's right. Mm -hmm. That I'd be doing it for me and not for you. That's also right. See, my friend, that is called selfish. You sure you don't mind? I can live with that. All right, you got the money. Uh, <laughs> you ain't gonna regret it, you son of a... Hey, you watch yourself, all right? <laughs> and don't think I fell for your reverse psychology. See, I decided last night to loan you the money. Well, I had reversed your reverse psychology because I decided last night I was going to get the money. <laughs> so, what happened with you and Malcolm last night? Oh, he was a perfect gentleman. Mm -hmm. How about you and Eddie? <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> but you didn't hear from me. Oh, no, no. So, uh, where did you and Nicholas spend the night? Uh, we stayed in the cave, you know. She had a sleeping bag, yeah. You guys didn't, uh... Oh, hell no. Are you crazy? Man, I wouldn't do nothing with that little gremlin. I mean, how about you and Holly? Uh, uh, <laughs> well, let's just say a true gentleman mm -hmm. doesn't discuss such matters. <laughs> uh -huh. I know what you did, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Hey, hey. Have you guys seen Bigfoot? Oh, there he is. No. Hey. No, no, no. Well, you idiots just shot our friend. You think Bigfoot is going to come out the woods and say, hello? Is he going to be all right? Well, it'll take a while. That dart would keep an elephant down for 12 hours. <sighs> Good morning. I feel refreshed. Hey, Mal. 
welcome. You know, after last night, I've been thinking that I misjudged you. And maybe we really should go out. Really? And I promise you, if you play by the rules, it'll be well worth it. <laughs> yeah, I, I know it will. <laughs> what rules? Well, now, if you play with me, you play with me only. I insist on honesty and communication, no black book, no phone numbers on napkins, no other women, none of it. And trust me, you don't want to mess up. So, dinner and a movie this weekend? Uh, Think mm. about it. Don't think too long. Well, Eddie, turn the lights on, all right? I got a lot to think about. You sure do. Honesty, communication, no other women, other women. <laughs> this is hard. Nigga, let I thought I told you uh, it, it, it never happened. What do you say we make it not happen again tonight, 1 a.m., my place? No, oh, hell no. <laughs> How about 12? <laughs> Chap boy, boy. The cold. The backwards somersault. Yeah, that was special too. <laughs> but I really don't know what the hell I'm supposed to say next. Good morning. Boy, do I feel refreshed. Now, I think he went to Kansas City. Huh? I'm Batman. I got you. Blue Honda on 23rd and Jackson. Yeah? Needs a tow. Hold on a minute. Hello? Phone's ringing. Hello? Ha! Yellow. And it's tow. Why tow with another when you can tow with a brother? You got a flat. Uh-huh. Hey, grab that for me. Yeah, yeah. Now, I can be there and tell the Blue Honda I can be there in 10 minutes. Blue Honda, he'll be there in 10 minutes. Yeah, where yeah. Make that 15 minutes. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Break the one nine. This is Mally Mal, the one eye dragon. What's your WD-40? Hey, man, that ain't a toy. Hey, baby, you got your ears on. I don't know. Come on out of there. What's the 45 on 25? Oh, no, no. Okay. All the way live, baby. Flip it to the ring. We go on down like this. Yeah. Hey, hey, yo, Eddie, stop this thing, man. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, Kelly. I need two beers and a rum and coke. I'm busy, Lisa. Can you make them? Okay. <laughs> what goes into rum and coke? <laughs> the name of the drink is what it is, Lisa. Uh-uh. That's how I got burned with sex on the beach. <laughs> That's why we have shifts. <laughs> so anyway, like I was saying, Kelly, a radio spot would really increase your business. Yeah, well, when would this spot run? Uh, during the day. No, won't work. People who listen to the radio all day don't have jobs and can't afford to come here. Okay, well, we'll run your ad at night. No, waste of money. If you're listening to the radio at night, you're either a loser or driving. Either way, you shouldn't be drinking. <laughs> hey, everybody! Drinks on me! Whoa! Bring up, bring up! Eddie, you know I can't drink on an empty stomach. Well, Tim, don't drink! <laughs> oh, what a day. Flat tires. Batteries low, five-car pile up on I-70. Talk about your good luck. 
I'm a force in the tow business in KC. I even hired my own employee. Oh. His name is Doyle. There you go. Where is he? Oh, he don't get out on parole till Monday. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm selling uh, ads down at the station now. Why don't you buy some time? I don't know, man. I would, but things are going so good yeah, right but now. But now's the time to strike when the money's coming in. Mm. Why don't you buy a spot? Better yet, you can sponsor the morning show. Now, that's drive time, and you know, drive time is tow time. I like that. <laughs> I like you that. Would. Excuse me. Are you Eddie of Eddie's Tow? Uh, yes, I am. What can I do for you? Your stagecoach breakdown? <laughs> I'm Toe Time, a Time's Big Toe. Here, have one of my pens. Toe Time keychain. The Toe Time? Yep. The Toe of the Toe Time? Yeah. Big Toe Time's towing? That's me. Hey, everybody, it's Toe of the Time of the, this the Toe Time Man, the bitch of the Toe. <laughs> man, I am honored and privileged to be in your presence, man. My, he got 16 trucks. 19. The legend continues. <laughs> No, Eddie, I've been watching you. Uh-huh. And I like the way you tow. You hear that? You like the way I tow. <laughs> you mean there's more than one way to tow? Oh, yeah, you can do the front hookup, then you can go underneath no, in the no, axle, Eddie, no. or you can no, just put no, it right no, no. on the drive. Eddie, 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 okay, Eddie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I asked. I was trying to be funny. That'll teach you. Eddie, how would you like to come work for me? Work for you? Man, I want to be you. But you already you, so the only way I can be you is to work for me. Um, sounds like no to me. Well, Eddie, I, I offer a two-week paid vacation. I got a health plan. I know you got all this stuff, but uh, <clears throat> what I have is my independence. Your independence? <laughs> you know, Eddie, I sure do like your spunk. Spunk? Spunk, a noun, meaning spirit or pluck. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate your offer, but uh, it's all the same to you. I just like to continue working for myself. Well, that's real cute. No, it is. But sooner or later, I'm sure you'll come around my way of thinking. Have a day planner. You might need it. Well, you better hope he doesn't come back with the rest of the village people. <laughs> I know the Indian won't be with him. <laughs> This is just fascinating. The little tow truck is pulling the little car in the garage. Man, give me that. Like a big old kid. Man, turn around. Come on, come on, run the light. I need some business, run the light. When you get your driver's license at driving school, Business still booming, huh? You don't even want to hear about it. Man, I ain't told in three days. I got one phone call today, somebody asking for Toe Tom's number. And I think it was him. <laughs> Could it possibly be that no one's calling you for toes because everybody knows you're a nut? <laughs> they don't know that until I get there. Well, I guess Toe Tom didn't get to everybody. Yellow, Eddie's toe. Service with a smile, I charge by the mile. <laughs> what? You raising my insurance premiums? But I ain't had no accidents. Four tickets. Hey, wait a minute. This is a hypocrisy to the law of nature and things. <laughs> Hello? Hello? It's Toe Tom again. That was Toe Tom. Nah, it was an insurance company. But he's behind it. He got to him. See, a legend can do that. You know, I'd love to stick around and listen to the results of this gripping drama, but I've got a young lady waiting to take me to dinner. Ball head dog, slick it enough. Take the coffee out the cup and the tin out the foil. Right. What's up, baby? Well, you know, uh, some things that come up and business is down. Hey, well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I can't work for you, Eddie. Oh, why not? I'm working for Toe Tom. What? Yeah, man, my parole officer hooked it up. I gotta do it. <sighs> All right, I understand. I knew it. I knew it. Malcolm, come on out here. 
here, man. I got proof. It's tow time. Now, Dawg just told me, come on out here. You got a hit. My God. Talking about I'm the nut. I'm making up things. Come on. Dawg can tell you what he told me. What? What? Dawg, tell him what you told me. <laughs> so it's come to this, huh? You have an invisible friend. Well, I mean, that's okay, Eddie. Now you can quit bothering me. But, uh, Eddie, Doyle, man, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, all right. Well, if you guys don't mind, I now have to call Amanda to let her know I'm gonna be late and messing around with you. Hey, where's the call this phone? And now, since it's Tuesday, ten songs in a row. Rooster, it's Wednesday. Yeah, like anybody's listening. <laughs> Malcolm, I'm ready. For what? What are you doing here? Man, I'm coming to make my ad. Sponsor the morning show. Oh, cool. It's like you said, drive time is tow time. <laughs> All right, well, I feel you, but, but there's a procedure to this, Ed. I mean, you got to book time, right? I got to approve it with my station manager. I got another manager who... Oh, who are they? Ah, uh, Malcolm, I'd like you to meet Laurie and Rosie. The Toets. <laughs> These are my backup dancers. Eddie, radio is not a visual medium. Oh, but they are. <laughs> See your point. Hello, ladies. You ready, girls? <laughs> Time to tell. I said, we're gonna tow, 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 we're Just lie down in the middle of the street and wait on the tow truck to come and pick you up. <laughs> you know, sometimes that can be so wonderful, you just want to die. That's it. What'd you think? Well, it's great if it was showtime at the Apollo. I mean, they can wear shorter outfits. Girls, go change. Hey there, I'm Roos. <laughs> Hey there, Eddie. How's business? I told you he was following me. Eddie, congratulate me. I'm the new sponsor of the Big Toe Morning Show. And I got a great new slogan. Drive time is toe time. <laughs> that was my slogan. You stole my idea. Stole? I prefer to think borrowed without compensation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eddie. My favorite cousin asked me to give this to you. Dear Mr. Sherman, we're sorry to inform you. My license is suspended. No, no, revoked. See? Man, this is unreal. Oh, it's real and permanent, unless you come work with me. You think about it on your drive home. <laughs> oh, I forgot. You don't have a driver's license. Can I give you a lift? <laughs> Who wants to know? You lie around your house all day in your road. You see me? Do you have wild mood swings? No. If you answered yes to one or more of these questions, you may be suffering from a disease known as depression. Hey, Malcolm! 
I'm depressed. Is that what happened to this place? No, man, it's, it's the disease. Oh, Eddie, you can't live like this, man. And I can't live with you living like this. You better get a job. Job? Man, I can't get a job. Tom took all my stuff. He took my insurance. He took my driver's license. He ain't gonna get me, though. <laughs> well, there's got to be something else you can do, man. Can you cook? Well, I'd, I'd suggest being a postal worker, but you've already snapped. You see it, too, huh? You see it. No, 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 Eddie, I'm kidding. See, man, I can't do nothing else. I'm a driver. I was born to tow. Then tow for Tom. Do I look stupid to you? <laughs> He's got a health plan. You can get treatment for your depression. I couldn't do that. Well, he gives a great two-week vacation, man. You could go away. I mean, get away. Man, I ain't working for the enemy. Well, you won't be. See, you could spy on him, right? You work from the inside, and you can learn his secrets. Yeah. Yeah. Like 007. There you go. Get on the inside, figure out how his stuff work, then crush him. Trust me, Eddie. With you working for Toe Tom, he'll be out of business in a week. Hey. What? Yeah, I'm gonna get it. 007, like Shaft. Wake up, Kansas City! It's time for a 25 song set. Can we do this already? I got people to tow, money to make. All right, I'll set you up. Hey, my man, could you pass me those tapes? Eddie? Yeah, it's me. Wanna to tow Tom's rules. Nobody gets to wear a hat but him. Well, why aren't you out towing? Man, I ain't been near a tow truck. I've been driving him all over, running his hands, picking up his wacky tobacco that he chew on, spit all over the place. <laughs> but I'm making a dent in this little empire, man. I'm working on it. I took all the ink out his pens. They don't write. <laughs> Without pens, what he got? Except for 19 trucks. Look, Eddie, I'm sorry I didn't believe you before about Toe Tom being a complete ass. Shh. I'm in enough trouble already. Oh, no, he can't hear us. Only over the talkback. Oh, uh, really? Oh, man. That cologne really piles up on you in there. Hey, Rooster, do you mind if I engineer this spot? Gee, Malcolm, you know how I hate taking a break. <laughs> Hey, uh, Tom, uh, just need a little sound check. Won't you talk for me? Well, what do you want me to say? Talk about yourself for a change. <laughs> talk about your secret to success. Well, that's easy. People are idiots. You know how much a toe costs me? Eddie Teleman. Don't you know your urban cowboy tobacco spitting, ten gallon hat wearing, cow shooting? Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. And then I charge the folks 45 bucks minimum. Now, why do I do that, Eddie? Because you're greedy, fool. <laughs> because you can. Because I can. Okay, Tom, you're on in ten. People wouldn't know I was ripping them off if I hit them upside the head with a sign that said I'm ripping you off. <laughs> hey, Casey. Your car won't go. You got a flat. You need a helping hand. Well, you give friendly old Tom a Tom's Big Toe a call. That's Tom's Big Toe, 555-0101. All right, Tom, that's great. Now, for the next take... I only do one take. You just call me when it's ready. Let's go, Eddie. You got work to do for me. Well, let's see what we got. People wouldn't know I was ripping them off if I hit them upside the head with a sign that said I'm ripping you off. Wow, you recorded it all. Sure did. <laughs> What do you guys got there? We got a commercial for Tom's Big Toe. Oh my god, I love commercials. 
jingles are my favorite. <laughs> Two Abby Patty special sauce, let us cheese pickles, onions on a sesame bun. <laughs> oh, now the best, we do chicken, right? <laughs> I got to give me something to eat. Well, hello there, Tom. Would you and your friend like something to drink? Kelly, I'm not his friend. It's me, it's Eddie. Well, let's get to it. Let's hear my commercial. I got an empire to run. People wouldn't know I was ripping them off if I hit them upside the head with a sign that said, I'm ripping you off. Now, if this ad were to hit the air, people might be likely to take their business someplace else. Now, here's the deal. Eddie gets his business back and this tape goes away. Sounds like you're trying to play hardball with me, son. Son? So, Tom, how much does a tow cost? Twelve dollars. And how much do you charge? Forty-five bucks minimum. All right, all right, all right, all right. Just turn it off. Okay, Eddie, I guess you're back in business. Yes, indeedy. Sign the treaty. How about one of your pens I didn't get? Well, it's not like any little one-truck piss-ant operation's gonna hurt my business. I'm Tom. Oh, well, Tom! <laughs> Cowboy Garth Brooks wannabe Willie Nelson! <laughs> Don't forget this! And take your pen. And your day planners. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. <sighs> Malcolm, the tape was the bomb, man. I mean, what uh, can I do to repay you? Well, Eddie, I think you already have. You want to trade? That's okay. I had everybody drink on me. Hey, 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 wait a minute. You still owe me for the last round. Hmm, hmm. Well, put it on this credit card. Tom's big toe? Yeah, he had me running errands this morning. Ah, matter of fact, feed him. Business. Better than never. All right. No problems from Toe Tom? Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> Money must be coming in. Flowing like a river. Mm. <laughs> Getting plenty of calls? Phone ringing off the hook. <laughs> what I tell you? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Why you want to dog me, dog? He's got health insurance, man. He can give you... Can I see the line, please? <laughs> Ding, 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 ding,